see any subject of UPSC the pattern of reading is first you have to go through syllabus then you have to go through previous years question papers then you have to broadly go through topic by topic but you should understand whether you are preparing for prelims or mains internal security is not there for the prelims examination so no need to remember the small facts here and they are not required they will not ask you like what are the functions of uh, intelligence bureau they will not ask any questions they will never ask a single fact because it is mains internal security is a mains topic it is not there for the prelims examination so first let us quickly go through the syllabus mentioned in the UPSC it falls under general studies paper 3 GS paper 3 GS paper 3 is economy environment science and technology disaster management and internal security in that internal security is an area from which you can expect maximum five questions few some sometimes it will be four questions only four to five questions so almost 20 percent 20 percent or 25 percent of the GS paper 3 20 to 25 percent of GS paper 3 if you want to go to the syllabus friends, the syllabus is see what is the relationship between development and extremism means in India if you observe mostly in undeveloped places places where poverty is there places where illiteracy is there places where government could not successfully establish the infrastructure either drinking water infrastructure health infrastructure schools whatever in such places only mostly we are finding extremism extremism means anything like naxalism or terrorism where people have a fundamentalist attitude like we don't want democracy this government is completely uh, anti-welfare let us destabilize the government we want a new form of uh, uh, governance such kind of extremism so there is a relationship between these two wherever development is not there in those places extremism is easily spreading for example take terrorism mostly 90 percent of cases if i am well educated if i have a good job earning decent money terrorism cannot influence me but if i'm an employee I am poor, illiterate, unable to earn money, I am anti-government, then terrorism can influence me, I can go into terrorism, either for employment or money or power, or I want to do something against the government, because government did not do anything for me, understand, such kind of relationship you will study, linkage between development and extremism, okay, extremism in the sense, we study about nexalism separately, in the next topic, then terrorism, Naxalism, terrorism, we study, we keep studying. Then friends, role of external state and the non-state actors in internal security issues. External means outside India. See, basically internal security is a topic, no? What is internal security? Security of people, security of infrastructure or systems inside India. But this can be affected by outside factors also. For example, take Pakistan. There are some uh, proofs wherein the ISI of Pakistan, Pakistan ISI is a government body. ISI means Inter Services Intelligence. It is a government organ of Pakistan. It's a very strong body. It contains of some defense people, some police people, some political leaders, combination ISI. ISI is a government body. For example, CBI is there. Government body, no? Like that. ISI is a government body. So, such we call that as state actor. It is a state. State means Pakistan is a state, no? So, a state actor sometimes works against India's security. That means ISI, there are proofs that ISI directly wants to affect the security of India. Similarly, non state, external non state actors means outside India's uh, factors only, but non state, not the government, like terrorist organizations like let lashkari taiba you know let let taliban al qaeda yeah jayshri muhammad is mostly inside india only but yeah pakistan also so uh, yeah jem so there are some bodies which are which do not belong to any government they are non state actors non state means they does not belong they do not belong to any state independent terrorist organizations but outside india they are outside india 
they also affect the security of India. For example, 2016 Patan Court attack. Patan Court is a place in Punjab. In Patan Court, we have an air base, aircraft, air base is there. So somebody said JM. Yes, Jaish E. Muhammad. JM is a terrorist organization. Jaish E. Muhammad. They came from Pakistan. They attacked the Pathan court. Similarly, Uri attack. Uri. There is a Hindi movie also, no? On Uri attacks. Yes. So, Uri attack also. That also 2016 only. 2016, Uri is a place in Kashmir where some terrorist organizations from Pakistan came to India and they attacked Indian soldiers. They have killed using grenades. They kill Indian soldiers. So, like that. There are, for example, 2008 Mumbai attack. Ajmal Kasab was caught at the time. 2008 Mumbai attack. That was also internal security threat. There also people came from outside India only. Like that, non-state actors also affect the internal security. There is a Nagarjuna movie, no? Wild Dog. There actually they show Hyderabad Gokul Chat attack. In Hyderabad, Few years ago, Gokul Chat was blasted. Many people died. That was also internal security disaster caused by the external non-state actor. But friends, though they are non-state actors, there is a proof that they have support from uh, Pakistan ISI. Support is there. Intelligence support is there. Okay. We study about all those things in this one. Then, challenges to internal security through communication networks role of media and social networking sites in the internal security challenges. For example, friends, internal security of India can be disturbed even by social media. For example, for example, see, uh, sometimes some terrorist organizations recruit Indian Indians into ISIS through Facebook, through Twitter, understand? So, and then sometimes some sleeper cells inside India, there is a movie, you know, Vijay is a hero, Kajal is a heroine, Tupaki, in Tupaki, in Tupaki they show that there are some sleeper cells, that means they belong to terrorist organization only, but they have double identity, for example, my actual name is Rachandra, but on the card it will be Rakesh something, Rakesh, I am a software engineer, I will be working, but when I get the message, from my organization, immediately I will change into Sarachandra and start attacking uh, some infrastructure in the government of India. So through the networking sites, through the media also, for example, do you know 2008 Mumbai blast, when it was happening, at that time some TV channels were live telecasting the movement of terrorists. So from Pakistan, the controller of the terrorists is on phone with them, he is seeing the TV and telling that the police are coming from this side, you come this side, come. you understand? Using the Indian media, Indian TV channel, they have directed the movement of terrorists. So sometimes even media can show wrong reports. Because of wrong report, people may be panicked. Sometimes WhatsApp forwards. Some time ago, in 2017 or 16, there was a WhatsApp forward showing that Karnataka people are killing the Northeast Indians. It was actually a camouflage video. It's not a true video. By looking at that video, several Northeast people staying in Bangalore suddenly tried to flood, they fled away from Bangalore. It, it caused internal security crisis. You understand? So, like that, communication networks, social media, a normal media, they also can cause internal security problems in India. About those things also, we will study. Then, basics of cyber security. Friends, cyber security is very important because presently we are all dependent, dependent upon the ICT. What is ICT? Information and communication technology. Can anybody give me an example of how we are dependent on ICT? Anybody? How are we dependent on internet, computers? How? Mobile phones. Okay, good then. For example, banking. After demonetization, government has asked all of us to go for online banking. So all our banking infrastructure is online only. Okay? Even governance. 
Previously, government used to provide services, redress grievances. For example, if you want to give a complaint, PUS complaint about water problem, you will go to office, water department something. Or you want land patta, you will go somewhere. But now everything is online only. You apply Alberta online. Uh, any problem with the uh, water, you apply online. You understand? So governance has become online. Banking became online. And all information is stored online. Even if you have to, what is it? Very good. Booking train tickets, for example. Just imagine. IRC, you know IRC is you know? IRC is hacked today. It's hacked for next four days. Nobody can use IRC. Won't it become kind of disaster? I mean, how can everybody go to railway station? You understand? So it leads to even law and order problem also. So like that, all our lives right now are depend on the ICT, internet and computers. Hence, hence, if cyber security is not there. If we do not have security of this uh, cyber space, cyber space means online space. If there is no security, anybody can hack. Some uh, two years ago, SBI was hacked. Many SBI debit cards are not working, credit cards are not working. From some people's accounts, money is, also, money is taken also from some accounts, you know, SBI. So like that, so, hence cyber security is very important. Money laundering. Friend, even money laundering is a major security problem. Can anybody tell me what is money laundering? Tell me something. Hmm. Okay, almost here. Friend, actually, what is laundry? Laundry means you put dirty clothes inside washing machine, get out the clean clothes. Like that, money laundering means converting black money into white money. For example, I am a corrupt officer. I am earning a lot of black money. Or I am a mafia don, earning a lot of black money. I am a smuggler, earning black money. Now I have to convert all of white money, no? At least most of it. To convert into white money, I use some techniques by which I can convert. That is called money laundering. That is a very important topic which we will study, okay? Friend, money laundering also leads to internal security problem. Now, security challenges and their management in border areas. Friends, India's biggest problem is border areas. Our borders are porous. What is porous? Porous border, you see, for example, India, China, Himalayas are there, okay. Or maybe some India and Sri Lanka, ocean is there, okay. Or India, Myanmar, some river is there to some extent, okay. But sometimes, no natural barrier will be there. You can directly go. In such, yeah, India, Pakistan, India, Bhutan, Nepal, Myanmar, some stretch, Myanmar also, Bangladesh also, Arunachal Pradesh through China also. So, there are some places in the border which are porous. You can easily pass through. Then obviously it leads to problems, no? If foreigners who have, who want to affect us negatively can easily come to India. Different effects, no? India unfortunately has a lot of porous borders. In that movie, Wild Dog, Nagarjuna goes to which country to catch the Nepal, Nepal, Nepal. right? See, Pakistan, let us say, wants to send some terrorists to India. They may not be able to send through Pakistan because border security is there. But Nepal, India Nepal border, we cannot put so much security. See, we have limited security. We can focus on one country. How can you put security in Bhutan, Nepal, Myanmar, Bangladesh, Pakistan? Difficult, no? That's why Pakistan, instead of coming from Pakistan, they are going to Nepal. From there, they are coming. That's why Nagarjuna also went to Nepal only to catch the, uh, the terrorist. Terrorist, okay. It was based on a true story only, actually. Actually, the terrorist was a black money, um, you know, um, uh, fake, fake money. Count, you know, counterfeit currency, counterfeit currency. For example, whatever notes India is printing, no, same notes Pakistan will print from some in the Pakistan, some printing machines will be there. They will print the same notes, you know, fake notes, counterfeit. They bring it to India. They dump into India. It, less, it, it will destabilize the Indian economy. If in the more uh, fake money comes into India, it affects the economy. No? That's what Pakistan is doing through Nepal. And really, we, have, we are able to catch some people like that from Nepal. Okay? So, friends, border areas. Even drugs, drug, cattle smuggling, human trafficking. Naxalites will get guns from where? Borders only. Uh, have you seen the movie Urta Punjab? Urta Punjab. In their movie also they show no, Punjab, uh, Pakistan to Punjab, drugs will come. 
so borders are a very big problem for india borders so we'll discuss about all those border issues okay then linkages of organized crime with terrorism friends organized crime means have you seen the movie d or company mafia rg satya satya rg movies there they show the organized crime example mumbai mafia that uh, telugu businessman movie also mahesh babu businessman movie also mahesh babu goes to mumbai no so there also mahesh babu actually starts to st he starts a organized crime only tells you know imagine how people having guns and running have you seen the movie so organized crime means within india some mafias underworld dons are running organized crime and they have linkages with terrorists simple example is 2008 mumbai attack happened no mumbai attack taj attack there are many movies on that you can see many movies are there on that actually terrorists want to attack but terrorists want to come into india to come into india they took the help of uh, organized crime only even 1993 mumbai blast 93 mumbai blast on that also there is a movie i forgot the name maybe black something black friday something black friday i think so if terrorists want to come into india they'll take help from the mafia organized crime they have linkages actually they have linkages okay so we study all those things then various security forces and agencies friends india has got several security forces anybody can name a few r a w ra okay research analysis wing which movie is that which we have seen recently or which movie chanakya na who is the hero go pichan i don't know when did the movie came some 3 years ago when did the movie come 3 4 years ago 2 years ago okay chanakya so okay ra r a w ra then very good intelligence bureau bsf border security force along the pakistan okay then assam very good assam rifles mostly along the assam borders assam and uh, bangladesh assam and uh, myanmar borders okay then sir interpol what is that interpol interpol hmm interpol okay then national security guard nsg very good then nsg only that day uh, caught ajmal kasab no mumbai bless then national defense security hmm national investigation in nia itbps indo tibet border police border of india and china okay so there are many security agencies not only see you are you are most talking about the people having guns no security agency means you know to have guns only for example cyber security organizations are there example cert in computer and uh, emergency response team india certain they are all security agencies only but they will take care of cyber security they will not have guns but they will have uh, technology and tools such kind of organizations also you can name for example there are some organizations which will stop money laundering black money financial what is it cbi enforcement directorate there are something like that what is it yes anti corruption bureau what is it yeah fat financial action task force what is it anti corruption bureau so we can call these also as the bodies which will which will guard the internal security internal security means not only police having weapons and all okay well we will study all those forces agencies and the mandate means what is their job role so this is the overall syllabus of internal security given upsc let us take some 20 seconds break anybody has doubts in syllabus you want to doubts syllabus no now after we have gone through syllabus you should go through last actual last 8 um, 9 years of question papers but i cannot discuss those many i'll just show you the questions discussion will take time we'll discuss towards the end if time permits i'll quickly show you the questions so that you have an idea you'll have an idea of what kind of questions are coming friends only when you know what kind of questions are coming then only while preparing you know what to filter out what to read what to leave those students who focus on unnecessary facts by heart unnecessary facts will unnecessarily waste time those students who know the demand of examination types of questions in examination their preparation will be more streamlined more channeled they can cover important points in less time okay now recent means 2020 means 
they gave four questions to the 20 mains internal security almost started from 2013 2012 13 that time it started internal security okay see discuss different types of cyber crimes we will discuss that when i come to cyber uh, security i will discuss those things types of cyber crimes and measures required see direct question direct types of cyber crime measures required direct question okay next for effective border area management border area management discuss the steps required to be taken to deny local support to militants see there is uh, you may be knowing you know you might have seen the movie family man uh, the family whatever terrorists or even exercise have the support of local people have seen the movie sindhuram no? telugu raviteja local village people actually support the exercise similarly in kashmir local kashmir people support terrorists some people okay so local support of militants to stop that suggest ways to manage favorable perception among locals that means what will you do for example india border management is becoming difficult why you know from the borders if outsiders are coming terrorists or whatever they are getting support from local people so how how do you manage that how can you make local people favorable to you so that you can manage the borders very well that's the question which is also almost red question only see one is border issue other is cyber crime like that in one year they are they are asking different aspects of the syllabus next question what are the determinants of left wing extremism direct question left wing extremism means nationalism communist left wing means communist so what are the determinants what determines the nationalism in the eastern part of india eastern part of west bengal odisha chhattisgarh eastern part of india what strategy should the government of india civil administer security force adopt direct question friend direct question what is nationalism what strategy we have to implement so mostly if you know even the basics of uh, nationalism cyber security border management uh, money laundering these things even if you know the basics still you can answer the questions okay analyze internal security threats and trans border crimes along myanmar bangladesh and pakistan border again border question only but they are specific about some countries instead of china they are asking other countries they did not ask nepal bhutan also they are specific about myanmar bangladesh and pakistan include line of control also discuss the role played by various security forces in this regard various forces for example some some said assam rifles assam rifles are most along myanmar border along pakistan bsf yes, along bangladesh also assam rifles will be there like that along china itbp will be there like that is asking so i think from this you can understand the questions are direct like 10th class questions only 10th and 11th class direct questions will come no it is as simple as that okay 2019 friends you can go through for example one question is about uh, uh, the banning of jm jammu kashmir border to focus the role of overgrown workers against terror organizations overgrown workers that is people who are public available village people local people or sleeper cells how they are helping the terrorist organizations we studied that examine the role played by ogw terrorist organizations in insurgency affected areas friends insurgency is also a topic which we are going to study insurgency means anybody you tell me what is insurgency you insurgency you surgical strike surgical strike means for example if india wants to demolish some terrorist camps what we will do we will send some army somebody who will go into pakistan territory or whatever they will attack the terrorist camps oh they will attack in such a surgical strike what is surgery for example when somebody does surgery of my teeth it should not affect other parts of the body it should not affect similarly when you want to go and attack a terrorist camp you will attack all that camp if you go for war common public will be affected other people also affected no surgical means without collateral damage collateral damage means friend collateral damage means when i for example i want to fight with this guy in the process i may beat some of you also collateral damage but if i beat exactly that guy without touching anybody that is surgical strike so that is different surgical strike is different okay my point is what is uh, insurgency insurgency means you want to try you want to try 
insurgency means people fighting against government for example Nagaland is there in Nagaland there are some organizations they want separate country Nagaland country Nagalim country in Assam so there are some organizations who want Assam country have you heard Ulfa United Liberation Front of Assam they are fighting for what Assam independence I will fight for separate Vishakhapatna country I will form organization. So such kind of people are called as insurgents, insurgency. There is a lot of insurgency in India. Do you know how Indira Gandhi died? Indira Gandhi actually attacked Khalistan terrorists. Khalistan means a group of people of Punjab who want separate country called Khalistan. Punjab, separate country for six. Just like for, for example, some people fight for separate country for Muslims. Like some people fight for separate country for six. So, Indira Gandhi tried to attack them by Operation Blue Star. Because in that attack, the public, I means the Sikhs have felt that she has actually, you know, attacked the Sikhism. Not only the Khalistan, she attacked Sikhism. Because the way the attacks happened, you know, inside the Gurudwar, they felt it's like a Sikhism. So, they felt they have to retaliate, take revenge on her. So, her own bodyguards who were Sikhs, were made to or brainwash and made to kill her okay so insurgency means people working against the country so in the insurgency of affected areas what is the role of OGWs that's the question then what is cyber dome project this is current affairs only if you know current affairs you can answer this kind of questions current affairs though I teach the, I teach the basic concepts they will not be sufficient if you are not reading newspaper only if you read newspaper after the class continuously some new for example this thing i may not cover in the no may cover but actually if i have taken the class earlier i might not have covered no so current affairs we have to add for anything explain how it can be useful controlling the internet crimes in india so like that friends you understood for example uapa unlawful act is permission act actually according to this act no do you know naxalism actually naxalism how it started naxalism I'll come to that. In Naxalism, in 1967, a new body formed called CPI Marxist Leninist, called Jan Shakti. So that was banned, that was called as a terrorist organization based on this act only. Based on this act only, that organization was called terrorist and banned the organization. Anyhow, so friends, cross border, again border, border issue. Here also, again Naxalism. Again, cyber security. Next question is uh, uh, drug, drug smuggling, opium, drug smuggling. Drug smuggling also, when discussing about border, we study about the golden crescent and golden triangle. They are the biggest drug producing in the entire world. They both are near India only. Unfortunate India. India exactly between two drug producing areas. We will study about that, okay? Again, cyber attack. Remain, cyber, cyber crime. Then you know, northeast, I told Nagaland, northeast, Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Meghalaya, Manipur, everybody wants separate country. See, if you leave, you know, everybody, I want a separate classroom out of India. I don't want any government rules. So, everybody wants like that only. So, mob violence, actually, mob violence also is a major thing, friend. I think I discussed, you know, some time ago, group, group of people suddenly come attack some people and they run away. Over. Okay, mob violence, scourge of terrorism, about, about terrorism, like that. That is about the see. So, uh, if you see the question papers, you observe that one question on cyber security, one question on terrorism, one board like that. So, let us start the internal security topic before going into specifics. I will tell you a brief about internal security of India, but I will leave away whatever explained in syllabus. You keep it in mind. Some additional points of internal security is a very broad thing. Don't think that internal security means only border attacks, only cyber security, only money laundering. No, it is even broader thing. Actually, friends, internal security means internal security means inside the country, take India, inside India, we should have peace. We should have peace. Development without obstruction. Whatever development is happening, there should not be an obstruction for development. Development has to happen smoothly, happily. Public should be peaceful. 
law and order should be maintained maintenance of law and order maintenance of law and order internal security means protecting the territorial sovereignty territorial sovereignty of india friend sovereignty means sovereignty means means our territory we control our territory nobody else should have a say on our territory for example today if you take kashmir if you take the union territory of jammu and kashmir this part is not under our control it's called azad kashmir it's independent actually even this part is not under our control it's called gilgit baltistan pakistan occupied kashmir pakistan is actually taking care of it this part is called aksai chin aksai chin china is taking care of it that means we do not have territorial sovereignty our territory we are not controlling somebody else is controlling so territorial sovereignty is very important in internal security okay even territorial integrity all the states intact staying together if punjab wants separate country nagaland separate country then where is integrity understand if Tamil, once upon a time some i think 1950s or 52 something tamil nadu also was separate country but then uh, something happened to stop it anyhow so actually all these things are all these things can happen only if we are able to provide internal security so internal security is to provide peace law and order developments without obstacles territorial integrity territorial sovereignty okay all these things come under the internal security also friends see actually the main challenges for internal security why in india internal security has become a big challenge what are the major problems it's not only in excess and terrorism friends even poverty even poverty is causing internal security challenge because when people are poor when people are poor they normally hate the government they feel that we are in a country where we are not getting proper food not getting proper water not getting a good job we are in a country where we are deprived of everything then I, then they'll be anti government then obviously the violence will start that's how poverty also leads to internal security crisis poverty unemployment unemployment even ideological ideological difference also friend ideological difference also cause internal security crisis ideology for example your yeah, religion also for example come to religion some people feel that india is a hindu country so we are six so we have to form separate country called khalistan or some or in northeast india some people think that government of india does not take care of northeast indians we are a different race ethnicity we are different ethnicity so we want separate country ideology or left wing ideology communist party they think that they think that democratic government is very bad democratic government will only give power to rich people a poor person cannot win as mla and mp rich people only can become and rich people think about rich people only they never work for the poor people gal governments think about businessmen only no government no mp semmer ministers actually work for the poor so democracy is a complete wrong thing communism is the communist communist is the only communist principle ideology government is the best government an ideology next next ideology like there are ideological differences ideology for example there are some very few muslims of india who actually think that government of india is actually not for the muslims some maybe two one person are there nine percent are very happy because in a secular country right to 947 but one percent of muslims are brainwashed by outside terror organizations ideology now they get ideology that we have to destabilize india something like that so because ideology also internal security crisis happening even caste friends even caste differences caste wars have seen the movie leader 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 movie of uh, rana kota sinwasrao completely burns a village a village of scheduled castes 
he will burn the entire village scheduled caste. Similarly, recently also, in a, in a village of scheduled caste, one guy has married a girl from some, some uh, other ca higher caste of Tamil Nadu. I forgot that. So then, they will burn the entire hamlet, caste war. That is intrinsic crisis, no? Caste differences, caste war. Even friends, I told you, no, com communalism, communal. For example, have you seen the movie Mumbai? Arvind Swami, Banisha Koirala, Mumbai. Mumbai movie clearly shows the communalism, communal riots that happened in Mumbai. Communal riots that happened in, that happened in Mumbai, they clearly show. It was a great internal security crisis that time. Communalism. Just the belief that we have to kill them, they, have to, they will kill us. That's all, nothing else. So, communism also leads to inter security crisis. Friends, do you know even corruption? Actually, we do not know, but corruption also. Corruption leads to black money. Black money leads to money laundering. It destabilizes the economy. Corruption. Not only that, do you know whom Naxals will kill? Naxals. Naxals generally do not kill the honest police officers. Generally, I mean, sometimes they kill. Sometimes they kill also. But they most attack the corrupt police officers, corrupt, corrupt officials, corrupt officers, corrupt ministers. No, people actually get because of the corruption people become anti-government people think that this is government government is all corrupt only nobody is for us then i'll go next i'll become terrorist i'll go into mafia i'll kill everybody that kind of feeling will come corruption okay so corruption also is a challenge under security okay like that friend so internal security challenges are see i'm telling other than already we discussed about the border problem border Naxal problem, drug smuggling, we discuss those things, I am saying along with those things, even the basic things also, this basic this also will lead to inter security problems, this is a basic idea that is all, but other actual topics will come to it now. For now, let us start first with the left wing extremism, Naxalism, first topic, first topic of internal security. left wing generally center right left these things came from the french revolution from french revolution it came right wing means mostly in india religious uh, groups islam hindutva groups islamist groups right wing mostly or, or in, in the usa in usa right wing means in usa capitalist completely capitalist they work only for businessmen right wing left wing means mostly communist they work for poor they work for labor they work for farmers do you know Communist Party? But don't think no Communist Party like that. Now in India, no party for Communist Party do not, do not really follow Communist ideologies. There is a mixture. They are changing. Right now in India, there is no political party which has certain principles. We follow only these principles. No. Based on the political realities, the principles are changing. Generally, what is left wing? Left wing means? Communist. Party. Communist. Communist. You know how communism started? You know Karl Marx theories? What Karl Marx says? Karl Marx says that all the problems in the world are because of capitalism, because of businessmen only. Because businessmen are capitalists, capitalists always exploit the labor. So labor have to fight back, they have to revolt and they have to form the government labor. Labor unions, they have to form unions, they have to form the governments. Only then the benefits of the industries benefits of agriculture have to be distributed to the labor the businessman if i am industrialist i will take all the benefits of the company i'll give only one rupee two rupees to the labor so but actually all of them are working for the company but only i will get all the money they don't need anything you understand that kind of discrimination from that only the idea of communism started so the labor have to fight against the capitalists. Labor have to occupy the industries. They have to occupy the government. And they have to run the government. Then there will be distribution of the wealth. Distribution of the wealth. Okay. Okay. Now friend, in India, why left-wing extremism started in India? India is actually Nehru formed a 
socialist government only, socialist only mostly, not a pure capitalist because a lot of government companies are there. No? Government companies are not private companies, no? are not private businessmen benefit. They won't benefit the private people. The, the government gives good salaries for the labor. In fact, government companies are losses. Still, they give good salaries to the so socialism was there. But there are certain acts, certain laws, certain policies which actually led to led to left wing extremism. Can you anybody tell me any one or two acts that brought the left wing extremism in India? Anybody? Have you heard of? Uh, land reforms after independence land reforms land reforms means it's a set of reforms where government wants to allocate the land for poor people for scheduled caste understand for the landless people because due to jamindari all the land was in control of very few people jamindars remaining all became laborers so government want to distribute the land to poor people, scheduled caste, deprived people, but that government could not successfully do. We failed. So many people could not get the land. So they became anti-government. They felt that this democratic government, no, it will never give us the land. So they uh, went for the communist ideology. Communist, what communists say? If you are not getting what you deserve, you fight against governments. Fight and get it. It start in India, it started from a village called as which state? West Very good. A village called as Naxal Bari in West Bengal. There for the first time people of, uh, revolted again as the government. They started getting the weapons, guns. They went for violence. They decided that violence is the only way. Government will say, you please come, let us sit and have peaceful discussions, let us settle the issue, but they do not believe, Naxalists do not believe. Naxalists think that peaceful discussions will not lead to anything. We have to destroy the democratic form of government, first of all. Establish the communist government. Then only we can get our rights. That's, that power will be there, okay? Now friends, initially CPI Marxist is formed, Marxist. Slowly, in 1967, among these, uh, in, from inside the Marxists, some people came out. They started other organization. What's called as CPI? Yeah. Marxist Leninist. L is Leninist. Lenin, Lenin. You know Lenin and Stalin of Russia, no? That Lenin. CPI, Marxist Leninist. Lenin also, Lenin, also revolted against the government, against the Tsar. In those days, Russia was controlled by king called Tsar. Tsar was the king. Lenin fought against them and established the Communist Party. So, with that motive, CPML formed. And they called CPML is difficult now. So, they called as Jan Shakti. These kind of names only will attract the people. Jan Shakti. Then, immediately, they start violence. They started violence actually, violence. Immediately it was banned. It was banned under the act of Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Unlawful Activities. As per this act, they banned the CPML. But friends, slowly what happened, you know, slowly different uh, left-wing extremism, different groups started coming. Some groups are people's war group, war, war, fighting, people's war group. And there is a people's guerrilla war, people's guerrilla war. You know what is guerrilla? You know, Shivaji, King Shivaji. Shivaji always went for guerrilla war. In the forest, they fight, secret fightings, guerrilla wars. They attack from back, attack from top in the forest, guerrilla war. Because they cannot attack directly. Because police are in large numbers, no. Weaponry will be there, no. Nexus are few people, no. How can directly fight? 
గొరిల్లా వార్స్ దే విల్ డూ గొరిల్లా పీపుల్స్ గ్రూప్ గొరిల్లా వార్ గ్రూప్ లైక్ దట్ లైక్ దట్ యాక్చువల్లీ మెనీ గ్రూప్స్ ఫార్మ్డ్ దెర్ ఆర్ మెనీ టెర్రరిస్ట్ మెనీ నక్సల్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్స్ ఆల్ దీస్ థింగ్స్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ నక్సలైట్ గ్రూప్స్ నక్సలైట్ హౌ ద వర్డ్ నక్సలైట్ కేమ్ సో ఆల్ ఆర్ కాల్డ్ నక్సలైట్స్ డిఫరెంట్ గ్రూప్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ బట్ ద మోస్ట్ డేంజరస్ గ్రూప్ ఫార్మ్డ్ ఇన్ ఎనీబడి మోస్ట్ డేంజరస్ గ్రూప్ ఫార్మ్ ఇచ్ ఇయర్ వాట్ నేమ్ ఆఫ్ ద గ్రూప్ వెరీ డేంజరస్ గ్రూప్ సిపిఐ మావోయిస్ట్ it formed in 2004 2004 was recently only some 16 years ago cpi maoist how it formed you know by combination of all violent groups people who wanted more violence you know they came together formed the cpi maoist it is a most violent group anywhere if naxalite attacks are happening in india you no know, anywhere 80% of attacks are done by this group only though there are many nexted organizations many are there but 80% of uh, attacks violence is done by maoist they are i think even the spread is also very almost 50% in entire naxalites of india 50% cp maoists are there very powerful they are okay and friends and friends what are the main reasons for formation of uh, this naxalites for example what are the reasons for naxalites in india there are many reasons friends for example the land acquisition act the land acquisition act the government's land acquisition act was considered to be anti people i mean if government wants to construct a road or railway or mining something whatever government wants to do whatever they require the land no while acquiring the land people felt that government is snatching the land snatching because government is not giving proper remuneration for example government wants 100 acres they'll go to the farmers you go away take this money go away where will they go what about rehabilitation okay they'll went somewhere there what they will do there they ca- with that money they cannot purchase new land lands are costly so the lives are gone no mostly so because of that land equation act many people became naxalites okay similarly mining governments mining acts if governments wants to establish mines no mining no they'll dislocate the people they are able to go away but they are not giving any jobs to those people proper remuneration is not given for compensation they don't give compensation no this is i found some coal mining here people are there a uh, coal mine is there to take this money go away means why they will go what they will do they should be given some employment some compensation we call it as rehabilitation do you know what is rehabilitation rehabilitation means friends for example if i take away the land of a person if i ask him to go somewhere i have to show him another place to live i have to provide a job with good salary i have to provide education for the children in that new place where healthcare is there or not in that new place do they have security and safety i should take care of all these things no i cannot just ask them to go away and you go and see where i cannot say like that no so rehabilitation is important rehabilitation relocation is why is important relocation why relocation is important the last the livelihood correct livelihood very good livelihood is the right word provide them livelihood opportunities livelihoods okay so mining act is also not providing that so people became naxalites even friend do you know forest acts forest acts example wild life wild life protection act of 19 even forest forest act yeah forest conservation act which year you know, all these forest acts you know they actually what happened you know those days in the forest conservation act wildlife act the forest guards the forest officials police there you know they used to exploit the tribes 
many tribal people who stayed in the forest from hundreds of years my father grandfather great guy everybody stayed here only suddenly government comes and says that this is forest area reserve forest area you are not allowed to stay here you go out where they will go understand so even forest rights act also convert many people to laxism because they became anti government because the livelihood is snatched away snatched away okay similarly friends for example government schemes for example national rural drinking water program is there it is not available in many districts many villages for example national rural health mission is there it is not properly implemented national rural health mission is not properly implemented in many villages in india or even right to education or sarva shiksha abhiyan they are not implemented in many areas schools are not there hospitals are not there drinking water is not there even electricity is not there though there are government schemes for electricity rajiv gandhi electricity scheme or national rural scheme. still we call this as non implementation of government schemes this is a major reason government is actually implement trying many schemes but most of them are not implemented in some parts of india we call it as no government reach government is not reaching those places government is not reaching those places that is why those people never liked the government okay and also friends i told you corruption corruption of officials forest officials ministers mlas what are corruption by seeing the corruption also and landlordism you might have seen the movie you know in telugu movies uh, narayan reddy c r narayan somebody is there no narayan murthy narayan murthy ah uh, narayan murthy he becomes an excellent every movie book is excellent actually and then they show zamindars so zamindars will be there finally they'll take gun and kill all zamindars right so, zamindars control all the land zamindar system though land reforms are there still landlords control there is a movie mohan babu is there no mohan babu sri ramlaya in sri ramlaya if you observe the entire village there will be three four landlords those landlords only can enter the village and they do all types of atrocities they harass the women they harass the men they snatch your livelihood they kill the people sometimes even the movie rakthiritra rakthiritra also they show no there is a political family in a village one political family kills everybody harasses all the women and rg is so harassment women more in, in fact and violence killing he shows more so this is situation in many villages of india because that also they become nexalites in sri ramlaya movie why he becomes nexalite because of landlordism and harassment okay so friends that uh, landlordism is still there in india it's still there now it's all, now it's not almost there but what is that Osiram Lam also. Why is he become excellent? Because of the atrocities done against her in her childhood. Okay. So friends, so there are the various reasons why you know. Uh, and also one more thing, friend. Poverty, illiteracy. You know, mostly poor people who are illiterate. No, they don't understand. They feel that the government is not helping us. Uh, they call like Anna. నెక్స్ట్ ఇస్ అన్న యూనో సమ్ ప్లేసెస్ అన్ అన్నలు వస్తున్నారు బ్రదర్స్ ఆర్ కమింగ్ దే కాల్ నెక్స్లైట్ యాజ్ అన్న మీన్స్ దే ఫీల్ దట్ నెక్స్లైట్స్ ఆర్ దేర్ ఫర్ దెమ్ దే ఫీల్ దట్ గవర్నమెంట్ డస్ నాట్ బిలాంగ్ టు దెమ్ దే ఫీల్ దట్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఈజ్ అగైన్ ఇస్ దెమ్ అన్న సార్ ఫర్ దెమ్ దట్ కైండ్ ఆఫ్ ఫీలింగ్ ఈజ్ బాండెడ్ క్రియేటెడ్ బై నెక్స్లైట్స్ వెరీ బ్యూటిఫుల్లీ దట్ హ్యాస్ టు బి బ్రోకెన్ వెన్ గవర్నమెంట్ కెన్ బ్రేక్ దట్ ద ఫీలింగ్ నో when government clearly explains to people that see nexalites are also corrupt only nexalites cannot help you government only can help you when that feeling comes into people no the support system will collapse nexalites are surviving because of support of local people if local people support is gone nexalites will be gone that is the first step first step is to, that's your question on 2018 mains no the people support has to be cut down first that's very important okay so friends they are the So there are some of the reasons some of the reasons for nexalism in india okay now what are the what are the government measures what are the ways government measures government means friend government means both central government and state government see obviously 
state governments no need to follow same method every state have different see chhattisgarh has a different kind of forest area government is different chhattisgarh their local realities are different andhra is different orissa is different west bengal is different jharkhand is different every state is different no based on the terrain situation complexity state will take their own decision for example when rasegar was there before he has what he has formed for formed the greyhounds you know greyhounds greyhounds anybody know greyhounds of andhra pradesh at the time both are united united andhra pradesh i think some one of your father is in greyhounds no degree student i think friends greyhounds ha huh? actually friends greyhounds are nothing but andhra police only they are not military people they are not para military andhra police only andhra pradesh government out of the andhra police they have separated some police they trained them heavy weapons motivated them gave them more salary also more incentives because they have to go into forest no there is a movie no pawan kalyan prakash raj jalsa in jalsa i think uh, um, uh, prakash raj works in the naxal area pawan kalyan is naxal no okay whatever but actually greyhounds is a force andhra police force which will fight against the naxalites and it is almost successful only successful they are able to throw out terrorists but can they throw out of india out of andhra only no so they will go somewhere no okay if like india for example friends see mostly orissa orissa okay west bengal chatisgarh jharkhand jharkhand chatisgarh west bengal orissa srikakulam vijayanagar andhra also adilabad telangana this area what srikakulam is there srikakulam vijayanagar means now it is reduced but actually it is hot spots these are the main areas of naxalism we call this as red corridor red we call this as red corridor means called it's like corridor you can walk through it red corridor across almost nine states are involved red corridor across nine states almost so but nowadays naxalism is spreading into these areas also here also here spreading Do you know how they spread they will see a village in india any village in india where people are poor illiterate anti government development is not happening people first aid they will go to that village and they'll say don't worry we are there government like this only government always like this only we should fight against them we should combine take the guns i'll give gun to him he'll see the gun and then he likes everybody likes gun no young people 20 21 years you give them gun and ask them to fight they'll feel like hero gun they you know so everybody likes guns you know that is also one reason friend terrorism naxalism young people given guns they love it they like it okay so that's why it's spreading so for example this village is there somewhere in this village they have established naxalism from here they will spread rapidly they will spread everybody will say i also want gun i also want gun understand so there are people like that unemployed illiterate poor people along with power coming from guns so friends throughout red corridor the methods of states are not same for example andhra pradesh at the time telangana also successfully able to send out the naxals but where they went they went to chatisgarh here chatisgarh no chatisgarh there is a big area called bastar bastar district chatisgarh in chatisgarh this andhra pradesh in chatisgarh bastar actually is completely forest area very it's the largest district of chatisgarh almost there on forest is there called dandakaranya there is a movie you know ah that is dandupalam is different okay <laughs> dandupalam is horror movie see dandakaranya friends dandakaranya dandakaranya is a forest area in chatisgarh the dense forest obviously there are many small small villages in the dandakaranya obviously government cannot control them see government cannot reach the small villages in forest no laying roads internet electricity cable difficult because india does not have so much money to establish roads railways everywhere in india that to dandakaranya is a large forest area so all the naxalites who were thrown away from greyhounds by greyhounds went to dandakaranya and dandakaranya became the base camp 
if you become an excel first you dandakaranya only in dandakaranya you will be trained dandakaranya has a training spots base camps all training happens there only recruitment also you are at an interview you have to go there only there they are at an, take interview and select you an excel okay my friends so now dandaka in dandakaranya area chatisgarh the naxals became extremely strong now the state government chatisgarh could not set the number of police police people are very less chatisgarh the police people cannot go into forest and fight the accelerates they are not sufficient so do you know what uh, chitisgarh has done chitisgarh what they have done normal local youth they gave the guns local youth and they trained them trained asked them to go and kill the accelerates understand this concept is called salva zudum have you heard that salva salva zudum but uh, it is not a right thing because young people who are uh, illiterate poor youth showing them the guns uh, training them slightly and sending them to fight is not a good thing if you want to increase the number of police or call the crp or whatever you cannot use the local youth no so it actually is a violation of human right because those people do not know that their life is at risk a police will know a police knows that see if i go there if i attack in this way i can live if i attack in this way i can die something will be known but young people illiterate people given slight training they don't know that the life is risk they feel that they are heroes warriors eh, they shoot and they lie understand so that kind of uh, consciousness will not be there it's a violation of human rights you cannot use people uh, for uh, purpose of state just like this okay whereas jharkhand is different <laughs> in jharkhand the state government naxalites have a truce what is it one kind of means for example okay you take own that much we'll do this much but now it is changing now it is changing slowly in west bengal also almost like the tone jharkhand also almost okay uh, orissa government orissa government also problem is in orissa most of the areas are drought prone areas drought orissa also mostly drought prone areas no rainfall no agriculture everywhere poverty no drinking water so difficult to develop government is giving funds to orissa also called as backward backward region grant fund we call it as backward regions of india bundelkhand bundelkhand madhya pradesh up kalahandi koraput bolangir kbk districts orissa orissa has kalahandi bolangir koraput highly backward almost like uh, east africa in africa east africa somalia ethiopia will be there no it will be like that very dry undeveloped so orissa also government is really unable to develop all these places only when development happens see, do you know what manmohan singh said development is a master remedy for left wing extremism you can write down actually he said that prime minister of india said that development is the master remedy for left wing extremism left wing extremism master remedy development is a master remedy why because i tell you friends why it is development no you fight with naxalites kill naxalites whatever you do still they keep on coming new people keep on coming but if you develop the entire village entire place then nobody will come whoever are there okay but new people will not come new people will not be added do you know what we call this as addressing the root cause rather than symptoms for example i have a teeth problem let's say i have teeth problem let's say why it is coming because i'm eating sweets cool drinks whatever okay because of that i'm getting teeth problem what are the symptoms maybe decay cavity something happens and i go to surgery the doctor gives me medicine for so reducing the pain whatever but that is medicine for what symptoms but i have to solve the root cause that means i should stop eating i should stop that similarly naxalism also killing the naxalites fighting with them extra police station that is also required that is also required when you have when you get tooth pain you have to definitely take medicine so that is required but you have to address the root cause so you have to address the root cause of the problem rather than only solving the symptoms symptoms the root cause is development 
development has to happen development is the what is what is the meaning of master remedy you only remedy means remedy means solution master remedy means master solution for axialism is what development even the prime minister of india declared naxalites as terrorists when the word terrorist many people think that terrorist means only kashmir they'll have beards they not like that terrorist means anybody who terrorizes the people terrorist means by bomb blast grenades terror they create terror among the public that's why britishers used to call bhagat singh as a terrorist, terrorist. why because britishers felt that bhagat singh has thrown a bomb in the assembly no in the parliament no so he is creating terror so terrorist or he killed somebody you no know. so killing violence is called terror so next is also terrorist only so government declared dexers as the terrorist and they banned all organizations now now friends what are the so what are the solutions how do we solve the nexred problem obviously the common thing that i read everywhere is twin twin strategy two pronged approach twin two pronged approach means you follow two things parallelly one is you work on the development that is i told you know root cause St stop eating the sweets whatever second thing is second thing is policing policing taking the pain killer or killing the rats development is a soft approach and policing is the both are required when you get the teeth problem you have to both take medicines as well as stop eating sweets whatever or you have to completely change the diet diet has to be changed if you have a very good diet you will not get teeth problem okay now friends two pronged approach coming development what do, for for development government is doing lot of things actually friends for development government is taking lot of measures for example the famous uh, transformation of aspirational districts have you heard that transformation of transformation of aspirational districts almost one do you know what government has done in india means right now i think 2021 census we have 748 districts but this program came in 2018 that means based on 2011 census 2011 census i think some 640 640 districts are there in india in those 64 districts 101 districts are selected they are backward districts government felt that all districts are not equally developed out of 648 some are underdeveloped so let us focus on those districts which are undeveloped. poor undeveloped focus on them grow them obviously development will come to enter india they felt like that in the, then they have selected 101 districts call them as aspirational districts in those 101 almost 40 districts are naxal affected 40 that means indirectly they are developing the naxal affected districts almost fought naxal affected almost 40 are naxal but actually friends if you look at entire india if you ask me how many districts are naxal affected overall i think 115 15 districts in india nine states 115 districts are affected by naxalism in the 115 some 40 are selected that's all okay also you read about this actually this is a very interesting program of government of india what they do you know this this 100 districts you know they'll okay, have comparison ranking every district every district will try to work better in every district they'll keep a prabhari officer prabhari officer who will work for development district collector state government central government together will work in the districts do you know what they will do convergence of schemes what they will do is convergence of schemes what is convergence friend implementation. yes implementation most importantly convergence means see there are many schemes in india 
you have to combine them all and do them together every scheme cannot be separate every department separate every scheme separate they will not work out all of them to be combined only then there will be a holistic comprehensive integrated development understand convergence of schemes now friends anybody has doubt in this convergence anybody you don't understand what is convergence for example minister of home affairs home, home ministry has to coordinate with the ministry of information technology together they have to do something rural development ministry have to coordinate with drinking water minister something like that understand now they are combined actually both means combined now like that they have to coordinate combine converge them they cannot do act independently that is the meaning okay now friends uh, actually if i have tell you about the maoist party i told you cpi maoist no where is it cpi maoist cpi maoist do you know what they have launched it called as unified action what is it called as unified action, unified action means all the nuxlate nuxlate organizational combine together together they attack unified action but the problem in india is nuxlates are united nuxlates of chhattisgarh nuxlates of west bengal andhra telang they are united but state governments are not united state governments of chhattisgarh selva judum andhra greyhounds uh, west bengal some sympathetic like that they are different so state governments also have to be united you have to unite and work against nuxlates united okay so so united means what you have to know various security organizations of india various security organizations of india shall act in unison shall act together for example the state police state police have to coordinate with crpf they have to work together this is lacking actually this is lacking this is not happening example Two thousand uh, for girlfriend. Two thousand fifteen or sixteen or two thousand seventeen. Something. Dante Wada massacre. Dante Wada attack. Do you remember the Dante Wada? Dante Wada which state? Dante Wada which state? Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh Dante Wada Naxal area. Do you know what happened there? The state police are local state police. CRPF are. central police both of them working against the nuxlates but they don't have the coordination state police will think that what can crpf do we are the local people local police we have information crpf is that local what they got we are central police we have more weapon more training we can do better and they have that uh, disjointed operations they are not together that became a problem you know what happened dante what attack which was very gruesome attack do you know what happened at the time the state police of uh, chhattisgarh have intelligence intelligence means they have information that attack is going to happen somewhere in that area you should not go attack is going to happen but they did not pass it to crpf crpf did not know for example they got information that some naxal annas have come to this area yesterday night now they are co completely strong here we should not go there police know they should not go there but they did not pass information to crpf is of central reserved police force you can actually write the exam there is an exam called capf exam you know one of our students rahul he cleared he prepared upsc only but he could not clear upsc he cleared capf examination i mean he, he prepared for civil service but cleared capf central or police force if you write the examination now in this examination there is central industrial security force there is central armed police force bsf is there bsf so, some service are there he got he got uh, sorry hey oh ho, this is ppt okay i thought this is the white board then crpf crpf csf bsf all come under the capf so you know friends see now uh, 
Dante what attack, how it happened is, police know have intelligence uh, is there, but they did not pass it, not to CRPF. So CRPF Jawans, many people went in um, uh, vehicles into that area for some operations, some action. And 72 CR personnel killed on the same day. 72 CR personnel. It's a major attack. 72 CRPF personnel died. Died. Only some, I think, 8 or 9 Naxals did. That's all. Naxals are well coordinated, well planned. CRPF went without any intelligence. So, this clearly tells that we require united action by the various organizations. There are some organizations, friends. For example, have you heard? <coughs> Reserve Battalion, Indian Reserve Battalion, IRB. <coughs> Reserve Battalion means they are not police, they are not paramilitary also. <coughs> separate, they are separate. Every state separately recruits them. Recently, also, Jammu and Kashmir uh, has uh, released notification that they are taking some 5,000 IR water. It is a good step for employment. It employs more people. Everybody cannot become police, no. IRB is a good thing. IRB will get funding from central government. IRB, do you know what IRB will do? Every state will have IRB. State government will recruit IRB. <coughs> reserve battalion. What they will do is, they will be reserve battalion. They will not generally work. When there is a terrorist attack or uh, Naxal, Naxal attack, insurgency, then they will act. IRB. Okay, IRB. Even you might have heard about uh, inside CRPF, among the CRPF, some experts, strong soldiers are taken out, trained very well. They are called as Cobra. Commando Battalion for Resolute Action. Commando Battalion for Resolute Action. Cobra. <coughs> Even state police are also trained. Among the state police, some government, state governments, for example, Andhra Pradesh, what they do, you know? In Andhra Pradesh state, go, state police, some are taken out. They are trained more, given bigger weapons. They are given more training, more money, more incentives, more motivation, so that they can go and fight with. Next year, see, fight, next year is different. Fighting roadside, the traffic problems or the local uh, crimes, that, that is easy. Next year is very difficult. Well trained, motivation should be there. Because you may die now. If you go to that, you may die. So you have, should have motivation and incentive. If you die in the war, you get this much money for family. Incentive, task patriotism. What is that? Task, task force also. Task force is not only for Naxalism, task force is for many things. Okay. <coughs> Good. Anyhow, friends, next see. We are actually discussing about what development or policing. This will come under policing. This is not development. Please take it out. Policing. This is development. Okay. Otherwise, I will divide like this. Let us write all developmental measures on this side and all policy measures on this side. Development, for example, transformation of aspirational districts. Policing, I would say, about CRPF plus state police or COBRA inside CRPF only or in, uh, Indian Reserve Battalion, something. Friends, in development, I told you about, you know, there is integrated action plan, integrated action plan. I'll tell you, friends, I, I forgot to tell you, sometimes even police can do development activities. For example, civic program, there is a police civic program. Civic program means, you know what? Police people will participate in rural development. They will help in drinking water supply. They will help in uh, laying the roads. They will help in construction of schools. They will help in teaching to the education, give education. Why? Because, you know, local people have to like police. Actually, local people are afraid of police, afraid of CRPF. Because CRPF also to harass the people. Sometimes police also harass people. That's why Naxals are able to get support people, no? If local people are harassed by police, then they will support tax rights. So you have to build the bond. The bo example, do you know Kerala? Kerala, you know, Jan Maitri Suraksha, Jan Maitri Suraksha, Kerala. Do you know about that? It's a very 
Jan Maitri Suraksha. Do you know what the program is? Kerala police. Kerala police will try to build a bond with public. Public should feel police as a safe thing. They should be easily able to approach police. In Andhra Pradesh, any other state, police is afraid and afraid to go to police. A woman is there. She has a problem. She cannot go to police station. She is afraid to go to police station. That should not be there. That fear. Actually, police are here to help us, you know. See, if there is somebody who is to help you, you have to feel to approach them, feel friendly with them. But it is opposite. Police is there. As if you are a criminal. Do you know that mindset is called colonial mindset? Colonial means British time, British police, British police. Indians only or British police. They used to suppress the Indians. At that time, the police duty was to control revolts. Uh, you know, uh, completely they used to avoid the Indians. They are anti-India. They support the British for exploitation. So, in those days, Indians are afraid of the police, British police. They are here to attack us only. But nowadays also, many people, if they say it's the police, they will go away like this. So, that kind of fear is there. They have to go out. Similarly, in Naxal affected areas, the relationship is very important. That's why police civic action has been planned. According to police civic action, the government will give fund fund to CRPF to do rural developmental activities. Okay. What is <coughs> integrated action plan? Integrated action plan means the central government has selected 106 Naxal affected districts of India. Naxal affected districts they selected. They have, choose, they have chosen in from nine states. 106 Naxal affected districts are chosen. For these districts, they launched integrated action plan. You know what is that? Same as this one only. What they will do is, all government schemes, for example, throughout India, government may not focus whether every district of India, all schemes are implemented or not. Implemented or not. But in these Naxal affected districts, Every day they will see uh, how much drinking water problem solved, for example, see. I will tell you some government schemes. For employment, national rural livelihood mission is a government scheme for employment in the, in the villages or MGNRG. Mahatma Gandhi National Rural. They will monitor. In these Naxal districts, they will daily monitor. By video conferencing, they will do video conferencing, they really want how much uh, happened, how much works happened, how many people got salary, they will ensure. For drinking water, national rural drinking water program. For drinking water, national rural drinking water program. For education, I told you know, education is right to education. Even Sarasiksha Abhiyan, even any other, for example, uh, for scheduled tribes, there are some schools, scheduled tribe schools called Ekalavya schools and also for women there are schools Kasturba Gandhi Kasturba Gandhi Balika Vidyalayas those schools for scheduled caste there are some hostels ashram hostels ashram they are all government only Ekalavya schools ashram uh, uh, hostels Kasturba Gandhi uh, uh, girls school these schemes they will ensure every day these schemes are they implementing or not and do you know what they have done? They have, they have diverted, they have diverted some forest area. In Naxal effect, do you know in Naxal affected areas, forest is the biggest problem. In forest, Naxals are there, you cannot go and attack. If forest is there, difficult to attack. That's why some forest area, they have cut the trees, used it for school construction, hospital construction. Police station construction, police station, uh, and then power plants, roads construction, or even rainwater harvesting because they are dry areas, no? Rainwater harvesting ponds, some area. In that way, two benefits are there. One is reducing the forest. Generally, forest not reduced because India environmentally we should save forest, but here there is no uh, alternative. You have to cut the forest because Naxals are there, no? So, cut the forest, but use one benefit is by cutting the forest, access will become weak. Second thing is using it for development. development. People like it, people. Do you know it? These kind of projects are stopped by whom? Stopped by Naxalites. If some school is constructed, no, they'll throw a bomb on school. If some power plant is there, means they'll come and destroy a power plant. 
because of that slowly people started hating the Naxalites. The CPA Maoist is there, no? What is CPA Maoist? You only. Yeah. CPA Maoist is the most dangerous Naxal body. Nowadays, it is not getting people's support. Why? Last, what is your name? Why CPA Maoist is not getting support of people these days? Why? Okay, then. Yes, government is developing. Why they are hating Maoists? Why people are hating Maoists? Developmental parts they are destroying. Second thing you know, violence. Maoists is full of violence. People, they like violence to some extent. See, some violence movies you can see. Is the entire movie violence can you see? So people also hate violence. For everything violence means they don't like it. No. So violence, second reason, violence. One more reason you can tell you, you know, one more reason for this people are ha uh, hating Maoists. Maoists are becoming corrupt. Now, Maoist people know they are becoming corrupt. They are also taking money and then doing wrong things. That's why uh, slowly they are becoming weak. I mean, public support is becoming weaker. Okay? Okay. Then, friends, tell me some government schemes. Health. Health. National Health Mission for children. Tell me some scheme of children. In, yes. Yes. Then, some old people. Pension scheme. Housing. National Housing Mission or Indra Aavas Yojana or you know Food PDS National Food Security Act Public Service System Tell every scheme Water schemes you know write every scheme Tell that all these schemes should be monitored every day particularly for next several areas and integrate all the schemes that's all okay First tell me more developmental measures for example See, there are some measures like um, if Naxal comes out of the Naxalism, what is the benefit? Why should it come out of Naxalism? Yes. Any Naxal who comes to Naxalism, they will be given almost 3 lakh rupees, spot 3 lakh rupees. If he gives weapons also, weapons, some money will be paid for weapons, cost weapons. He will be given monthly salary, not throughout the life, some 2 3 years. He will be shown some livelihood. By giving skill, they will skill him. For example, Naxal came out of. They will, uh, what is that? Ah, what skill they are giving to him? Basically, they will give skills like mobile repair or carpentry, something iron smith, some, some skill they will give. And so that he will be employed. In that, and then they will, not, they will not punish him. They will not represent him. For example, I have made 300 murders till yesterday. <laughs> Today only I came out, I want to stop Naxalism. Then they should not punish him. They have to give him 3 lakh rupees. And monthly pension because only if they do only if they do like that, Naxals will come out. Otherwise, the most dangerous Naxals, when their mindset change, you know, when they feel that I am doing wrong things, they cannot come out. They will be there only till death. If government is allowing them to mix in uh, Jana Shavanti, Jana Jana Shavanti, when they allow the mix, only then Naxals will start coming out. Because slowly Naxals also are hating the profession. They are not uh, liking the profession. That they want to come out, so you have to provide an avenue for them. Avenue, okay? So that is called Maxell Rehabilitation Program. And also, friend, do you know government gives special money for police fortification, police stations fortification? So, fortification means the police station is there, you throw a grenade, also nothing will happen. Nothing will happen, very strong. And weaponry, heavy weapons, you cannot give. Small guns for police. Naxals will come with big guns. What will you do? You have to just drop the gun and do like this, right? So, have you seen this movie? No, no. Karthi, uh, Karthi will be there. Lorry driver, he will be. Kaidi, Kaidi. In Kaidi, last scene, he will have a gun. Have you seen the gun? One gun he will take, no. Those kind of guns Naxals are using. And police are using. College which gun they will use? Long, the knife will be there. They will do like this. By the time they play one bullet, Naxals will almost they finished completely so weaponry competing weaponry is important do you know where Naxalites are getting the funds from weapons from cross border previously china now they say pakistan also cross border weapons that has to be cut cross border okay cross border we call it as gun running gun running means bringing the guns if you want to buy a gun you can go to border area you get a lot of guns okay cross cross it has to be stopped 
and police require weapons fortification police require incentives even do you know what happens when naxals and police fight among themselves no common people die no those common people will be given money by whom government or uh, naxalites government excrescia you know excrescia government started giving good excrescia good excrescia for the for the common uh, man who is affected by the naxal attacks whatever so that slowly people become against naxals so these points you are trying when they ask you know left wing extremism is getting support local people how do you make the support uh, uh, end you have to excrescia and this kind of things you have to write based on the question you have to mold the answer friends do you know virtually this kind of things this kind of uh, fortification weapons incentives are extra money state government cannot bear it no state government will not have much money no who will give money central government under separate scheme for example security related expenditure separate scheme security related expenditure separate money will be given for state governments like that special infrastructure development project special infrastructure that means in the naxal areas you have to build some helipads roads power stations internet in the naxal areas special infrastructure special infrastructure for example naxal area is there if you can build internet uh, power supply everything obviously they can control it communicate from there understand helipad so directly my show can come in helipad fight the, which movie it comes in helipad fights and then goes away martana no cm will directly come wherever crime is happening he'll come fight everybody and cm will go away like that like that this uh, commandos if any major thing is there they can come at helipad construction helipad required okay so this is also very important funding is important and friends do you know in india there is famous school called cr schools you know anybody what is cr counter insurgency and anti terrorist school who will be selected there some good police officers good military people good crpf jawans anybody who is strong good so police are like very motivated now very they will be taken to the school counter insurgency and terrorism school cr schools insurgency means naxalism or insurgency only naxalites also want separate country no separate country within their country separate government separate government okay uh, counter insurgency and anti terrorist in the school they will give special training normal police will get which training running and climbing only no but they they will get special training how to fight in the forest in rough terrain behind the hills you will learn how to fight like this but they will learn how to fight like this also understand really means they will uh, fighting skills will be uh, aerobatic skills will be there anyhow in some movies they have shown no specially skilled force will be there anyhow cr schools are established with huge amount of money training centers good training centers okay so friends like that both policing has to be done hard measures and also soft measures both are required okay and most importantly uh, where i said about india this is very important this is the biggest problem in india intelligence sharing we call it as friends intelligence sharing is the biggest problem intelligence will be, do you know local people will have intelligence but they will not give i know i am a local village person i know today two annas are coming but i will not tell i'll keep quiet so by the janama this uh, police week program police become close now then i'll call and tell you know what two annas are coming today come and catch them like that i can tell so that uh, uh, information transfer from local people has to go has to go well friends friends actually do you know the biggest steps in this direction development direction you might be knowing about the forest rights act right what is it 2006 what is the act scheduled tribes scheduled tribes and other forest dwellers protection of rights act protection of forest rights protection of forest right acts this act actually helped the tribal people this act helped many people not to go nexism you know why in this 2006 act you know what this act is this act is scheduled tribes there are many scheduled tribes in the forest area not only sts 
there will be some other people also in the forest they are not sg but other uh, forest dwellers they will be there they are there in forest from last hundreds of years father grandfather everybody is in forest only so they sh they have to be given forest rights it is their right to stay there they are staying there from 10 generations so how can governments come and say go away that's why they are given the forest right now they can stay in the forest and what is their right there are some rights like shifting cultivation they have one type of agriculture shifting cultivation they'll cultivate here they'll move there but of course it's a it's not a, a environmentally good thing slightly monitored along with shifting cultivation yes 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 forest locally available tendu leaves or other forest products which they will collect do you know what the people will do every day they'll collect some leaves and fruits and they'll go out and sell it that's how they earn money now if you ask them to go to the forest what they will do so forest right means you can stay in the forest you can do your livelihood activities which you are doing for many years that is called forest rights act in 2008 again they added new rules called forest right rules new rules added forest rights in fact now government is helping them to sell the products by forming trifets what a trifet trifet is tribal cooperative federation it is for what marketing tribals are producing some goods some products but they don't know where to sell they don't know how to sell i am a broker for example a broker what i will do you know i will go to the forest i will ask tribes to come i will take all tendu for 5 rupees only all some of the 10 rupees only i will go to the market i'll sell for 50 100 rupees i'll get the all benefit so now tribal cooperative federation means all tribals together they'll collect the all the goods they'll go to the market they'll sell in the market they'll get all the money so like their government is helping them previous government has kicked them out but now government is helping them to livelihood this kind of facts should help similarly i think all of you know india has got only central government and state government but in 1992 in 992 what happened the constitution of india is amended it is called 73rd constitution act and 74th also yeah 74th is municipalities leave it 73rd is panchayats we got panchayats because we're talking villages no cities naxalism is not really there friend city naxal comes also you'll say i have to go to office come in the evening nobody has time in cities village is a place where naxalites actually have a strong hold 73rd amendment act but friends this 992 this no 73rd this is in the constitution amendment is done panchayats are added but panchayats are not there for scheduled areas what are scheduled areas areas where tribes will live tribal areas in the constitution of india if you take constitution of india there are 22 parts and how many schedules are there 12 schedules in those 12 schedules fifth schedule sixth schedule what is the fifth schedule what is sixth schedule very good actually both five and six are two tribal area tribes only for the tribes friends in every state not every most of the states there are some tribal areas will be there where all tribes will be there forest areas tribes for them government has to go for different kind of measures same method cannot be followed that's why what government did you know fifth schedule means if you take india take india leave the northeast part remaining part of india remaining part of india wherever tribal areas are there no scheduled areas all of them come under the fifth schedule and northeastern tribal areas come under the sixth schedule why is why is separated because northeast tribal developmental measures are different because they the terrain the culture the historical background political reality everything is different here is different that's why separate here governor has more powers governor their president has more powers and even do you know what in some of the northeast areas independence is given independence for example one uh, tribal area is there they are made independent they can rule by them is almost all central government will be there under that autonomous region can anybody tell me any autonomous region in assam autonomous region bodo land very who said that who said bodo land very good bodo in assam state no there are many districts 
four districts are called as bodo land bodo land the bodo land has autonomous region that means they can form their own committee council they can rule so that their culture will be preserved they have their own culture they don't want to mix with the remaining people i mean remaining cultures okay anyhow the point is friend fifth schedule sixth schedule is for tribal areas no scheduled tribal areas no but these schedules are not properly implemented that is why many tribes supporting the nexlets now government is trying to implement them properly finally got it now tell me friends somebody said amtm no assam meghalaya tripura mizoram yeah that's correct these are the states which come six schedule now friends panchayats are not there in scheduled areas you know that here panchayats are no, there throughout india but not scheduled areas but in 1996 panchayat are extended to scheduled areas in 1996 what happened the panchayat panchayat means local government is extended to the scheduled is also which is a very good act which is a very good act this also actually helped the tribal areas to have their own panchayat take own decisions so they are happy they don't need to go with nexlets okay let us stop nexlism nexlism is almost over let us go to next topic after few minutes break any doubts nexlism friends you understood how nexlism started how it evolved evolved how it became strong what government is doing government is going for integrated integrated means what you know integrated means harsh measures soft measures together policing development together but the problem is even today government is trying to integrate but still it is a piece meal you know what is the, the word piece meal you use word commonly in the exam friends piece meal approach means what do you know do you know what a piece meal approach anybody piece meal approach means if you want to do something you do like kachra mukkal mukkal chestaru anamata parts 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 you want to do it in a consistent integrated way piece meal also called as ad hoc ad hoc one minister will do something one department will do something collector will do something state government something center everybody will do something only there is no coordination there is no collaboration that is called ad hoc piece meal that's what is happening in that in the anti nexal activities okay is there anybody who felt uh, not clear anywhere or everything is clear any problem no ltte is a sri lankan tamilian group sri lankan tamilian group why in sri lanka see in india majority minority is there no religion wise whatever otherwise also in sri lanka northern sri lanka jaffna there is a tamil group tamilians are there very small group so 10 percent population remaining all are sinhalese majority the sinhalese never give importance to the tamil people they did not allow them into government jobs did not allow them into politics they did not uh, keep tamil language in the national languages that's why they were uh, uh, worried they have no identity no no identity so they revolted against the sinhalese sure. revolt happens everywhere terrorism is there that's all the revolt uh, nagaland revolt is there every you know, nexalism means only this kind of left wing communist party the, here they want to establish communist party ltd they don't want to establish communist party ltd they want sri lankan government to realize that tamil tamilians are also part of sri lanka you you consider us all that's all uh, ltd uh, nexalism is left wing extremism communist party there is no right wing in nexalism nexalism is all communist party only same ideology communist within communism lenin communism marxism maoist communist party has many uh, ideologies again internally for example islam is there islam has uh, sufi um, sunni shia difference is there no like that hmm janmaitri you know what is that in kerala kerala government do you know what the kerala government do every weekend police will conduct some activities awareness activities friendship calling the local people for coffee 
discuss with whatever happening in the village so that they become very good friends police and public you know actually they they are encouraging community policing do you know what is community policing friends community community policing community policing means see police themselves cannot really find all criminals police are very limited police are very limited people are more police cannot find all intelligence what is happening where somewhere the rat has gone let me catch they cannot do all those things right so people should help public should help community for example i am staying night time in my neighboring house somebody is crying as a police will take you not think like that somebody is crying immediately i will call police somebody is crying police will come and see and baby will cry for milk okay that just you know see point is for, so for example in my neighborhood husband harassing the wife or sometimes wife also harass husband also so in either cases i have to call the police inform them it's my responsibility community policing for example in the next streets arnas are coming next streets are coming next streets every day for having food whatever i came to know that i have to complain to police so community policing means people should help the police people are responsible no to stop the crime you cannot say police are responsible i will just eat food i will sleep means it's not possible you should be part of it that's called community policing okay sir what is what is the kalahandi structure kalahandi actually in india there are some districts which are highly underdeveloped backward example take orissa state in orissa there are three districts kalahandi bolangir korapit these three are very backward districts no food no water no rainfall drought completely very poor schools are not good condition hospitals are very bad complete that's why they say it's like eastern africa but now situation is changing but really is very bad kbk districts bundelkhand is one region between madhya pradesh and uttar pradesh bundelkhand is madhya pradesh uttar pradesh some part it's also very dry no rainfall droughts agriculture is bad no industries no schools hospital friends in any place if there is no agriculture in villages no agriculture no crops no water obviously employment will not be there obviously people will be very poor no money then they cannot go to school in such places doctors will not work doctors they won't get money no hospitals will not be there in such places husbands will be beating the wife every day frustration no money no no money and in such places such places government control will not be there government control in such places alcohol drinking becomes very common because no work no no work no no good family no bonding no economy alcohol is increases do you know anna hazare yes, anna hazare when he came from military to his village called ralegan siddhi village name is anna hazare village name is friend this is a very interesting story but i should not tell it now in inter security class but just one or two minutes it is ahmednagar district it is in ahmednagar which state friends which state ahmednagar maharashtra he came he saw like this only no water body drought everybody is drinking husband beating the wives children are not going to school no hospitals everybody is dying do you know what he has done he felt that i cannot ask government to do everything government cannot do so he called some local youth local youth he called what he has done you know in the village he identified this is a village you know he identified some place like this low lying areas low lying there they have dug the they have dug the pond dug the pond so that when there is rainfall all water will come there collect there otherwise water will go out if you dig artificial ponds water will be collected and do you know what he has done in that village there is no ground water why no ground water when rain falls rain will go away no trees no crops so he has gone for grass grass grasslands grass cover so that when rainfall comes no water will stay there and water will go into the earth ground water will increase so like that he worked very hard for the water conservation almost 3 4 years once water is conserved next crop agriculture started growing very well agriculture once agriculture started growing no people started getting money we start getting money and do you know what he has done for example buffalo cow they keep on grazing throughout the village the nothing will be there in the village so what he has done is he kept all cows buffalo in a place and went for stall feeding stall stall means bring the grass to their cow will eat the grass you cannot allow the cow to roam around the village and destroy all the crops stall feeding encouraged and do you know which kind of crops he asked people to grow 
those crops which will give more money. He did not allow them to grow water crop. He had a planning. You grow this crop for this climate, this soil, this crop is best. And this crop right now market price is also very good. So sell it, um, uh, produce it. After growing, he found out right markets, right markets where they can get more money. And also some farmers have very less land. Do you know what he has done? He asked them to buy cows and buffaloes by giving loan. How, who gave loans, you know? Other villages who are getting more crops, you know, they have more money, you know. He forced them to give loan. They gave loans. With that, they bought buffaloes and cows. Because of that small farmers whose income very less, you know, they earn income from buffaloes and cows. And buffaloes cows, what he has done, you know, collected all the milk and he formed cooperatives. They will only pasteurize, they will only pack it, they will only sell. They will get all the money, people, local people. Like they got money. As they got money, do you know what he has done? School construction. School, he hired good teachers because money is there, no? parents can pay money now. So good teachers have come. So uh, hospitals. And what about hospitals? Hospitals, will doctors go to villages? Why they will not go? Because money. villages, they cannot get more money. But he is able to, people are able to pay more. So good doctors are able to come. Like that, the village became a model village. See how he changed it. While well, coming from military, he saw the village, he changed the village. Completely changed, Anna Hazare. That's why Anna Hazare is a very valued person. Anyhow, now leaving this thing, so what I'm telling you is, we cannot depend on government for everything. Self, you should try yourself also. Government will help you, but you should try yourself also. Cannot blame government for everything. And you know what Anna Hazare has done? Alcohol, morally convinced. Whoever drinks alcohol in the village, you know, everybody should not talk to him. Should not talk to him. Like that, they slowly avoid them. Slowly, people have changed. So all kinds of reduced. Means they may drink once in a year, but everyday drinking is not possible. Like that, moral is able to convince. Local youth is able to collect to work. Understand? Friends, let us stop this example. Let us go to the next topic that is cyber security. <laughs> Friends, <coughs> what is cyber security? See. What is cyberspace? What is cyberspace? Cyberspace means, for example, in this space, I am putting chairs, fans, lights, you know. Like that, there is a virtual space which you cannot see. In that, I can put a lot of information. All, for example, all bank accounts, transactions, all the online material, online notes, lot of information. Lot of information is stored in the, where? In the rack? In this room? No, no. Where? You cannot see it online virtual space that's called cyberspace just like the physical space that is cyberspace lot of them showed in small chips in this data okay as server servers that's called virtual space if somebody can come into this room take away all the chairs rob all the chairs will not have chairs to sit right similarly if somebody can come into those uh, cyberspace steal all data you don't have any data you will not have any data that can be done that's why just like for, for this classroom we require security, you no? Know? Security should be there outside, you no? Know? Not allowing anybody, robbers. Like that, we require security for the space also. But there, nobody can sit like this. They have to have some tools, control the network systems. That's called cyber security. Okay, now friends, see, cyber security is an important topic mainly because slowly in the last 20 years, we became more dependent on the cyberspace only. For example, recently, government launched national e-governance plan. It's launched a long time back. Now they launched 2.0, like Ro Robo 2.0. Pushpa also, I think somebody said 2.0 will come. If this movie is released and hit, then 2.0 will come. So, NEGP 2.0. National e-governance. E-governance, what is governance? Governance means implement, see, making of policies and implementation of policies is governance. Uh, if the governance has to be done online, it means giving all land pattas online, all grievances, redress online, banking online, panchayat works online, farmers interaction, everything online, online, online everything online. Okay, almost do you know education online, health online, telemedicine, e-medicine, e-education, everything online. That's called National e governance Plan. It's also called as e, e Karanti. Government does not like English names. They want some Hindi name to catch the conscience of people. Understand? For example, you know, IR, 
what is IRNSS? What is IRNSS? Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. We will learn in space technology. It is also called as NAVIC. NAVIC. Sailor. NAVIC. Like that, government wants to call everything with Hindi. Okay? So, e -kranti. Under the National E-Governance Plan 2.0, under that, there are 44 or 42, I think, 44 mission mode plans. One on health, one education, one land certification, one nutrition, like that. 44 different things are there under the e plan. I am just telling you, I am just telling you how cyber cyberspace became very important. Government itself is dependent on cyberspace. They tell me in other things, banking. I told you, you know, banking, complete online banking. Even the sensitive information, the defense information, defense, for example, you saved all your notes, very hard work, you worked very hard for last two years, all notes online, computer crashed. What will you do? You understand? Like that. Like that, ba banking, and you know, many sensitive information details, sensitive information. Yeah, confidential, which everybody can not see. Confidential, okay? So, sensitive information. So, you know, even, for example, if India has to launch missiles, you know, the missile launching, you will not go to the missile and pull it like this, you will not launch. There will be online system. Online system will be there. Where coding will be there, coding. Through that coding, you have to turn on the switch. Then missiles will be launched. It's called missile launching system. Like that everything is online. For example, let us say, Pakistan attacking us, let us say with missiles. Before you go and launch missiles, they already hacked the system. Then you go and launch missiles, what will happen? Missiles will not be launched. What is the point of having large missiles, nuclear weapons, lot of um, uh, equipment, if you cannot launch it? You understand? Like that, cyberspace became very important. If you, can, if you cannot safeguard your cyberspace, you are nothing. You are a failure. Okay? Uh, nuclear missile launching systems. The entire government uh, uh, economy, scheme plan, even the stock markets. If stock markets are uh, hacked, no, in India stock market hacked, no, complete economy will come to collapse. Stock markets, every company so suddenly, okay. Stock markets online only. Will you do stock market by going to Mumbai Stock Exchange and doing something and taking everything online? Somebody gave a very good example. IR, IRCTC. I like the example. IRCTC. Entire railway tickets on a single uh, online platform, like that. Like that, friends. You have to, actually you can um, uh, write like this. Cyber security is becoming more important as our dependence on the cyberspace is increasing. As our dependence, we are depending more on the cyberspace. We are depending more on the information communication technology. That means internet. Internet and computers. Internet, if IoT comes to know, the dependence of complete increase. What is IoT? Internet of things. That means you control everything by internet only. You control the watch, fan, AC, TV, bus, light, everything, the train, everything, internet of things. If that happens, you know, then cyber security becomes more important. Because at the time they can hack the IoT system, you cannot do anything. You cannot turn on the light, you cannot open the door. Door also internet connected, no. Door also, you press something, door will open. So, do you know friends, how to solve this problem? One interesting idea is called air gapping. Have you heard the idea? Anybody knows what air gapping? Any computer science student here? Any computer science here? What is air gapping? Do you know what is air gapping? See, this is a defense computer. Defense equipment, defense related things are there. There are many defense computers many defense computers all are connected by a network oh, connected by network you know network right you know who is a networking engineer who will connect all the computers see that all of them work together if you enter something here it has to come everywhere networking air gapping means there should be a computer which is not connected network not connected network means you, you have to isolate the computer from the network Though it is inside the network, still you have to isolate it. Means, if you infect the network, all these computers will be infected. But this will not be infected. Do you know friends, 
if air gapping is not done no the terrorists cyber terrorists or cyber hackers what they will know they will through the network they will control all systems of india but if air gapping is there no those computers cannot touch it for example this computer no is not air gapped direct connected internet network they can operate if they can hack okay but if you can create air gap for this come air gap then if there is lot of data in this uh, system data is there if somebody has to steal data steal you know chinese americans they steal data from america not government people some organizations they steal data for example you know stuxnet you know stuxnet stuxnet is a malware usa malware usa with that do you know what they have done they stole the iran data iran iran used to do nuclear activities nuclear actually usa has banned iran for some activities you know that iran is developing nuclear weapons iran is developing nuclear weapons all data is stored in some computers in iran now usa want data how many nuclear weapons they are making how they are making information they want to steal it for that they have to send a software called stuxnet like there some countries work still data but if i have air gap if air gapping is done no then for example i have a question for you i have done air gapping for this computer now somebody wants to take information what they can do they have to come here they have to come to this room they have to use a flash drive pen drive or some wifi dongle is there wifi dongle something they have to put and take the data otherwise they cannot take physically they have to come here that's why air gapping is the best way to prevent the cyber crime threats okay friends friends you understood first of all wh what is cyber space you understood why cyber security is more important for india nowadays and you understood now we are going to go for what are the various ki various kinds of cyber crimes let's study that what are the various kinds of cyber or let us say cyber threat in the cyber crime what are the various types of cyber threats actually joseph nai joseph nai a famous cyber expert he divided the cyber threats into four types according to joseph nai there are four types of cyber threats what are they one is cyber war one is cyber war cyber war means let us say china wants to attack japan let us say what china will do you know they will not go for physical war or nuclear war no they will hack all systems of japan they will collapse the japan economic system they will hack the japanese nuclear launching uh, missile systems so they cannot launch anything they will hack the bank system they will hack the government websites like i said websites there is a war now what can they do now they cannot do anything everything is hacked that is called cyber war cyber war generally governments will engage in cyber war future war will be cyber war only after hard years if somebody has attack us they will not come here and shoot us like this cyber war they will connect okay that's called new age war new age new age war second type of cyber threat is cyber espionage espionage i give example second espionage means for example if china wants to know the india's defense data banking data nuclear data china wants all confidential sensitive data of india what they will do they will send a malware spyware we call spyware spyware means it is software have you heard mac pegasus but pegasus is different pegasus actually is software it is made by israeli company called nso i think a company called nso israeli company is a recent company on 2010 i think established company the company they make pegasus software they sell it to governments government purchase it indian government uh, actually uh, amnesty amnesty international said that indian government purchased that uh, pegasus software and they ins they have sent it to some opponent leaders some journalists lawyers some people who are against government they send it to them so that their phones their computers whatever information is there can be stolen they can know what they are going to plan 
This is Amish International. I do not believe in it actually. Okay. So government has done this. This is the talk. So like that, this is a spyware. Spyware means software which will act as a spy. Similarly, friend, Stuxnet. It is also espionage. Espionage. Why? Why you call it espionage? Because espionage. What is espionage? Spying somebody. USA stealing critical Iran data, critical data, nuclear data, which is confidential for them. Okay. Even uh, China, Operation Shady Rat, <laughs> under Operation Shady Rat, they have stolen information of South Korea, USA, India, every country, almost 70 countries they have taken the data. Operation Shady Rat, spyware, famous spyware, one of the biggest espionage activities in the history of uh, spywares. Okay, friends, the third. I am discussing four types of cyber threats. One is cyber war, other is espionage, then is cyber terrorism. Friends, cyber terrorism is a very big aspect. It's a separate question actually. Do you know what is cyber terrorism? That is also correct only. It is an important aspect. Friends, cyber terrorism means terrorism done using cyberspace. Terrorists, who are terrorists? They create terror. To, to get what they want. Same thing you do through cyberspace. How? I will tell you for example. One is, one is hard attack, direct attack. Directly they will come and attack all the computers. Physically. Physically they will come and attack all the computers. Physical attack. It is called physical attack. Actually friend, there are three types of attacks. One is physical attack. Other is? Other is? Huh? Semantic. Other is? Other is some... Uh, there are three types actually. Physical, physical attack means directly they come and attack systems, computers, everything. Nothing or hardware, attack hardware. Semantic means they will, whatever information is there in computer, no? When you are operating it, it will behave differently. Without your knowledge, they will change information. So you will lose trust on the systems. You will lose trust on the systems. This is called a semantic attack. If it happens, no? The people of the country will stop using the computers. They, they do not believe in computers. They do one thing, something else happens. Semantic. Okay. Other also, some kind of attack is there, which is actually in this attack, they send virus, they send a trojan, they send worms, they do phishing, they do denial of services, denial of services. All these kind of things they will do. What is virus? Virus, once sent into a system, it will reproduce, multiply through a network, it will go to various computers. It will completely hack most of the computers. Hack. What is Trojan? Trojan, once sent, you can, you can understand. It will work in system. It will be there behind system. You cannot know what is happening. Slowly, it will give all data to your enemy. You know Trojan horse? Trojan horse. Have you seen the movie? Troy, Troy. In Troy movie, Trojan horse, big horse will be there. No horse will be nobody can see what is there. Suddenly they will come out. Trojans. For example, worms also. Worms means they'll same copy, they'll put the multiple copies. Phishing. Phishing means what you know? Sometimes you get emails. Click on these links to see beautiful images of Wooty. Uh, click on this link to get 50,000 rupees directly into a bank account on a single day. And what will you do? Click on the link. Once you click on the link, then they'll take all information from the computer. But Pegasus is different from Pegasus. Pegasus, you know what you call as? Zero ground. Zero ground something. Pegasus means without clicking. Actually, something came into your phone. Some software. If you click it, accept it, then you can steal information. No? That's called phishing. But Pegasus is ultra modern. No to click anything. It will take all information. Pegasus. It's called as uh, um, zero ground uh, software something. Means you don't do anything. Automatically happens. Okay. Then denial of service. Denial of service, do you know what they use for this? Ransom. Actually, have you heard of have you heard of ransomware? Anybody ransomware? Ransomware means the famous uh, uh, I think uh, there is a three years back one software came to many computers called WannaCry. Software is WannaCry. Means do you want to cry like that? 
all agree. Now, software comes into Indian bank system or many computers, networks. Then, denial of service, you cannot do anything. Computer will not allow to do any work. Then, what will you do? They will call you. Or they, not, they will not call you, they will send something. If you pay 20,000 rupees, again you will give back. Then, you will pay 20,000 rupees, 20, 30,000 rupees, and again service will be back. Till then, denial of service. You, you cannot uh, get any service. Like that, there are a lot of money. Instead of paying 10,000 rupees, we want to find where who sent it and fight with them. It will be a lot of time now. So, send some 5,000 rupees. Then again, give it back over. One cry. It's called software which will take ransom. Ransom money is called ransomware. Wanna cry, ransomware. Okay? Like that. Like that, there are different types of uh, you know attacks that can be done. Either physical attack or semantic, semantic attack, or the other uh, attack, where all these things are there. Okay. Now, friends, see cyber terrorism, one is direct attack, direct attack, other thing is you know. Ah, okay, awesome. Direct attack. Friends, see. Cyber terrorism means they can even plan, plan an attack by communicating through, communicating through internet. For example, I am in Afghanistan, you are in Pakistan, you are in India only, you are from Syria, you are somewhere. We all will plan online. Previously, we have to meet physically, sit down and discuss. No, online, I will send information, code. That code cannot be decoded by anybody. Only you can decode it. I will send a code to you. You will all decode. Okay. Friday afternoon 12 o'clock attack in this way they can plan the attack you know there is a movie no what is the movie Tupaki what they plan on the phone no on the phone they will plan I will come all of them will come same time different places same time they will kill right same time they will kill only yeah same time they will kill ah, like that yeah okay plan attack also friend do you know even friends recruitment can happen recruitment do you know recently in Kerala, three young people were recruited for ISIS and they packed luggages. They are going to go, but police found them. Yeah, Muslims only. But you know, write that in the exam, Muslims and all. Three youth, three youth are, are recruited by ISIS and uh, when they are packed in the bags, going to leave, they are caught in the airport, one in railway station, one bus stop like that and asked to come to prison rather than going to ISIS. And do you know, ISIS right now, is recruiting many people through Facebook, Twitter, online sending mails, recruiting. And even friends, the most important part of cyber terrorism is propaganda. Propaganda means what you know, wrong messages. For example, in Tamil Nadu, Coimbatore recently, a group of people be belonging to minority community, they got a message. When they open the message, it is like, their community people were killed by somebody else. There is also morphed images, morphed, they are not true. Now all people will be anti-majority. Uh, so, they suddenly started attacking, mob violence, started attacking the surrounding areas, what it happened in Coimbatore some 5-6 years ago, mob violence. Why? Because propaganda, wrong propaganda can be sent through internet. Recruitment, planning, attack, even in cyber terrorism, any kind, friend, any kind of terrorist activity which you are doing, can, for example, do you know, somebody once said in, in an article they wrote that, Pakistan's missiles are not safe because ISI, Pakistan ISI is very friendly with the terrorist groups like Al Qaeda, Taliban, whatever. Now, there is a chance that terrorist groups can take control over the Pakistan launching missile launching pads. Once they take control, they can launch all missiles onto wherever they are, India, whatever, wherever they want to launch, they will launch. The, the possibility is there. There is also cyber crime only, cyber terrorism only. So, cyber terrorism is a very broad aspect. Okay? <coughs> Friends, the final thing is cyber crime. Cyber crime. Cyber crime means any criminal activity. Stalking a woman. You know stalking a woman? Stalking a woman. They do it now. WhatsApp messages, phone messages will come. Sometimes they will send some video or wrong videos, mails, Facebook, Twitter, stalking a woman or teasing somebody or even the one some ransom cry is there. Ransom, one, one cry. Ransomware. Ransomware one cry is a cyber crime only. It's not cyber terrorism. Terrorism is creating terror. They just ask you money only. No, that's not terror. That's a crime, criminal activity, or drug smuggling, or uh, what is it? Black. Black. And then what is it? Scam. Scam. Scams. There are many scams. Online scams. 
Online scams are all, are all cyber crimes only. Cyber crime means any criminal activity. I am a criminal. I want money or I want to do something. I do it online. That's all. So these are the four types of threats as per Joseph Nye. Joseph Nye. Okay. Friends, all these things come under cyber crime only. Cyber crime means, means cyber, cyber terrorists also can use those things. Cyber criminals also can use those things. Both can use those things. Okay. Let us go and discuss what is government doing and what should government do quickly. We'll finish in 20 minutes. Okay. So, what are the government measures? Or what should be? See, here two things are there. What is government doing and what government should do? You understood? All the government is taking some steps. For example, we have Computer Emergency Response Team India. Within that again we have Computer Emergency Response to Railways, Finance, every sector. Every sector has separate set. What is set in front? Computer Emergency response team for entire India. Under that, for finance one set will be there, for railways one set will be there, for everything one set will be there. And this is, a, this is a nodal agency, nodal. Entire cyber security of India will be taken care by certain. Do you know what they will do? They will insist on third party audits. They will ask all companies, all departments to go for audit, cyber audit. What is cyber audit? What is cyber audit? What is finance audit? Somebody will come to us, see whether I am paying GST, collecting all fees in the right way, uh, I am a, um, not paying income tax, or I am a making black money. That is called finance accounts audit. Accounts audit. Cyber audit means they will come and see whether every computer has, uh, has, um, uh, every computer has got cyber security tools, cyber security softwares are there. You will have firewalling. Firewalling means uh, uh, some uh, preventing the viruses or worms to come into the computer. Or they will go for how is network. I, I went to a company. Network is a network uh, cyber proof, cyber threat proof. That means am I following the right procedures, protocols, so that nobody can steal my data. Am I following the right systems? Do I have the right uh, softwares to, to secure the data? All these things will be taken care by cyber audit. They will come and audit. Like that, regular audit has to happen in all government departments. Otherwise, the biggest problem, you know, in India, there is a culture of cyber negligence. You go to any minister, MLA, MP, even IS office also, they will work on computer, but they never think about safeguarding data. Somebody may steal, they don't have that. That culture is not there. They will just type something, leave it there like that only. We do not have a culture of cyber security not only culture awareness is not there friends even people have no awareness so government should go for awareness is not there people do not know about the safety how, how, how to keep everything safe is really cyber safety so much important the awareness is not there in public also public public means for example defense soldier is a soldier soldier will casually send whatsapp message or sms or some mail to his friend tomorrow i am going to kargil uh, they asked me to come at 35 degrees north latitude then pakistan will see that because of no cyber security, then they will also come there because it's coming now. Understand? Like that, defense personnel, friends, even ministers, you know, home minister use Gmail or Yahoo mail sometimes. Understand? Which can be, which is not uh, secured. Which India should have their own mail. So there should be a email policy. India should have a good email policy. As of now, Supreme Court also asked. Uh, uh, government to have email policy for ministers, collectors, uh, I mean bureaucrats, ministers, defense people, police people, email policy. Your email should be safe. Nobody should be able to see your emails. Actually, from India, there is a National Informatic Center, NIC. You see, GO, NIC dot in, AP dot means NIC dot in, Actually, every NIC dot in. That is not uh, dot com, dot co dot in, dot NIC. That means all government websites are maintained by National Informatics Center, NIC. National Informatics Center. I only made it. See, so why they do, why and what NIC's role? NIC will ensure that all government data is safe in our own servers. If you save in .com, .co, it will go to 
outside US servers, US, but we want our own servers. So maintenance of websites, maintenance of data will be taken care by NIC. What certain will do certain? We'll see that all computers have security, virus proof or tools are there. And and you know, have you do you have heard of uh, Netra? What is Netra? What is it? Huh? Netra. Netra only. See, they will analyze the traffic and network. Network and traffic analysis. Networks means the all networks of computers of India. How are the networks working? Is there any virus coming in the network? And traffic. Traffic means friend, on the road, which traffic will go? Cars, buses will go. No. In the computer network, which traffic will go? Data will go. In the computer networks, data is called traffic. On road, bus is called traffic. Like that, transport department will see the roads, whether the roads are in good condition, where vehicles are going well. Similarly, Netra will see networks are in good condition, data is coming the right way. Or any wrong data is coming, wrong data, something. Understand? For example, if somebody has taken a bike and going very fast, who will stop him? Try police. Like that, if some virus comes to network, this Netra people should stop it. They have to identify and stop it. Netra. A network and traffic analysis. There is a separate wing actually, separate organization. They work on that. It's a scheme. Similarly, friend, national critical information infrastructure protection center. National critical information infrastructure protection center. Air police also. That's the correct only. You can write it. Very good. National critical infrastructure in production. What they will do now? All critical infrastructure, banking, finance infrastructure, defense infrastructure, those critical infrastructure will be there now. Information that they will protect. That they will protect. Also, National Cyber Coordination Center. National Cyber Coordination Center. Cyber Security Coordination Center. National Cyber Security Coordination Center that means they will coordinate the cyber security measures of different departments. Understand? They will coordinate all the departments. Yes, and he said cyber police is correct. Cyber police will be there. Every state government, some police will be cyber police. Any cyber crime, you can go. Sir, my mail is hacked, sir. Then they will say, okay, I will see and unhack it. Or sir, one girl will go and tell, sir, on Facebook I am getting messages from one boy. He is sending all bad messages every day. Then the police will catch him. Like that. Cyber police. Okay. NCC, huh? NCC National Cyber. National Cyber Security Coordination Cell or Center, whatever. Also, friends, India alone cannot develop all technology. We have to collaborate with other countries. That's why we collaborate with India, United States collaboration is there. India, France collaboration, France, Germany collaboration. We collaborate with different countries. Collaboration means what? Day technologies we will learn. We will teach them all technology. Most of they all know it. Okay. So, but India is good. India is developing new technology these days. So, the sharing, sharing of technology information, that is also India is doing. Okay. And friends, we should have strong policies. That means, this is what India is already doing, and what India should do. For example, friend, we have got information. Technology Act 2000. In that, it is clearly mentioned what are information technology crimes. For example, there is Section 66A. You know that? Anybody knows that? Very infamous section. Section 66A, according to the section, now it is repealed. Supreme Court repealed it now. In 2015 only they repealed. But even now, government is still using it sometimes. The section what they tell you now, if anybody sends a wrong message, inflammatory message or communal message or message of bigotry or message which will incite people to fight or message which is against patriot, against the nation, which is against security, such kind of message you know, they can be imprisoned. For example, one day one person has drawn a cartoon of Mamata Banerjee in a bad way, he is imprisoned. They said that it is unsafe for the nation, nation security, again as the woman. But actually he has done a funny comment, funny cartoon. So, for example, somebody, Chidambaran's son, somebody commented Chidambaran's son online. 
is put in the prison. Somebody, when Bal Thakira died, Shosena, two girls have, have, they got a Facebook message somewhere, they forwarded something like, now India, now Maharashtra will be peaceful, something like that. That is their opinion, because they hate Shosena, they hate, that is their personal opinion, but they are imprisoned. So, section 66A is misused by whom? Government. Government, if anybody tells anything against government, no, they will say anti-national, put you in prison, like that. So, God misusing it. So, that's why it is repealed. Anyhow, Information Technology Act 2000 is the only act which is taking care of cyber security. <coughs> Even National Telecommunication Policy, National Telecom Policy 2012, that also 2012. The telecom policy means the telecommunication policy. Telecommunication uh, is also a major channel for uh, uh, cyber crimes. Telecommunication. Okay. Friends, actually, India has got national cyber security policy. <coughs> India has got national cyber security policy 2013. But do you know what the problem with this? <coughs> this is also here. They want to protect cyber security, but they are taking away privacy of people. For example, I am government. I want cyber security. I want to save all. I want to save all data. So I ask all of you to show your data to me. Nobody should say, sir, no, sir, this is private data. What is private data? I will say, no, no private data. For national security, I will go through all your data. That's all. No privacy. That is not allowed. Means there should be a balance. You have to ensure security. Same time, privacy of people is also important, no privacy. Pegasus, Pegasus. Pegasus government may tell that, see, we are doing this because some of the people are actually doing anti-national activities. So, we want to monitor it. That's why we have sent Pegasus. That they cannot say, obviously. They cannot say no. You understood? If you allow them to go through all data, our ruling party will take all data opposition party. All data of a case against them. So, not allowed. So, you have to balance what? You have to balance the privacy of people with the national security, both to balance. Privacy of people, Article 19, Article 19, not privacy, freedom of speech. Leave privacy, I am saying, Article 19 provides freedom of speech, that means you can talk what you want. Whatever you can talk, same thing you can send to Facebook also. I hate this party, this is a very bad political party. If this party comes, India is gone. I can write like that. Freedom of speech, Article 19.1. So India, cyber freedom comes from freedom of uh, constitution of India. Separately, there is no cyber uh, freedom act. Article 19 only gives the same thing. Article 19. Okay, cyber freedom. Now, privacy is Article 21. Put to Swami case. Article 21. Put to Swami case is that privacy is a fundamental right. So you have to ensure this one. At the same time. I am a criminal, I am doing all criminal things. Government can no. I want privacy means what privacy? They have different take no. So balancing is difficult difficult act, balancing that government unable to do through the national cyber security policy 2013. Friends, this is a policy only, not an act. As of now, there is no act. One of the one of the bad things is that India have to design, design a separate, separate what? National Cyber Security Act is required for India. We require an act. As of now, we do not have an act. Only IT Act is uh, only IT Act is uh, used for cyber security. We require separate National Cyber Security Act. Is required. Okay. Similarly, these three policies shall be combined. We have to combine the policies, friend. I told you, you know, integrated approach. You cannot have separate acts. Combine them. Holistic acts. Okay. Another problem with cyber security, you know what? It did not focus on the email policy. Email is the most important thing. In the government, they transact emails only, no? But there is no email policy. There is no, there is no email policy in cyber security 2013. <coughs> However, there are, these are the uh, criticism, criticism. But there are some good things in this. What are the positive things? For the first time, government tried to recognize that we require a policy for cyber security. Recognized and made a policy. That's a good thing, no? Later on, you can improve it. 
But first you made a policy, no? Right? Similarly, national cyber security policy is preparing, somebody said cyber police, no? Who said cyber police? So, it wants to create cyber warriors. Cyber warriors means what? Trained cyber uh, personnel, trained. Wherever hacking happens, they can go and stop hacking. Where virus happens, they can stop the virus. They can fight against anything. No, online, fight against, not like this, fight online. So, that kind of warriors are, uh, uh, is uh, uh, mentioned, in the mentioned in the policy. Implementation differently is not up to the mark. In India, acts are good. Implementation is poor. Biggest problem, there is an essay. 2016-15 UPSC means essay, essay writing. What is problem in India? Design of the policy, implementation of the policy, which is wrong. Are we not designing properly or not implementing properly? You have to say both. Only then answer you can get more points. In essay, you have to get more points. End of the day, that's all. Okay. Now, friends, so implementation is the problem. National cyber security barriers it called for. And also, one positive thing, you know, this policy mandated, made compulsory. Third party audit. Every computer system, network system has go for third party audit. Not government audit. See, government cannot come and audit everybody. No. Third party audit they have to go through. Okay. That is also our positive thing. These are the positive things of the national service security policy. And I told you the negative aspects also. You have to critically analyze. Friends, any government policy, what is the meaning of critically analyzing you? You are last girl. What is the meaning of critical analysis? Critically analyze this policy means what? You have to tell good things in that and also wrong things. I mean which are not there in that. And you have to suggest the changes. So you have to say that this policy should be integrated with these two policies. This policy should have uh, email policy also. And this policy is not taking care of privacy. That you should take care. You have to tell those points. You understand critical analysis? Critical? Critical analysis of a policy is very important. Okay? Friends, the same problems, Naxalism, whatever problem, Naxalism, no? Same problems here also. The problems are integrated action is not there. There is no integrated action. That means that will be there, NCPC will be there, NCC, TRIA, NIC, many things will be there. They have to work together, work in unison. That is important, that is missing. That is missing. So, that has to happen, first thing. But remember, I'll, I'll tell you one point. You can use this point for any internal security. Uh, border management, cyber, terrorism, naxalism, anything. I'll tell you one thing, listen carefully. That's called as... That's called as I4P cat. Generally, just to buy heart. Intelligence sharing. We require what? Intelligence. We require integrated approach. That means everything should combine and work together. Integrated approach. We require infrastructure. For Naxalism, which infrastructure is required? Police stations, helipads, those things. For cyber security, cyber infrastructure is required. Cyber software, cyber tools are required. For border management, border, laser walls or border ports, some infrastructure is required. Infrastructure. Like that, for any problem, infrastructure is required. Integrated approach means every problem, government is solving. Some state government, some central, this department, this department have to come by integrate. That is another thing. Intelligence sharing. To solve any problem, different organizations have different intelligence. They have to share the intelligence. Share. Okay. Similarly, friends, P means personal. That that uh, the red I three. Okay. Friends, see personal. Basically, personal means you have to train the personal. For example, cyber security. Train the cyber warriors. Luxurism. See at schools. Train some specialist soldiers. Border management, separate tra training for border management, rough terrain fighting. So, personal require personal, money laundering. You require people with more economic knowledge, money laundering aspects. Train the people to understand how money laundering is happening. So, you can go and catch them. Okay, personal. Then this is actually the same, coordination. Coordination between different ministries. 
departments almost same and T is technology T is technology is very important then awareness is awareness friends do you know any to solve any problem awareness of people is important if people are not aware whatever government do will not help you awareness first of all you have to explain the people keep your computers like this for example government is running a drive called okay there are only three more topics in the internal security one one we have discussed is uh, maxillism left wing extremism another is uh, cyber security then we have discussed uh, money laundering and uh, border border management one more thing and final thing is i think the social media media this kind of things this is the last topic this one okay from now onwards after every topic i will give a break of 5 10 minutes after every topic now uh, in the last topic what is this cyber security what we are doing what we have to do i think i finished it the ip actually you can use ip cat everywhere ip cat see even in the money laundering also this ip cat you can use everywhere this is something which i would say similarly in disaster management also there are some common things which you can use it of course along with using this specifically for money laundering you can use some specific things for nexalizing nexalism some things specific things will be there but i am telling generally you can use these uh, things for example what is what is t square and training training the personal what is a awareness awareness of people for example even in money laundering also many people are not aware for example if somebody is selling the black black goods smuggled goods there aida shoe own hand rupees reebok pant pant won't be there no let us say lee jeans only 400 rupees what you will purchase why because of lack of awareness right <laughs> lack of money maybe very hope lack of awareness you should not purchase similarly hawala hawala means for example i want to send money to my mother i am working in assam my mom is in andhra pradesh i am working there somewhere if i put the amount in the bank i have to pay tax for it without bank i will take the salary as uh, cash from my owner i will give to hawala hawala people they will send it here will come to that that also i am doing because lack of awareness so awareness is a major thing friends what is c coordination between different agencies agencies departments ministries personal countries what our coordination basically and peace personal cap means you have to increase the number of people and you have to make them more capable incentivize them motivate them people are everything if people are in the right spirit with right knowledge equipped with right uh, everything definitely uh, any problems can be solved similarly i4 i4 means infrastructure intelligence intelligence means you have to gather intelligence without having intelligence definitely you cannot solve many of the problems most of the problems okay where is this guy coming hey, wait 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 here are coming here you coming <laughs> oh, no, i think you list up this camera how if they say what will happen the bag is also there no okay i know how will you come where th here this place but how will you come don't touch anything okay no no push it forward forward yeah okay hmm okay friends integrated purpose same as coordination you know coordination same maybe infrastructure intelligence read something for example institutions we require right institutions for example friends sometimes not having right institution is a reason behind the problem right institutions institutional structure can actually solve most of the problems institutions should be there and the models implementation friends you have to implement the laws i told you, you know in india the biggest problem is laws are well designed many laws are there but we are not implementing them properly 
for example naxalism government have a lot of developmental schemes Wel welfare policies are there but we are not implementing them properly for money laundering is there prevention of money laundering act is there but not implementing properly so implementation is the biggest problem in india in that way this, this this thing you can use for anything money laundering naxalism terrorism board anything you can use it okay now friends then uh, okay i think i uh, did not in the cyber security i told you physical attack then semantic attack i have just seen it actually but i still forgot i think it is syntactic attack tell me is it syntactic i have just seen it when i have gone for lunch i have seen it okay syntactic attack similarly friends the next topic is money laundering money laundering as i told you already money laundering means the method of converting black money into white money for example i have earned money by illegal sources i have earned some money by corruption see i will for example i am some government officer i am signing a contract for a contractor i asked him to give 2 crores to me for signing 2 crores will he deposit in my bank account no no give cash only no so corruption always he will give me 2 crores of cash for which i am not paying tax i am not paying tax no so any money for which you are not paying tax is called as black money why i am not paying tax because it illegally obtained money okay so corruption or maybe you know uh, smuggling by smuggling i earn some money or some crime for example i am asked to kill somebody or murder somebody and both are same only or maybe kidnap somebody or uh, do some crime for that they are giving me 20 lakh rupees will they do tra account transfer or will they give cash cash only no so all this in for example i am earning lot of black money like this with wrong businesses closed door with wrong business whatever so now all this money i cannot use it unless i convert into white money 10 20 though no, okay you have crores 200 crores i cannot keep in my home no i want to use it no if i want to purchase some car outside i cannot give the money and take the car nobody will give me car by giving money i have to transfer online only i want to purchase gold of some 1 crore i cannot give cash transfer online so for using the money i cannot use the cash i have to only convert into white money of course there are some places where you can use cash for example i want to fund terrorists or i want to fund drugs or i want to fund some other crime or i also want to do corruption by giving money there i can use the cash for example i want to do a election funding during election for mlas mps contestant i want to give money collection that i can use cash cash can be used for some purposes which are bad purposes but for the good purpose i cannot use cash so what i have to do convert the cash into white money example i have seen that shivaji right in shivaji if you observe he takes the black money of all the businessmen some 1000 crores i think 2000 crores lot of money now shivaji cannot use this money for construction of road or construction of schools you cannot use cash no you have to show where the money is coming from no so he will send all money to other country other country from that country see for example 1000 crores he has given to he he went to usa 1000 crores he takes to usa somehow there 1000 crores he gives 1 crore to you 1 crore 1 crore for 1000 people he gives 1 crore 1000 people now you 1000 people what you will do you know in india i will open shivaji foundation shivaji charitable foundation charity foundation with which i will construct schools half of everything now all of you will transfer one crore as a fund you are transferring as a fund that fund i can use as white money now it's white money that and also tax is tax will be less on the charity organization now anything that is charity you are you are giving money for charity purpose for that i don't need to pay tax i can use it for construction schools hospitals roads whatever 
so that is simple example of how black money can be covered white money so what he is doing he has earned money in the illegal way but he is showing as if he is earning in the legal way that is called money laundering money laundering okay i think you understood what is money laundering now friends see don't think money laundering is a very small issue money laundering can affect the entire indian economy even global economy to understand the scale of the effect of money laundering let us discuss the effects of money laundering what are the effects of money laundering effects of money laundering okay in india internationally for example uh, money laundering leads to for example terrorist financing mostly this money launderers do you know whom they will finance to they will finance for drugs for terrorism they will finance for terrorism they are finance for the crime organized crime daud ibrahim so for all even election funding they will find funded for election funding yes very good weapons purchasing yeah very good human trafficking is a very good point actually human trafficking they will do using this money only human trafficking prostitution many things they do using the uh, they, they finance all these things money launderers can finance all these things the finance friends do you know the effect of each of them for example drugs will seriously affect the human resource of india whoever th- takes drugs you know they cannot work properly they are they become unproductive they will become burden for the family okay and they may actually cause crimes drug addicts cause crime lead to crimes they become criminals so drugs because of drugs it is affecting the families society social fabric affected no terrorism terrorism affects internationally for example even united states united nations also did not really have any law on uh, money laundering till 9 by 11 attacks what is 9 by 11 attack september 11th september 11th 2001 in usa twin towers were attacked by al qaeda osama bin laden then for the first time they have they have seen how can osama bin laden al qaeda get so much money to plan organize aircraft everything that means some people are funding them that is called terrorist financing terrorist funding for example i will start a charity organization vijayawada all of you please come and give me money i will take the money i will give terrorists because i am also terrorist only but double i other identity is rachandra behind that my actual name is something else so i will collect the money from all of you for the charity i will use it for terrorist financing so for the first time after 9 by 11 attack for the first time the world realized that terrorist funding should be stopped money laundering should be stopped that's when united nations has framed united nations convention against money laundering even united nations security council some of you might not have still started the ir but unsc united nations security council means friends united nation is a global organization it has around 200 countries are members of united nations in the united nations the top 5 powerful countries nuclearly powerful countries china usa russia uk france these five countries are part of united nations security council out of all the united nations 200 countries unsc these five countries called p5 the five powerful countries nuclearly powerful these five countries will control most of the decision making even unsc has passed resolution the resolution is 1267 resolution unsc resolution 1267 they generally call resolution the names some names will be there 1308 like that this unsc one resolution is made to stop money laundering internationally and terrorist finance internationally do you know this uh, resolution what it says if any country is allowing transfer of money to unknown places through banking or whatever means if united nations comes to know that they'll attack the country they even have powers to attack that country so every as per this resolution every country in any country if they find any anonymous transactions going somewhere they have to freeze it immediately they have to freeze and report to 
United Nations or some body will be there. So this is a resolution. Okay. Friends, now organized crime. Organized crime is the biggest problem. Businessmen they will show no Mahesh Babu starts organized crime. So Mumbai, Mafia, Underworld, the exam Dawood Ibrahim, D. There are many organized crimes in India. So organized crime entirely runs from black money only. Nobody, for example, I go to your businessman, hey, give me some, everybody has to give me funding. Organized criminals means they take money, no. Will you transfer it? Sir, okay, tell me my account number, sir. Will you transfer like that? No, no, give cash. So on the black money only it runs, organized crime. Friend, election funding. Friend, this is a major problem. Political parties which have more black money can win the elections. For example, whom will you vote? I will give you 5,000 rupees and I uh, will give something. <laughs> will you vote for me or will you not vote for me? Generally, Indian Indians are loyal. They are never life. They take money, they will vote. That's all. If you give me more money, after taking money, I feel like if, if I do not vote, no, I cannot sleep that night. My consciousness, you know, like really, Indians are very loyal. Similarly, if you give me something to drink, no, then you gave me to drink, no, I will vote for you only. Because loyalty, loyalty, loyalty will be there for that day only. Next day, you'll forget about that. So, in that way, black money is really election funding. Do you know there is a famous NGO called as ADR? Association of Democratic, it also said about election funding. It also said that during elections, every political party will get funds online and cash also. 70% of funding, we do not know where it came from. Association of Democratic, ADR is a NGO, it's a body. They generally will do survey. They'll find out what is happening in India, what are you thinking, they'll ask all these things. They said that 70% of fund coming to any party, Congress, BJP, CPA, whatever, is un from unknown sources. So don't you think this will affect the democracy? Democracy affected, no, then what is the point of democracy? If people are voting based on the money, see people are voting based on their interest or will, that's different. If you are voting based on money, obvious democracy is not no more there. So democracy is affected because of black money, so do, uh, because of money laundering. So don't under, uh, don't underestimate money laundering. It's a very big thing. See, a lot of problems are there. Democracy itself is at stake. Then friends, weapon purchasing. You know, you know weapon purchasing in, in South India not most there, but you go to North India, friend, go near Delhi or Madhya Pradesh. Everybody will have a gun. Either this year, this year, but gun will be there. Gun. They are called not guns. They can make the gun. Okay, they can make the gun, they buy the guns. Sometimes in the toll gates also, they'll show the gun, ask you the money. Sometimes children also, who do not have guns, they'll purchase some toy guns and still they'll show. Means it became a habit in Bihar, UP, Madhya Pradesh, many places. You might have seen many movies. For example, yeah, Mirzapur. Mirzapur and then, uh, Mirzapur is not a movie, it's a series. There's a movie, Raj Putana something. It's a good movie, anyhow, but don't see the movie. This kind of movie you should not see. Anyhow, friends, then see, human trafficking, human trafficking also increasing across the border, across the border. Anyhow, let us go ahead. So, effects of money laundering, there are too many effects. And friends, real estate, real estate is also a major effect. For example, you have purchased a building, an apartment in maybe near uh, Wind Circle. Its actual cost is 80 lakhs. Actually, you have to pay 80 lakhs. But will you pay all 80 lakhs to account transfer? No. They will say on the document it will be 50 lakhs on document. 50 lakhs account transfer. Remember 80 lakhs? Cash. So you will pay GST or you will pay tax for how much? 50 lakhs only. As per the government uh, purview, the cost of the property is 50 lakhs only. But you are paid 80 lakhs. Understood? The registration stamp, stamp duties, everything 50 lakhs only. Even 30 lakhs unaccounted. But why are you purchasing? Because you have more black money. Friends, see, if more money chases less goods, cost will increase. That means our building is there, prime location. If everybody has to pay white money, we cannot pay more than 56 lakhs. Who will have one crore white money? Rare, no. But black money, some people will have. They will come and say 80 lakhs. Then obviously the price will increase. Because of these people like having black money, you know, the real estate prices are increasing, this skyrocketing. You, purchase, you want to purchase anything here, they are almost 2 3 crore rupees near, near this area. 2 3 crore. How, how they are able to give 2 3 crore? Not white money. Because of black money, they are able to give 3 crore. Actual cost will be 1.2, whatever, but they will give 3 crore. So, because of this, because of money laundering, the real estate prices are skyrocketing. 
Because of this, common man is unable to purchase a land or a house. In India, common man cannot purchase house or land. I mean, not in India, in cities, villages they can purchase. See, so skyrocketing. So, uh, the, the property cost is increasing. And do you know what, friends? Do you know why most of the people who have black money in real estate is the best place? If any black money, meet me after the class. I'll tell you. See, <laughs> it is the best place to. Do you know the reason why? Why real estate is the best place, you know? Because real estate, once you know 50 lakhs, you know, after 10 years, it will become 2 crores, 3 crores. Legitimately, you can get the money. Legally, you can sell it for 2 crores. Today, you spent 80 lakhs. But actually, 50 lakhs only. 50 is actual. Um, uh, which we have shown, but it lacks, you know. Within 10 years, its actual cost becomes 3 crores. In that 2 crores white money you can take, 1 crore black money you can take. So, legally you can earn more money, legally. Second thing, real estate, when it's about the construction, no? Nobody can find out how much money went into that. Nobody knows how much. It's not transparent. If it is not transparent, that is the best place to invest black money. If it is transparent and if you invest, no, you will be caught. Land, land price nobody knows. Building place, no, labor cost, nobody knows. I will tell them, so no sir, labor cost, I am giving 1000 rupees per day sir, I will tell like that. Or this is a land cost very high. Means you can do anything. So that is why uh, real estate is the best place to invest black money. Real estate. Then friends, do you know, do you know Coffee Day Siddharth? Yes, sir. Who committed suicide, they say. You know, the actual property, the actual overall uh, revenue of the company or profits, whatever, I don't exactly, is 1000 crores something. But only 800 crores is there. Remember, 200 crores, nobody knows where it went to. Some people guess that those 200 crores is black money, which are election funding, whatever. Election funding is must these days. If you are a big businessman, if you don't fund elections, when the government comes to power, what they will do? They will harass you. So, if you are a big businessman, you have to fund. The system became like this. Okay. Now, friends. Money laundering actually affects uh, even foreign relations. Friends, it affects the foreign relations also. How? Many Indian black money holders deposit the money in Swiss, Swiss bank. bank. Swiss bank. So it affects the relationship of Switzerland with India. India government asked it to open. But if open all government people only have the amount. But see, that's why when a new government comes, you no, know, it can open. Because just now they came into power, you no. Know. It takes time for them to earn money, but they can catch all the previous people. Understand? So the relationship between Switzerland and India has slightly uh, got damaged because of the Swiss accounts. Switzerland is allowing any black money or black money will keep a Switzerland bank. So it affects relations. Second thing, Pakistan is funding terrorist money to Indian terrorists. It affects India-Pakistan relation. India is, for example, Indians, some Indian Tamil people are funding for LTTE in Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka LTTE is there, no? The Sri Lankan Tamils wall. Uh, Indian Tamil Nadu businessmen, some Tamil Nadu businessmen who are sympathetic, who think that our Tamilians in Sri Lanka are getting uh, uh, harassed, I mean they are not getting the rights, so they will fund. But Sri Lanka will think that with the money coming from India, these Tamil people here becoming stronger, they are able to fight with them, they uh, the government. So relationship between India and Sri Lanka will be damaged, you understood? So this money laundering will affect the international, I mean foreign relations also. It affects foreign relations also. And then, it causes trade deficit. And also friend, revenue loss for the government. And also friends, it leads to Unproductive investment. Unproductive investment. What is trade deficit? Friends, some of you economics might not may not go over. Trade deficit means if India, this is India friend, this is USA friend. Okay. Indians are purchasing cars from USA, wine bottles from USA or something that importing importing almost for 1 billion dollars USA people are purchasing Indian textile clothes Indian chemicals Indian um, uh, pharmacy medicines whatever for 1.5 billion dollars so who is getting advantage here India is getting advantage India is purchasing only 1 billion but selling 1.5 billion so we are trade surplus 
okay with usa yes with usa we have trade surplus but if you see internationally india with all countries if you see in all countries we are in a trade deficit that means india is exporting less importing more that is not good for india if it continues no our rupee value will be depreciated our rupee value will decrease for example today one dollar how many rupees say seven rupees if this import increases no one dollar becomes 120 rupees 130 rupees india rupee becomes very cheap internationally that's why we should not import a lot importing has to be reduced if you import something should be useful import for example import rubber and make tire okay good but if you import tire it's bad thing understand so that's why i see for example people having black money you know do you know what they do they import expensive cars import diamonds import jewelry all imported goods only lot of money I have seen that movie nani he goes to himalayas he changes completely also man you they will go and see a house no there italian marble french veranda um, germany kitchen everything imported only they can buy indian kitchen no so the black money the money laundering they actually uh, import a lot because of more imports what happens because more import happens trade deficit increases trade deficit this is a big problem trade deficit because trade deficit the rupee value gets depreciated and also friends if pe- that one thing then friends you know even inflation increases i'll tell you why before that revenue loss can anybody tell me how government has revenue loss because of money launderers revenue loss tax friend how will government or see government is constructing roads government schools hospitals giving salaries to teachers where do you get money tax so if people use all black money everywhere without paying taxes won't the government lose revenue huh? revenue loss no if revenue loss for government can they do welfare activities so there is also an effect you understood the effect of money laundering so money laundering is a very major thing it has huge effects money laundering okay revenue loss tax loss so welfare activities cannot be done that also you can write an important point only okay then friends what i said friends do you know what is unproductive investment see if you invest in a company invest in infrastructure is good if you invest in gold buildings these kind of things it's unproductive that means economy it, it won't help economy at all but the people black money will put money in those kind of things only because with the money they cannot invest in companies no company white money is required no black money can invest no so unproductive investment is bad for economy bad then inflation why what is inflation increase in the price. general price level if people have black money no they will have more purchasing power they can purchase uh, uh, t- for example t- take building purchase building for 1 crore 2 crore actually building for 4 lakhs only but they can give more when the purchasing increases the price will increase so these are the some of the effects only still more are there okay any more effects you want to explain because money laundering any more effects yes correct because of black money black money will not be accounted in the national income so actual national actual gdp gdp may be 4 trillion dollars but you can see only 2.7 trillion so wealth is decreasing now is very good point wealth is decreased who said that point who said very sweety okay okay so so the wealth of the country also decreases because of that then anything else apollo fisha who is it <laughs> tell it clearly anybody who wants to tell any few more effects i told you about democracy how democracy affected do you know what friends because of this money launderers black money corruption increases corruption of financial i'll tell you how i know what you are thinking corruption only give black money no then how black money helps corruption i'll tell you corruption of financial institutions will increase even stock markets get destabilized stock stock markets also get destabilized stock markets because of the money laundering friends how corruption increases i'll tell you if i have more black money when i go somewhere i ask government person to do some work if he is not doing work i'll give money 
thousand two thousand two thousand three thousand four no five thousand okay I'm ready to give money why I have black money if I do not have black money I cannot uh, give money corruption is a practice people are only corrupting the officers or uh, civil servants they are not corrupt actually we are corrupting them they actually want to do the work rightly only but we are frozen no no please please he will say that no according to these rules you are not eligible means please make me eligible please i'll give you all the things i have then they'll make you eligible so you are forcing them to be corrupt also financial institutions for example i have some black money i want to use it in the bank bank man says that no according to rbi guidelines you will not take black money okay then according to these guidelines means it's okay <laughs> you understand so we are corrupting the financial institutions also we are corrupting everybody <coughs> what is this friends in stock market also black money is invested to buy shares and stocks may not be all the companies but somehow it is managed because that do you know what happens <coughs> black money is not a direct money i'll tell you i have 10 crores black money <coughs> i'll send it to mauritius from mauritius i'll send it to mauritius in mauritius i have a company called abc company the government do what to do it will not do anything this is the result i will go there put the money in their company in mauritius taking indian rupee they will give mauritius currency they will give dollars in mauritius they will do because mauritius do this kind of things only so that from mauritius that abc company same 10 crores will be invested back in some comp- for example in india my friend is having one company called as jata shoe company the jata shoe company i want to increase the shares actually jata shoe company shares very less but i want to increase the shares what i will do my black money i'll send to mauritius from there it comes as white money from from there that abc company lo they'll invest in the shares of jata, jata. jata company because of investing in jata company jata company share value will increase artificially actual share value is very less only but because of my illegal money laundering it's increasing if this kind of thing happens no friend the entire stock market will be controlled by whom this kind of money launderers only friend any financial system any financial system which is controlled by this kind of wrong people wrong people is always volatile it can any time collapse it is never good for the economy so you should not allow those kind of money to come in but if you stop that no where will you get the money for share market indian share market fall down but if you do not allow it will fall down if you allow it is coming like this it is a tricky thing you remain me after some time i will tell you about participatory notes is very important concept participatory notes or overseas direct investment overseas direct investment or participatory notes so what are these i'll tell you <coughs> for example i have a company called jata company in india now from foreign from usa uk mauritius singapore many people are investing in my company when they investing in my company according to the sebi rules what is sebi sebi is a watchdog watchdog it will observe how the money is coming shares how so that no wrong things happen everything happens as per the rule process sebi is observing jata company is there money is coming from singapore mauritius uk money is coming into the into this company like fii or fda mostly fii okay first actually fii means foreign it is genuine only for example in usa there is a company from usa they have lot of money or in usa some people are there they have money they want to multiply the money what you will do you cannot do vaddi vyaparam no so what you do? big companies no so they'll invest in some places invest they'll invest in a country in US, for example i am a usa company usa in usa i do not see any growth so i'll take the money put it in developing market any country which is fast developing no if i put money there money will increase i put 1 crore i'll get 2 crores written so they put in india but when they put the money in india sebi will ask them who are you how you got the money how much they are called as kyc they are called as know your know your customer 
know your customer so now tell me genuine companies will come will tell kyc but there are some companies who do not want to tell kyc why if they tell kyc they understand no? black money so for such people there is an alternative called participatory notes also called as overseas direct investment in 2012 chidambaram was finance minister what he what he thought was because of this participatory notes many wrong people are investing in the share market because of this share market is uh, you know like a like a becoming like a bubble it may break any time so he wants to stop them so he said that even participatory notes have to give kyc put a rule suddenly lot of money stopped coming to india nobody started sending money to india stopped because of that share market fell down immediately next day he changed no 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 you can send like so understand though he wants to follow rules he has no option sometimes situation is critical you cannot do anything though it is wrong you, can, you cannot stop it that is the case of participatory notes okay now friend stock markets are also getting destabilized because of money laundering okay money laundering such a big thing see it's affecting entire economy economy administration governance affecting everything money laundering crime terrorism then friends do you know actually so from some countries no black money goes to other countries for terrorist finance terrorist financing criminal financing the money goes outside to stop such kind of thing somebody said recently no fatf who said fatf you said no you only said fatf how do you know fatf how do you get that thought fatf actually financial action task force is an international body it's not a indian world international body formed by eight countries g8 g8 or eight eight global powerful countries what are g8 usa uk france germany italy canada russia no no japan russia russia is there japan russia okay here japan russia there usa canada two four countries no remaining for european countries correct italy germany france uk four european countries two north american countries usa canada north american countries two this side russia and japan that's all okay the g8 countries actually created financial action task force according to which these kind of money laundering sending terrorist financing illegal money on another country they thought that all countries to together work on it and in fatf i think many countries are there now india is a member of fatf india is a full time member fatf many countries actually join fatf later okay any of friends this is about the effects of money laundering economy now let us go go ahead and see what are the various measures acts policies or schemes or steps taken by government to stop the money laundering let us see both indian measures and international measures also if at all only if at all only indian measures no you remain we have international steps also international steps also very important and because it's a global problem no money laundering global problem but before that i want to spend some time on explaining hawala hawala is also important topic hawala <coughs> friends what is hawala generally hawala is a word which means a trust namakam trust hawala you know what you know what is hawala i'll tell you your name is devi prasad right devi prasad devi si devi prasad is a hawala dealer he has hawala organization he is head of the organization now do you know how you will run now you will be visakhapatnam okay you have a team of 1000 employees are there one person is in assam one person is maharashtra one person usa one person uk one person africa you are all single hawala organization only do you know how they will run hawala for example somebody is working in somebody is working in africa i am working in africa okay i am earning salary of 2 lakh rupees per month in africa now from africa i want to send money to my mother who is in uh, india maybe she is in uh, andhra pradesh i want to send the money to her but i don't want to send it to the bank because through the bank government will put tax on me so what i will do you now who is your person in africa 
I told you the person is there. Who is he? Tell me some name. Huh? Brother. Tell me his name. Sai. Sai. Okay. So, Sai is a Sai is a member of Dev Saval organization. He works from Africa. So now I am a, I am employed in Africa. I, I got two lakh rupees. I want to send it to India, but I do not want to send it to the bank. So I'll go to Sai. I'll give money to Sai. I'll, I'll give how much to Sai? Then Sai will call you. See, I received two lakhs from uh, Sarath. Now you can give two lakhs to the mother. Now Sai will not give two lakhs to you. It will be there in the African branch only. Now here you have some money, you know. For example, you are working in Andhra only. You want to send money to somebody in Assam, let us say. You gave some five, six lakhs to this guy. The money is there with you, you know. This money will give to my mom. Understand? That money will not come here. Money will be there everywhere only. Money. How all dealers never send the money? Everybody have their own money. Just a phone call, that's all. Because same organization, no. Money is same, no. Same organization, like that. Okay? That's how Hawala works. And uh, Hawala, this is called trust. Because I am trusting him. There is no signature, no uh, bank documents, no proof, no procedure. Just I am trusting him, giving the money to him. But they are very trustworthy. You know why? If they, are not, if they start cheating, no, people will not come to them. People will not go to them. Tomorrow, if I am, if uh, my mom is getting money every month, I will suggest to other people, you know, see how all dealer is there, he is sending money safely. I will suggest to many people, my other friends and all, they also give money to your organization. In that way, you can earn a lot of money. But the problem is, I think all of you, what, what? Ask me a doubt. You have some doubt, no? Okay. Do you know sometimes, uh, sometimes, how all the biggest problem is, I want you to, Purchase drugs for me. Drugs for me. Where? From Northeast India. Northeast India, my brother is studying there. He every day will have some drugs, otherwise he cannot sleep. Okay? So now what I'll do now? I will give you 10,000 rupees to purchase drugs. Now, with what will you call to who is the person in the Northeast India? Your person, Northeast India. Huh? Prashan, okay. Prashan Kumar is in Northeast India. Now you will call Prashan Kumar, say that I received 10,000 rupees. You give drugs of 10,000 rupees. He will not give money, drugs, attend on will give. In that way, Hawala is helping in terrorism, drugs, uh, human trafficking, cattle smuggling, these things also. That is why Hawala is a problem. Otherwise, Hawala is a good thing only. That's why Hawala is banned in many countries, do you know? Hawala is banned in many countries. But some countries, they allow Hawala. How? License. You have to take a license. With the license, you can uh, uh, do Hawala transactions. Western banking system like Hawala only. Even Islam, Islamic banking, Saudi Arabia, they also Hawala, Hawala banking only. Islamic banking, Western European banking, Hawala banking only they will do. But India did not engage Hawala. You, you might have seen some movies sometimes, no? 10 rupee note will be there. They will cut the center. I will have one note. Which, which movie is that? DJ. 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 What is that? Lai, Lai. I think Lai means web series or movie. Yeah. 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 Ah, Shiva Jals, right. So what, what happens, you know, when they cut something, you know, exact number will be there, you know, same number cannot put to anybody. So I will put one 10 rupees, 11 10 rupees for you. Now, you have to go and give ten, the 10 rupees to, for, uh, no, I gave, I gave uh, you only gave me one ten, half 10 rupee notes, 10 rupee note. I went there and gave it to him. Then he will call you and ask you the series number. If it is matching, then he will deliver money to my brother, whatever. Last transactions happen like that. Pure trust. It happens on trust. See, they will never do like this 10 rupees, for example. Though it is correct, they will not lie that. No, it's wrong. I will not give you. They will not say that. They are always very loyal. How are dealers, no? Though they do these kind of things, they are very loyal. They never cheat you. If real notice is there, they give money. Okay? Anyhow, friends, Hawala is such a big thing. And Hawala is trust. It's exchange of money. Why people are going for Hawala in India? Why? First thing is, Lack of awareness. There is no awareness that Hawala is prohibited. Hawala is illegal. Hawala is anti-national. Hawala will lead to destabilizing of economy. Hawala encourages black money. They don't know all these things now. So they will follow Hawala. They will follow Hawala. Second reason why they follow Hawala is simple friend. If I have to go to bank and open account, my salary is 3000 rupees. For that if I go to bank and open account, no? Photos, Aadhaar card, ration card, documents, signature, everything. After that also they cut tax, finally. Sometimes they, sometimes I have to stand in the line for a long time. How all of it simple, no? So, simplicity. Simple. No documentation. No verification. 
फ्रेंड्स बैंक एम्प्लायज में चीट यू हाउ ऑल इज नवर चीट यू वेरी लॉयल वेरी ट्रस्ट वर्दी ओके बट डोंट एट दर पॉइंट सो वेरी सिंपल एवन एस नॉट देयर नो डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सो दी आर द मेन रीजन ओके Taxes. Yes, most important is tax evasion. I forgot the most important reason. Tax evasion is the most important. I want to avoid tax. I want to avoid tax. That's why I do not want to send it into the official financial system. I will bypass system. I will go in a parallel system, like parallel government. It's a parallel system. Hawala. Okay. Hawala is very common, friend. You do not know that's all. It's very common hawala. Yeah. When you see the movies, you understand. So common hawala. Bettings, all these things. Bettings, all hawala only. Bettings. Okay. That is live movie, you know. Live movie betting only, you know. Somebody told me. Okay. Now, friends, see. So now, as you understand, Havala, let us go. Now, let us go to what are the various steps taken by government. Then we will discuss what government has to still do. First, let us discuss what government is doing. Then, what they have to do. What they have to do? I for P cat scare only. Nothing more. Okay. Anyhow, let us know government steps what are the steps of government friend recently after this uh, who is the head of kingfisher jamalia after left to uk and he did not come under the purview of indian courts the government of india passed a bill that is economic offenders fugitive economic offenders bill Fugitive Economic Offenders Bill, 2018. According to which, but this is a combination. This is not just money laundering. It's also about uh, uh, somebody not paying the loan to the bank and running away from the country, and or if there if there are some serious cases of money laundering on them, if there are serious cases of black money on them, and if they are not coming into purview of Indian courts, if they escape, if they escaped, then government can without any notice, government can seize. Confiscate all the assets and property. Government can confiscate. You no know, confiscation. Take all properties. They run away. They run away from the economic system. They can confiscate all properties. Similarly, friends. Binami. Binami. Binami properties or Binami assets prohibition act. Binami prohibition. Binami properties. I think. Binami properties prohibition. Exact name is not required. Binami prohibition act. It's 2015. Amendment. I actually, it's amended, friend. It's amended. Do you know many of these people who have black money will have binamis? For example, I am a minister. Minister. My salary is say some one lakh rupees, but I earn one crore per month because I have other sources of corruption. One crore, I will purchase buildings, but I cannot put all buildings on my name, no. So I put on. Your name, your name, your name. I put your name. Sometimes you also don't know. You thought you know. I'll put on your name because if you know, you must sell it. No, it happens sometimes, really. So binamis will be there. Lot of binamis will be there for all the people who are earning uh, money in the wrong way. No, they cannot purchase property on their name. So binamis will be there. This binamis prohibition will actually reduce the uh, black money as well as money laundering. Also, it will reduce. So binamis has to be prohibited. Binamis. Then, friends, Prevention of Money Laundering Act. Friends, Prevention of Money Laundering Act actually came in 2002, I think, but it is again amended in 2011. It is amended in 2011. Prevention of Money Laundering Act in 2002, you know why it came? In in the tier, the reason is I told you, you know in 2001, uh, uh, nine by eleven attacks happened. Remember when the attacks happened? No, internationally they have put strict rules on uh, money laundering because they realized that, that money laundering is the reason for Terrorist financing. So they have put strict rules. In, what are the what are the international rules, friend? Hey, what are the various international rules? Tell me. United Nations Convention Against Money Laundering. United Nations Security Council Resolution. Even U.S. U.S. Patriot Act is there. U.S. Patriot Act. Even European Union is there, no? EU, European Union. European Union also gave directives. Directives. Actually, friend, Europe is a set of 40, 40 countries, no? 
many countries of Europe formed a union called European Union together. The European Union gave it gives directives, directives based on that every country will make their own law. It's called EU directives. EU directives against the money laundering. Even Paris, France has made Paris declaration. That is two thousand two only. Paris declaration. That means France. France made their own declaration against money laundering. Why all these things came at the same time? Two thousand two because of two thousand one nine by eleven attack. Open the eyes of all these people. Open the eyes. Okay. Then friends, even financial action task force also came at the same time. Financial action task force formed by formed by G8 countries. But friends, actually this is funded by OECD countries. Organization of Economic Council for Development (OECD) countries actually are financing. OECD later will explain about that. So. Based on these directives, India also made the bill, the made this one, Prevention of Money Laundering Act. India also made a bill. However, it is not as strong. It's not as strong as the U.S. Patriots Act or EU directive. They are very strong. This is not strong because government is not ready actually. Because many ministers, bureaucrats are also doing money laundering now. Many actors, Bollywood, Hollywood actors. So it's difficult. Difficult actually implement strictly. If you implement strictly, many government people, government people only will go into prison. So difficult. That's why, you know what they have done? They put a cap. Less than 30 lakhs, there is no penalization. As if 30 lakhs is a small amount in 2002. More than 30 lakhs only, there is penalization. Punishment will be there. Cap is there. Also, there is no, though act is made, implementation is, imp I told you no, implementation is improper. Also, they divided the crimes. Section A, section B like this. Section B is murder, rape, kidnap, all these things. This is against the in India. Means the kind of action which you do is against India. For example, terrorism, terrorism against India only, against India, which are highly offensive. B is like murder, killing, which is local crimes, kidnapping. Like that, they divided the offenses based on the punishment was there. Here some high punishment, here low punishment, high fine, less fine, like that. And most importantly, Prevention of Money Laundering Act asked all the banks to keep last 10 years of their transactions. And if any suspicious activity is there, immediately report it to, report it to whom? I think report it to Financial Intelligence Unit. It's a, actually it's a government body, Financial Intelligence, Finance Intelligence Unit. It's a government body. Any problem, any money laundering problem, banks identify that reported to whom? FIU. Actually, friend, Finance Intelligence Unit, they report to Economic Council. Economic Intelligence Council. Economic Intelligence Council. All the banks report to Finance Intelligence Unit, they will report to Economic Finance Council. This Economic Finance Council is under control of Finance Ministry. It is under control of Finance Ministry. This is a organizational structure of how you have to report the money laundering crimes. Okay. But in 2011, it is amended, no? When it is amended, they have removed the cap. This cap is removed. Now, any kind of amount is punishable only. They removed the cap in 2011 amendment. And they made it strict. They made strict, okay. Friends, government steps. Not only this, government has taken even most. For example, if you go to even old previous acts, no, in 1976 also there is Foreign Exchange Manipulation Act, smuggling, smuggling and Foreign Exchange Management Act, Manipulation Act. Foreign exchange is manipulated. Even foreign contribution, foreign contribution regulation act is there. Foreign contribution regulating act. What is foreign country regulating act? For example, I am an NGO, Shivaji Foundation. I am getting so much money. Government cannot say that okay, NGO only no, let us leave it. They cannot leave. So they will stop their funding. Ask you where is funding coming from? How are you using it? 
foreign contribution, how are you using it? Foreign contribution is dangerous, friends. If somebody is contributing foreign country, no, it's dangerous. Why you know? Are you able to write the notes? I am fast. Huh? Unable to write, no? Shall I be slow? Then I will tell, wait for some time, write it. I will wait for some time. Foreign Contribution Regulation Act, FCRA. That means, contribution from the foreign countries can be dangerous. They should be regulated. Example, tell you example. What is foundation? There is a foundation, friend. Greenpeace Foundation, Greenpeace, I think. Some foundation is there. Do you know what they will do? Actually, India is constructing nuclear plants, you know, Kodankulam, Kodankulam nuclear plant, Jaitapur nuclear plant, they are constructing, you know. Who is, fund, who is giving technology, who is funding? Russia, France, they are giving, you know. But USA want to give. It's a very big contract, you no? Know? Lot of 100, 200 crores projects, you know. 100, 200 crores project, USA wants to get the project. If Russia or France are getting, US unhappy, you know. So what US will do, you know? USA may do, I am not very sure, it may do is it, USA will send money to Greenpeace Foundation. Greenpeace is a NGO in India, environmental activist. They will get money from USA and you know what they will do? They will sit before Kodankulam plant, stop the project, stop the project, nuclear plant will affect the health of people, it will cause disaster, it will lead to death of many people, they will you know do all these kind of things. So all the local people will join that. They will become, they will be scared, means they will actually manipulate them. They will make the local people think that government is considering something, it will affect all your health. So it will stop, probably will stop completely. Now USA succeeded now, because India is getting contract from Russia. US do not want that, they want to stop, what they will do? Like this only, local people, they will give money to some NGO, Greenpeace Foundation, who will really work for the environment. For environment, they will say stop the project, what will stop it? Based on these kind of reports, India decided to foreign contribution get for NGOs. For many NGOs are banned. The present government of India banned many NGOs. Some NGOs are so bad, you know, they do all anti-national activities only. All anti-national activities they'll do. Huh? Foreign Exchange Manipulation Act. Manipulation means uh, you will not show the right foreign exchange. You will manipulate it. You will change it. But to understand it takes time. You read about foreign exchange. Foreign exchange is a good topic in economy. You should understand what is foreign exchange. Okay. <coughs> foreign Exchange Manipulation Act. Smuggling and for even drugs. Drugs. Narcotics and Psychotropic Substances Act, Psychotropic Substance Prohibition Act 1985. This one also 1985. Drugs, narcotics, that is also money laundering only. Money launderers purchase drugs, narcotics, psychotropic substances by Hawala or by the method of money laundering. So, this act actually stops those things. Like that, government of India, this is not India, this is government of India. Government of India has many acts like this, okay. These are the various acts of government of India. But along with this, the existing uh, organizations, Reserve Bank of India, SEBI, the EPO, IRD, so existing IRDA, these bodies are also banks, banks. They are also trying to reduce the money laundering. How you know? How they reduce, you know? See. I'll tell you how they reduce. Huh? Reserve Bank of India is there. It has put very strict rules to all the banks. Every bank have to follow the rules of RBI. Not only banks, even NBFCs. Not only banks, friend, even non-banking. Non-banking finance comes also should follow rules kept by the Bank of India. One of the most important RBI is KYC norms. Every bank have to, whenever somebody is depositing money, 
huge money what is his name what is his job source of income should be pan number clearly mentioned kyc norms and all transactions last 10 years of transaction shall be maintained and if there is any suspicious activity reported to financial intelligence, intelligence unit which comes under economic intelligence council and finance ministry okay even i told you know i told you know that uh, uh, stock market stock market is susceptible for uh, money laundering so sebi is also trying to control that sebi i told you know how stocks you invest stock market there will be intermediaries will be there under sebi a lot of intermediaries will be there through intermediaries only investment happens in all investment purchasing of stocks happens through intermediaries these intermediaries sebi has put a rule to intermediaries if anybody is coming through you uh, purchasing some uh, stocks shares whatever through you if it's suspicious if the source is not known immediately report it to fiu report fiu immediately so that way sebi is taking care of all stock market and rb is taking care that no bank will transact them do you know i think icic bank or uh, forgot some bank uh, huge amount of money has gone to terrorist terrorist organizations but they do not know somebody sent sending it to their brother there is no terror financing punjab national finance the problem is different that is called cube cube banking that is different okay Actually, I am not very sure, Punjab Bank may be, but I, I remember Punjab Bank for other, other reasons. Actually, Punjab Municipal Bank, GM was arrested now, arrested for uh, you know, manipulating the foreign exchange. Terrorist financing through other bank happened, I don't remember the name. That means they tell that they are sending it to some students in other country, whatever, but all the money goes to terrorist bodies only. When suspicious, you have to freeze immediately, according to UNS resolution, 1, 2, 6, 7, you have to freeze immediately. These are the various measures of uh, government of India to stop the money laundering. Friends, if I ask you, what are more steps required? Why the present steps are unable to completely stop the money laundering? What more is required? What will you tell? What is that? Tell me some steps. Yes, awareness of people so that they don't go to hawalas, they don't purchase smuggled goods. Like that. They don't go to, they don't? Hmm. I mean, some people know they'll fund some NGOs thinking that NGOs are good NGOs, but the NGO fund terrorists. So you should know completely about whom you are funding. Do you know? You know, so even uh, Barack Obama the ex president of usa he gave from his salary he gave some money to one ngo in syria or iran something where they said that they're working for the people but they're actually terrorist financers so he and he could understand that is the level at which the organizations will work a very who appears very good to you is the actual person who will do all the nonsense things okay anyhow so awareness is one very good uh, what we have to still do is one is awareness good yeah, government has to regulate NGOs better and uh, they should be, for example, friends, do you know what? United Nations Convention is there, no? See, for example, United Nations Convention is there, right? According to this one, they will freeze any country whose accounts are, uh, means where the money is uh, getting transferred without proper, uh, it's anonymous, or they attack the country, no? But Pakistan every day will fund terrorists. Every day, all Pakistan banks will fund terrorists. But still, uh, uh, Pakistan will not attack, no? Bank is not freezing, no? Why? Implementation. Even United Nations also, there is no monitoring. They cannot monitor 200 countries, what is happening, every country, every bank, they cannot monitor. So the biggest problem is, there is no monitoring. And they are also partial. USA wants Pakistan. Without Pakistan, USA cannot take care of Afghanistan and surrounding areas. Everybody needs Pakistan. Pakistan is a geostrategically very important location. India is becoming very powerful in their future. So USA wants Pakistan, China also wants Pakistan. That's why what does Pakistan do? No? They cannot uh, punish Pakistan. That's how we can say these acts are not really implemented in the right, right spirit. And here you can tell, say my 4 what is that?
you can tell there are many EIU, FIU, FATF is there, CCTN. For example, friend, do you know CCTN is Crime and Criminal Tracking Network Systems. Crime and Criminal Tracking Network Systems. They are connected to all police stations in India, most of them. So that the criminal records are shared. For example, some criminal is doing some crime. I can fight the criminal Punjab maybe, or Himachal Pradesh. Then I can talk to the police, catch him across country all police stations are joined by crime and criminal tracking network systems even nat grid national intelligence grid railway stations bus stands airports ticket counters are all connected if anybody wants to escape we can find out where is going how is going connecting all the intelligence grid road the nation to, to catch the criminals this also to catch the criminals. You have national investigation agency. But this is mostly for terrorists only. Terrorist finance. If anybody is getting money, with their money they are doing terror activities. National investigation agency is there. Actually, state governments are not liking this. Because national investigation agency, you know, do you know when it formed? It formed after 2008 Mumbai attack. Called as 26. You know this, right? 9-11 attack is 9 attack is uh, USA. Actually, friends, 9-11 attack is in 2001. USA. September 11, this one. This one uh, is okay. Now, in the same 2001, what happened to India? India, what happened? 2001. Parliament attack. Afzal Guru. Afzal Guru hanged now. Parliament attack. This is September. Uh, Parliament December. December Indian Parliament was attacked, but we were able to stop the attackers. Otherwise, they would have killed all MPs and ministers single day. But we were able to stop them. Some people died, some police people died, some ten police people died, I think. This is 2008. This is you always see friends, most of the biggest acts, bodies will come after something happened. For example, all the international things came after the 2001 9 billion attack. And uh, after, after 2008 Mumbai attack, um, Azmal Kasab, NIA came. What is NIA? Do you know what they said NIA? Central government body, directly they can go to any state. Without permission of state government, they can go. Without permission of state police also, they can do investigation. That's why states are not liking it. What states tell is, see, if it happens in our state, we have police, no? Who are you? They say NIA. They, they come like that. They, they did not like it. They did not like it. They say, it is against the federalism. India is a federal, federal country, no? states have some powers, no? not all some powers. No? Similarly, yeah. what is that? Yeah. F. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Ra actually works mostly on external things. Means Ra will not actually punish the criminals in the state mostly. They, Ra collects the information from other countries, what is happening. Instead countries they will collect, but they will not go investigate, catch, imprison. They will not do those kind of things mostly. Ra will not do. Huh? It is be just any NIA has more powers after 2000 attack. No, NIA is formed, it is given more powers without taking uh, IB will take permission of DGP of the state, they'll talk to local police. NIA will not on anybody, directly they'll go with guns to water wherever they want to go. Okay, actually, Interpol is international organization. No, Interpol is not a Indian body. Interpol means international police, Interpol, international police. For example, in a movie, movie, single two or three. Surya goes to one country, Australia for the medical waste. Their Interpol, Interpol means when Indian police is going to other country, their police help us. Interpol. We have to help other police people. That Interpol is different, okay? Actually, it's called Enforcement Directorate. Enforcement Directorate, ED. Enforcement Directorate means any financial fraud, financial scams, ED will go and uh, confiscate the property. See, financial financial crimes are different. Financial crimes, they won't beat anybody. Terrorist is different. Terrorist, criminal, they are different. Finance is all white-collar job. White-collar. They'll go, you are under confiscation. They'll, they'll respect their person also. He's not a criminal. He's a criminal, but financial criminal. He's not a rapist or murderer. Only financial criminal. You understand? <laughs> See, anyhow. The, I mean, the way of handling is different. Okay? For example, one government wants, central government wants to start one body, but they did not start. That is a... a National 
Hmm. About terrorist, terrorist. There is a body. Counter terrorism, counter terrorism uh, center something. National counter terrorism center. NCTC. National counter terrorism center. Something like this. They want to find a body which will work only on terrorists. They are given extraordinary powers, but states do not accept it. States said that no. We will work now. If you want to ask us, we will work out on that. So that's why it did not come into picture. NCTC. Actually, this is based on uh, USA. USA has something like that. National Counterism Center. They can go to any state and they can work. After two, one attack only. Everything. Okay. Okay, friends. Now, yeah, continue. Any more steps you want to tell me? Security at the borders and the Indian Ocean. Yeah, border security has to be revamped. Because money laundering actually... Most of the money comes from the borders, cattle smuggling, human trafficking, whatever. Okay. Then you have to tell how to stop money laundering. Hmm, disclose. <coughs> Anything else you want to tell? Anything else you want to tell? Anyhow, follow the same thing, this one. Follow the same thing. For example, in India, intelligence gathering is very weak. Actual terrorists are able to gather more information than the government bodies. Terrorists are, have more knowledge than cyber. Cyberspace, uh, they are uh, employing highly skilled people than uh, government. Also institutions. In India, there is no right institution which can take care of all terrorist bodies, terrorist organizations, there is no particular institution. Ra will work, IB will work, NI will work, CA, many people work on different, different uh, areas. Also, implementation, though many, I wrote many laws, no? uh, Drugs, Psycho Substance Act, uh, Binaya Prevention Act, FCRA, but implementation is poor. Also, coordination, I wrote many bodies, no? where, I wrote many bodies, no? they won't work in unison, they work separately, turf wars. Turf war means they say this is my work, means no, this is my work, they keep on, nobody will do the work finally. Okay. Anyhow, friends, money laundering topic is over. I, you know, you should know what is money laundering, what are the effects of money laundering on India, and you should know what India is doing, acts, schemes, policies, whatever, internationally what is happening, and you have to, suggestions means you cannot have more suggestions, any suggestion. Okay. Friends, compared to Naxalism and compared to cyber security and money laundering, compared to these three things, border management is a bigger topic. In fact, a little difficult topic and it's not very clear, this topic. And many people have different opinions about the border security. It's a large topic and more facts to remember also, factually also more to by heart remember. Whereas this money laundering and uh, cyber security and Naxalism are very basic topics. I mean, very few facts will be there. Okay. Now coming to this uh, border security, India's border security, border management is the next topic. Red better or blue or black is better? Because most people said blue, I'll go for blue. Water security. Last winch is red better for you, blue better for you. Last winch for ice, which is comfortable. Red is comfortable, la? Red is more glaring, no? Huh? Okay, red is very glaring, frankly, blue is very comfortable. Okay, then friends, but I you know red and blue only. Means generally for my eyes, one red and blue will be visible. Remaining colors I don't feel also, really. Okay, friends, then uh, border security. To understand border security, first of all, you should know what are the bo borders of India and what are the countries that are sharing border with India. What are the countries just sharing the water? For example, this 
this map is not good really. I want to erase this part. But how to erase this part? No, sometimes just discuss. Hey, but uh, oh, it's saved, saved. Okay. Okay, we'll see how. Border security is our next topic, friends. There, you know why I erased the previous one? Because the previous map I have drawn Bhutan less than Nepal. Bhutan, is, I have drawn Nepal less than Bhutan. That is the only reason I have changed it. If the topic is not border, I would have kept the map as it is intact. That is not required. Now, friends, see what is this country? Change the color. What is country? What is this country? What is this country? And what is this country? Country. China, it's all country. China is touches even this one also. Actually, the place where Sikkim, Bhutan, and China touch is called as Doklam Plateau. Doklam. There is issue no two years ago, current affairs Doklam Plateau. It's a trijunction. Doklam Plateau is a trijunction. Just outside Sikkim, but Bhutan, Bhutan is also there here, China is also there there. What is this country? Country from here. What is this country? What is this country here? Sri Lanka. Below Maldives is there. Maldives, Sri Lanka is there. What are the islands? This islands. They won't start from here. They start from here actually. Near Andaman, you have Indonesia. We have Indonesia also. There was a film's question 2019 about which is closer to some they gave some compare from this island top island is indonesia closer or bottom island closer some question came like that okay any anyway, friend but if you want to see the length wise you know what is the highest length bangladesh see see bangladesh highest border we highest border with Next size border is China. See from here, China again. Here again, this one also China. China. Next size border is yes, right. Pakistan is the next size border. Third highest Pakistan is third largest border sharing with India. Then fourth highest is yes, very good. Nepal. Next, very good, Myanmar. Very good, Myanmar. Then, very good, Bhutan. Now, this is the most difficult thing. What is the last country? Good, Afghanistan. Af actually, friends, Afghanistan actually shares border with India here, but that belongs to Pakistan, Akbar Kashmir. No, this is Pakistan. See, this entire place is Gilgit, Baltistan. Occupied Pakistan, so we cannot go to Afghanistan. We are unable to go to Afghanistan because this is occupied by Pakistan. That's why to go to Afghanistan, what we are doing? From here going to Iran. From Iran we go to Afghanistan. See, just because it's occupied by Pakistan. Otherwise, if this is under control of India today, we would have directly gone to Afghanistan. From Afghanistan, we can go to Central Asia. Central Asia is very important for India. Central Asia, the Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Turkmenistan, Tajikistan. It's very important for India because they have a lot of mineral resources. To go to Central Asia, you have to cross Afghanistan. But Afghanistan actually shares border with India. But this is occupied by Pakistan. So we have no option. We have to go through the Arabian Sea, Iran, and then Afghanistan. But nowadays, Iran is unhappy with India. Why? USA put sanctions on Iran. We followed sanctions. That's why Iran is angry on India to some extent. We will discuss about later. You know JCPOA, right? 
Okay, we will see later about it. Now, friends, now as you understood what are the border countries of India, let us look at uh, generally states. Tell me, Pakistan which states? <coughs> Jammu Kashmir is a, now it is a unit territory. Unit territory then Punjab, then Rajasthan, then Gujarat. Are the four only four states bordering Pakistan? What are the states Pakistan, Nepal, <coughs> Uttarakhand, UP, Bihar, very good, West Bengal, Sikkim? This is Sikkim, you know, no, no, Sikkim. How many states? Five states. Five states are about Nepal. Now, Bhutan, tell me Bhutan, Sikkim, Sikkim, West Bengal, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh. Bhutan also four states. Sikkim, West Bengal, <coughs> Sikkim, West Bengal, Assam, Arunachal Pradesh. Bhutan. Bangladesh, how many states? Bangladesh, West Bengal, West Bengal, Assam, Assam, Meghalaya, West Bengal, Assam, Meghalaya, then this is Tripura and Mizoram also. Mizoram also. How many states? How many states? Huh? Five states, Mizoram, Tripura, Meghalaya, Assam and West Bengal, five states. Myanmar, also called Burma, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, very good, Manipur, Mizoram, how many states? Four states. Four. There was a question in UPSC once upon a time. Which of the following countries share border with four states of India? They gave some options. In that, uh, Myanmar is correct. Bhutan is also correct, four states. Bhutan is correct. Pakistan also correct. These three are the answers. They give, you know, for example, they give options, you know. Option one, Pakistan, two, Bhutan, three, four, five, six. And option A is one, three, and five. One is Pakistan, three is Bhutan, five is Myanmar. That is the answer. Something like that. But you should have an idea of the states. To understand the border problem, you should understand length of the border, which countries are there on the border, what states are sharing. Everything is important. Okay. Then uh, China, China, Jammu Kashmir. In Jammu Kashmir also, Ladakh, Ladakh, Ladakh is bought in China. Ladakh. This side, Arunachal Pradesh. Here, Sikkim. Here, Sikkim. Sikkim also touches China to, to an extent. So the other only uh, three states. Now, friends, Afghanistan won one state, Jammu Kashmir, Afghanistan. That also occupied Pakistan. Now. First of all, why border security is important? Do we really have a border problem? First, let's look into that. Do we really have a border problem with all the countries or only few countries? Friends, few countries only. India actually settled the border issue with Bangladesh, we settled, no problem now. Myanmar settled, no problem. Sri Lanka settled, Maldives settled, only Nepal settled, Bhutan settled, only China, Pakistan, we have problem. But till the last decade, we have problem with Bangladesh also. And we have a problem with uh, Myanmar also. But we settled it. For example, see. For example, take Pakistan. With Pakistan, do you know what is the problem? See, Pakistan, what happened to Pakistan actually? In 1947, when India got independence in 1947, Pakistan also got independence. Then what British said? British said that any state can choose whether they want to be part of India or want to be part of Pakistan or they want to be independent also, independent. And the king of Kashmir at the time, the Kashmir king was Hari Singh. Hari Singh decided that he wants to be independent. He don't want to be part of India. He does not want to be part of Pakistan, independent person. But what happened, you know, Pakistan attacked Hari Singh because Pakistan wants Kashmir. They attacked Hari Singh. Pakistan means Pakistan military did not come directly. Pathans, they call it Pathans, military only. They, but they won't be in the military uniform. Normal uh, Pakistan does will be there. No, they attacked uh, Hari Singh. And Hari Singh is a very small king. He cannot defeat Pakistan country. No, in 1947, when Pakistan and India both got independence, immediately they attacked the attacked Hari Singh. I mean Kashmir. Hari Singh could not defeat them, so he came to Nehru. He asked Nehru, Pakistan attacking us, please help me. Nehru said, Why should I help you? Anyway, you not part of India, no. If he's not part of India, why should he help? Then he said, okay, I will be part of India. 
then he said that I will not be complete part of India. He said that, see, I will associate with India, associate by signing instrument of instrument of that means foreign relations, finances, India will see. But in, internally governance who will take care, how to rule, Hari Singh will take care. But only the um, foreign relation, external affairs, financial management, Nehru will, India will take care. But inside governance, they are independent to govern whatever they want. Because if India says that king has to go, democracy has to come, Hari Singh cannot accept it. Hari Singh wants to be king. Democracy won't allow. No. So that governance part is not touched. Only finance, external management is uh, part of India. That is the agreement. Immediately, Nehru sent the army. Indian army is very powerful than Pakistan. They are able to, actually Pakistan has came till here, Pakistan, almost they came till here, Pakistan is. Nehru is able to push them away. Keep on pushing, pushing, pushing. By the time, almost Nehru pushed them to, not Nehru, Indian army, pushed them till here. Still pushing, is going on. Indian army is slowly pushing them away. They, they reached till here. At that time, Nehru made a blunder. What he has done is, winter came. Winter means almost December came by the time. Nehru thought that December came. This part is completely full of snow, avalanches. If we fight in such a kind of conditions, Pakistan, you can push past Pakistan army very easy. But our soldiers also die. Nehru does not want, our Nehru did not want our soldiers to die unnecessarily in the winter climate. So he thought, actually Nehru's mistake is he believed in United Nations. Nehru felt that United Nations is a international body, no? If you go there, they will give a good judgment. But he does not know that UN is completely under control of USA. United Nations may be international border, 200 countries may be there, but it's completely controlled by USA. Whatever USA says, United Nations will do. Nehru did not realize it. That, that clearly shows he is not pragmatic, not practical. He is idealist. He is thinking that everybody is very good. Manchalantana, Manchalu, something like that. You understand? So, but USA wants Pakistan. You know why? Actually, at the time, um, at the time, Nehru was forming a non-alignment movement. That means Nehru what is telling is no country should be part of USA or part of USA. USR. We can be independent. Then why will USA agree? Whereas Pakistan directly went under USA. Pakistan went and hit under USA. Then uh, United Nations listened to USA and do you know the judgment? Judgment is this is the ceasefire line. Pakistan should not cross, India should not cross. What is it? Easily India can easily India could have defeated them. But India went to them to ask for a judgment. Once they got judgment, what is judgment they had to follow it now? They said that this is a ceasefire line. At the time, Wallabai Patel Sardar was angry actually because he, he said that let the Indian, Indian soldiers die. But territory is very important territory. Because once you leave territory, later you will never get a chance to occupy it again. But anyhow it happened. Finally, this is the ceasefire line. It's called as a line of control. It's called as, this line is called line of line of control. Line of control. Friend, what I said is not exact. Exactly what Nehru said, but as I also did not know. I'm telling briefly. Okay. Now what happened? Nehru India did not agree with it. India said that no. Till here belongs to India only. That's why even today we're drawing a map like this. Anybody draw a map like this, they won't agree. Even today, we are not, not accepting the judgment. Pakistan does not accept. You know why? Pakistan says that <laughs> till here, Pakistan only. Enter Kashmir. So, Pakistan does not accept the LOC, India do accept the LOC. But both Pakistan and India, like gentlemen, they made a ceasefire agreement themselves. They made an agreement, India Pakistan. According to that, Pakistan should not cross this line, India will not cross this line. As it is. But Pakistan can draw map till here, India can draw map here. That is the situation right now. So, this is the border problem with Pakistan. That is the border problem and Kashmir. But Gujarat also, we have border problem. Gujarat also. In Gujarat also, there are many salt flats. Actually, you know, in this Arabian Sea, salt flats are there, small islands, salt. So, Pakistan says that they belong to Pakistan. India says belong to India. Finally, in 1968, in 1968, actually, friend, Sir Creek was a Britisher. Sir Creek, 
when india pakistan form he, he has drawn a line like this this is india the pakistan sar creek line but sar creek line is something like this difficult to follow that's why pakistan always says that till he belongs to india only uh, pakistan only india did not, did not agree with it so finally in 1968 both of them went to the court not court international dispute settlement tribunal they went in 1968 that tribunal said that among all the salt flats 10% give it to Pakistan. Anyhow, Pakistan wants see. Pakistan wants this place now. Give it to Pakistan 10%. Remain 90% give it to India. Settled. That is settled now. No, no problem there. Gujarat problem is settled. But Kashmir problem is today, even till now, it is there. So one is LOC problem, then salt flats problem solved. Then another thing is here there is a glacier friend, glacier called Siachen Glacier. Here there is a glacier called Siachen. It will be like this. The glacier is a big iceberg. So there is above ground level position. Let us say it's like this. This is called above ground level position. Pakistan says still here belongs to Pakistan. Whoever occupies this place now, they can win the war. Above ground level, they can win the war. But India occupied it. That is another problem. That's all. Three broad problems for Pakistan. Coming to China. China is a different story. China, what happened, you know? In China, actually. China, friends, this is Arunachal Pradesh. This is Arunachal Pradesh. This is Sikkim. Do you know Sikkim is not part of India actually? In 1972, India got Sikkim. Till then, Sikkim was another country. Then China was afraid. India has, took, India has taken Sikkim into them okay now friends do you know uh, oh, actually this part belongs to whom pakistan this part this part also belongs to pakistan you know both parts belong to pakistan only but pakistan sold it to china this part pakistan cannot control no pakistan is this side now this side pakistan cannot control no they sold it to china china bought it from pakistan and that's why it's called aksai chin it's called as aksai chin is chinese name this name is Gilgit Baltistan, Pakistan name. Gilgit Baltistan, this one. This is Gilgit. Gilgit. This is Accession. Do you know why China wants that? Because this is all China, no? This is all China, right? This part of China is called Tibet. Tibet Autonomous Region. Tibet Autonomous Region. This part. This is also China. This is Xinjiang. Or Xinjiang, Xinjiang Uyghur province, or simply XUR. This is Xinjiang Uyghur, one, one place of China. This is Tibet, place of China. But how will you go from Tibet to Xinjiang? Going like this is difficult. Himalayas are there. This is easy, this side. That's why they want this part. You understood why China wants this part? China wants to go from Tibet to Xinjiang. Both, both China only, but going is difficult. That's why they want shortcut. That's why China started building road, railway, everything started building. And Nehru did not speak anything. Nehru left it. Anyhow, it is Pakistan occupied now. Why are not still to fight? Anyhow, they are brothers only, no? China are brothers only, no? Nehru used to feel like that, actually. Actually, in international diplomacy, Nehru's philosophy may be right to some extent, feeling everybody as a friend. But Sardar Patel's philosophy is different. He feels nobody should touch your territory. We should go to any extent to get a territory. His philosophy is different. Patel's, Sardar Patel's philosophy. Even Vajpayee was there at the time also. Vajpayee, in 1957, 1957, they started building roads, everything, railways, along accession. Vajpayee, actually Vajpayee was nine times MP, I think. Vajpayee. So first time MP at the time, young Vajpayee, 25 years old. He is the first person to speak in the, in the parliament that when China is constructing roads and railways in our territory, why are you allowing it? Then immediately Nehru went to their army and slowly they stopped. Uh, India stopped them to construct all those things. That's where China got angry. Slowly by 1962, China is looking for a war, looking to attack. But China cannot attack India because USA will not agree, Russia will not agree. By the time international, United Nations has some rules. They don't encourage war. So China is looking for a right time to attack India. China can attack India when USA, USA both are busy. 
and both are busy in 1962 because of Cuban crisis. There is a movie, English movie called John of Kennedy. Movie is also Kennedy only. See the movie. In 1962, there was a Cuban crisis. You know what is Cuban crisis? I'll tell you. Uh, this is Africa, Saudi Arabia, India, Europe, okay, South America, North America, Alaska, Greenland, okay. Friends, this is Cuba. Cuba is here. This is USA. This is USA. Russia is thinking that if there is a US-Russia war in future, till now there is no war actually, fortunately, but Russia and USA felt that there may be chance of war. USA may attack Russia. That's why Russia, Russia means USSR, not Russia, USSR. They kept some missiles here, submarine missiles. Today, in, in Sri Lanka, there are missiles of, uh, submarine missiles of China. Now they are there. Now also they, if in China, India starts war against China, they launch missiles from Sri Lanka. That's why India always tries to friendly with China, no? Sri Lanka. Okay. Anyhow, China also okay will try. But uh, so Cuba is an island. Actually, Cuba is a communist country. Tell me, who, they'll be close to USA or Russia? Russia? Because Russia is also a communist country. No. Now they kept lot of missiles here. So by seeing those missiles, John F. Kennedy was the president of USA. So they came on ships like this. They came on ships still here. Almost war was going to start. This is Russia. Ships came in this direction also. Russian ships also came. So both are almost standby. If a bullet is fired, war will start. But somehow, John F. Kennedy decided not to go for war. Because going for war leads to a lot of death, waste of economy. USA will go backward. USA is growing fast, you know. You go for a war, it will destroy completely. Both will be destroyed. No, Finally, war was stopped. But that uh, Cuban craze was there for almost 10 days. Ships are, means US, US are thinking what to do. During the time China attacked India silently here. Because you, everybody is busy there now. That was the time. That's why exactly they chose 1962 to attack India. Where? China. China attacked India. Where is it? Here. China attacked India from here actually. From here and here. Both China attacked India. At a time in, in, in the... Uh, friend, this part is called Ladakh. Ladakh. This is Arunachal Pradesh. Arunachal Pradesh, the small district is called as Tawang. See, in Jammu Kashmir, Ladakh was an area, no? Like that, in Arunachal Pradesh, Tawang was an area. They attacked on both sides. But this side, Ladakh side, we were able to successfully stop them. But overall, they only won. And then they stopped. after coming to some part of India, they occupied some part of India and then they left the war. They only went back. War was closed. The idea is not to defeat India or come into Delhi. Idea is to occupy some extra part of the border, that's all. So that's how it happened. 1962 war. What was that? And uh, this line is there, no? This line between India and China is called line of actual control. This is called line of control, line of actual control. Here also, this part is called line of actual control. Between India and Pakistan, line of control, LOC. Between India and China, actual control, LAC. China even today says that entire Arunachal Pradesh belongs to China only. Entire Arunachal Pradesh belongs to China only. You know why? The reason is, friends, the reason is, see, in 1914, India was ruled by British. Tibet was ruled by a king. Tibet king was there. So, Arunachal Pradesh. At that time, Arunachal Pradesh area was complete forest only. This is Tibet. This is all. What is this? Tibet. So, Tibet king sat down with British. India, British only now. They sat in Shimla. It's called Shimla Agreement. It's called Shimla. From the Shimla Agreement, they decide they have drawn a line. They have drawn like this. This is India, that is Tibet. But later, when China occupied Tibet, no, China said that Tibet king, whatever he has drawn, will not agree. At the time, the person who has drawn the line now is called McMohan. That's why this line is, this line is called as? McMohan line is not accepted by China. China says that that line was drawn by McMohan, a British person who is not real Indian. And Tibet king is not the real king. China is a real country. So they say entire Arunachal belongs to China only. Do you know if any person of Arunachal Pradesh want to go into China, they don't need visa. China will not give visa. You are also citizen only, you know. 
come directly. They use stapled visa, something called stapled visa. So even today, this border problem is there. This side also border problem is there. So China still have Arunachal Pradesh problem, McMahon line problem, and LAC problem. Both are there till today also. But we have got a good agreement. In 1993, between India and China, there was a agreement of peace and tranquility. Agreement of peace and according to that agreement, both of us should not cross LAC or McMahon line. Nobody should attack anybody. Both of them take guns and stand like this. That's why along China India border, generally there are no gunfights. But recently it's happening. Previously never happened. Though we, we both not agree the border, actually India wants to settle the problem. India wants to say, you want this one, you take this one, give this one to us. India is ready to settle. But China is not ready to settle. Why you know? Settlement means what? Compromise. I will take some, you take some. Close. China do not want that. China want to wait for next 50 years. So that after next 50 years, China will be very, very powerful. India will be average, according to China, average. At that time, China can easily take whatever they want. We both have a problem. This book, uh, we both have a problem, half of. I will wait till I become very powerful. I will powerful. I'll come to you, give me the book, you will give it. You cannot do anything, you will give it to me. China is intentionally postponing the solution. Why? Why is postponing? In future, it will become powerful, it can take everything. This is the idea of Shaina. This is the idea of Shaina. Pakistan also can solve the problem, but Pakistan also solve the problem. You know why? Only when Pakistan, India, Pakistan is fighting with India, Pakistan is respected. Once Pakistan stops fighting with India, no, nobody gets Pakistan. USA, China, everybody, why they are giving more Pakistan? Tomorrow, if they want to defeat India, they can come through Pakistan. Pakistan always wants to uh, fight with India. Only then Pakistan is survival. Once Pakistan becomes a friend of India, no, nobody bothers Pakistan. They just throw away Pakistan. So for their survival, they have to keep on fighting. They have no other option. That is Pakistan problem. China, you understood why China? Okay. Now, then come to Bangladesh. This is Bangladesh. Friend, Bangladesh. There were some islands called as here Moor Islands. What is it called? Moor. India says that they belong to India. Bangladesh says belong to Bangladesh. But India is ready to solve the problem. India generally do not keep the problem for a long time. They will solve it immediately. So both of them went to International Court of Justice. Where is it? Hagu. 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 Yes, HHGV. International Court of Justice. Both went there. They simply said that they belong to Bangladesh only. India gave it. So, they went to Bangladesh only. No problem. That is the one thing solved. Next thing is, first we know between India and Bangladesh here, here also, here particular here, there is one very strange, uh, interesting concept called as the concept of conclaves. Concept of? You know what is conclave? If this is the border, no? India Bangladesh border, no? Some Bangladeshi conclaves are here, some Indian conclaves are inside Bangladesh. Some Indian territory is Indian Bangladesh, some Bangladesh is inside India. You know why it happened? In those days, India was ruled by Mughal, the main India. Bangladesh ruled by Kuch Bihar. Some kings were there, Kuch Bihar kings. They used to play Jodong. What is Jodong? They used to play cards, whatever. For example, I win a card, you give me the conclave. If you win a card, you give this conclave. Like this, that's how the water is uh, the water came out as conclaves. It's called as thin and there is a Territory here called Thin Bog Corridor. Thin Bog Corridor. People who stayed inside Bangladesh are Indians. Who stayed in India are Bangladeshis. Because conclaves are like that, confusing. But India wants to settle it down. So in 2013, when Congress, Manmohan Singh, Prime Minister of India, 2013, 2013, we made land border agreement. What have we what have made? Agreement. I call agreement. We gave some Congress to Bangladesh. We took some Congress. Settle the problems. Problem solved. India always want to settle the problem. Settled. Now Bangladesh. Now Bangladesh India has no board disputes. Same with Myanmar also. Myanmar. Where is Myanmar? Here. Myanmar is all. Is all Myanmar no. For Myanmar also. In 1967 only, India Myanmar sat down. They made agreement. This is Myanmar. This is India. Where 19? 
settled, settled. Coming to Sri Lanka, if this is India, this is Sri Lanka, this island here called, famous island called, what is this? Very good, who is that? Who is that? Who said that? How do you know Kachitiwa island? Huh? Very good. Now it's not disputed. Now it belongs to. Okay. Kachi Oilan. Indra Gandhi, see, friends, generally large countries, no? With a small country, when they have a small dispute, no? They'll give it generally. There's a common nature. Like in a large country, no? Why they want small islands? Give it. That's the nature of India, always. So, but to, before give it, you ask the people, no? Whether to give it or not. Prime Minister is not head of territory, no? What happened, you know? Kachatiu Islands are very important for Tamil Nadu fishermen. Tamil Nadu fishermen, they go till here and then they will dry the nets. While fishing, for drying the net, you need island, no? Kachatiu Island is very important for Tamil fishermen. But Indira Gandhi gave it to Sri Lanka. Without even amending the constitution. That's why now some people say, Indians, though Indira Gandhi queues, it's illegal, take it back. Without amending the constitution, how can she give the territory? Territory is very important, no? Without amending constitution, how can Prime Minister give it to somebody? But anyhow, settle, it's given to uh, Sri Lanka. Now Sri Lanka is using it. Kachatiu Islands, over. Maldives also, this is Maldives. We have clearly demarcated the boundary on the ocean. In the ocean, this ocean belongs to India, Maldives. So everything is over, settled. Okay? Bo what is that? For example, this is Nepal, this is Bhutan. Nepal, Bhutan also, we do not have any issues. So friends, China, 1993 Peace Triangle Agreement, no? 1996, India-China signed many, what is this? Confidence Building Measures. Two countries will sign confidence building. I will do like this, you do like this. If there is any problem, both will sit and discuss. Like that, they made some agreement. Confident each other, so that no problem will come. They made many agreements like that. Even then, problem is there today. Friends, as you understood about the borders, the problem, all these things, let us discuss what is the problem with each, each border. The Pakistan border, what is the problem? Myanmar, what is the problem? Not the border problem. Drug trafficking, human uh, smuggling, these problems. We'll discuss it now. What's time? Hmm? Myanmar? Settle. Now we don't have any border problem. In 1967 only, we have settled all the border disputes. We settled. Water problem is there. Border problem means territory problem or border problem is even smuggling, terrorism, that's all the border problem. I am not talking about those things. Territorial border problem is not there with Myanmar. This territory belongs to Myanmar, this to India, the fighting is not there, settled. Now I will come to border problems which are drugs, terrorism, weapons, that problem we will discuss now. Okay? Hmm. Very good question. He's asking people living in the Gilgit Baltistan here. Gilgit Baltistan and Ajad Kashmir. Are they, are they Pakistanis or? Are they Pakistanis or? Hey, are they Pakistanis or? Indians is the question, right? Huh? They belong to neither. They are independent. Ajad Kashmir, whoever stays there, no, they have no country. Generally, they will do something. Trade with, for example, they will buy something from India, sell something to Pakistan and they leave. That's all. They have no citizenship. Even Gilgit Baltistan also. Actually, Pakistan wants to make this uh, Gilgit Baltistan one of the provinces. Pakistan already has some five, five or four states or provinces, I think five are there. They want to add Gilgit was also, they want to add, but as of now they did not add. They did not add as of now. Do you know why they did not add? The reason is, people of Kashmir, many people of Kashmir today also, many people of Kashmir want independence from India. But they don't want to join Pakistan. They want to be independent, that's all. Now, 
Pakistan helping them. You know what Pakistan says? Kashmir people, you want independence? I will help you. I will come and help you. For their independence, why should they help? Not required, no. Now, if Pakistan takes control of this, no, then Kashmir people will stop believing in Pakistan. See, if Pakistan is taking these two states into their country, then people of Kashmir will be afraid of Pakistan. What they will think is tomorrow, if we become independent, again they will take us. For that thing only, they are not taking. Otherwise, they want to take the Gilgit, uh, Baltistan into their country. Okay? No friends? Financial support and Pakistan support them. They also, they will do some kind of trade now. They will grow cattle, sell meat in India, sell wool in Pakistan. They want money, you know. They can do trading, you know. Trade and commerce are very high in these places. Along the, along the border, no, intra international trade is very common there. People trade in both the countries, trade and commerce, very common. Okay? No need to worry about their money, they earn money. Okay? <coughs> but it's a very interesting good question. Okay. Now friends, <coughs> let us discuss various problems along the border of India. What are the various problems along the border of India? First, I'll tell you quickly a list of problems. Then I'll tell you along every country what is the problem. We'll come point by point, okay? First, I'll start with general problems along the border. Tell me quickly, all of you. Anybody, what are the problems? Very good. Terrorist infiltration. Terrorist infiltration. Terrorists are coming into India, from Kashmir, Bangladesh, Nepal also. Example, as in Patkal. As in Patkal, no, no, the wild log, I think, is about as in Patkal only. As in Patkal comes to India every day with bags of counterfeit currency, fake currency. From Nepal, it comes. Then, illegal migration. Friends, don't say migration, illegal. Normal, if you come to India, have a stamping and come to India, legal migration only. Illegal migration means secretly coming to India without notice of anybody like this, okay? Illegal migration. The problem. Then friends, illegal trade, it's called contraband. You know what is contraband? Contraband is illegal trade. You bring wrong goods into India without any permission, without customs duty, without any uh, taking permission from both the countries, you bring the goods into from one country. Contraband, illegal exports and imports. That's a major problem, illegal. Then smuggling of smuggling of cattle. Cattle smugglers, night time from Bangladesh they will come to India, they will take all cows and run into Bangladesh. You cannot do anything. They will take cows, buffaloes, everything, water they get. People also sometimes, okay. Smuggling of cattle. Then friends, drugs. Friends, drugs is a major problem in India. Drug is the major border problem of India. Yes, very good. I will take some time to discuss only about drugs. Next slide, okay. Yes, weapons. Weapons, weapon smuggling, also called as gun running. How are Naxalites getting the guns? How are Khalistan, Khalistan terrorists getting guns? How are Nagaland uh, insurgents getting guns from, from foreign countries, other countries only? Gun running, weapon smuggling. Border yeah, attacks from the Pakistan, China onto the border. Border attacks is also a major problem. Friends, counterfeit currency at only as in Batkal. Counterfeit. Counterfeit currency means fake currency. Pakistan will print all currency of India, send it to India only. Through Nepal. Counterfeit currency, okay. So, drugs, weapons, currency, smuggling of cattle and goods. And human trafficking, most importantly, human trafficking. Friends, you forgot human trafficking. Kidnapping girls, children and selling them in other country, human trafficking is a major problem. So these are some of the major problems of borders of India. India's borders are porous. Porous means easy to move. Means country is there, we are constructing some borders, that's all. Now, what is that? Soldiers Soldiers? Soldiers are taking whom? The country will take care of our soldiers. Sometimes they take soldiers, kill them and send the dead bodies back. Yeah, it happens actually. 
that happens they kill soldiers also there was one incident recently they have cut the head uh, hands everything a soldier yeah very gruesome very bad okay friends coming to drugs do you know why drug problem is more in india it's a very important topic in border security drugs why because friends see Africa, Saudi Arabia, India, in the world map, India is here, this is India, right? Here, there are three countries, there are three countries, you know what are the countries? Iran, Afghanistan and Pakistan. Iraq also, maybe slightly Iraq is there, but mostly Iran, Iraq both, Pakistan, Afghanistan. Form a crescent moon. They are famous for producing drugs. They for Afghanistan come go anywhere in Afghanistan they produce drugs. Like how you produce rice and wheat here, they produce uh, marijuana, cocoa, psycho substances, cocaine, huh? opium, ganja. Anything else you know? You know anything else? Okay. They grow a lot of things in Afghanistan. Why they grow, you know? A lot of money. If you grow the terrorists, you know, in Afghanistan, terrorists are only occupying most land, you know, terrorists. Pakistan also, some people terrorists. Terrorists will grow those things, sell them, get the money. With the money, they will buy guns, whatever they want to fight the other countries. Okay? Similarly, this side, India, that side, golden, this is called golden crescent. Very important. Golden crescent means Iran, Pakistan, Afghanistan. On the north of India. South of India also, here there is a golden triangle. You know, what are those? Myanmar. Thailand, Myanmar, Thailand, Laos and Vietnam. This is Myanmar, no? Myanmar. This is Thailand. This is Laos, this is Vietnam. Laos, Vietnam. These countries are also very famous for growing uh, drugs. They also grow a lot of drugs. There everybody have drugs. Drug addicts there. You go to Myanmar, Thailand, everybody take drugs like how you take water. Very common they take, okay? Now, India is exactly between golden crescent and that is the problem with India. When you are between two highly drug producing countries, what can you do? For example, if the, uh, from here, drugs have to go to Europe, how they will go? Through India only, no? From here, drugs have to come to Sri Lanka or somewhere, they will come through India only, no? So, India is a transit point of drugs. Transit point. What is it? They have to go through India. If you take India, friends, see, from Myanmar, drugs will come. From Thailand, drugs will come to Myanmar. From Myanmar, drugs will come into Northeast India. And Northeast India, they want drugs. You know why? To earn money. Why they want to earn money? To fight against India. Northeast India is full of insurgency. Everywhere in North India, somebody says, I want my own country. Everybody. For example, I'll tell you, take Assam. Take Assam. In Assam, Ulfa. What is Ulfa? United Liberation Front of Assam. Ulfa. A terrorist body, insurgency. They fight for separate Assam. They want Assam country. One of the leaders was Anup Chetia. Recently, Bangladesh gave him back. Ulfa is formed by some three, four important leaders. One leader, Anup Chetia. Anup Chetia was important leader there. Ulfa terrorists stay in Bangladesh. Sometimes they come to India. These people, no, they cannot stay in India. Government catches them, no. For example, Osama bin Laden stays in Pakistan till he was killed. Like that, Ulfa let us stay in Bangladesh. But Bangladesh government wants to have good relations with India, so they gave back, they sent Anup Chetia to India. Okay. Inside Assam, see, in Assam, there is a small, inside Assam, there is a small region called Bodoland. They want their own country. So, Bodoland, Bodoland Liberation Front, Bodoland Liberation Tigers, sorry, Bodoland Liberation Tigers, they call them Tigers. They want to liberate Bodoland, a separate country, okay. Similarly, in Assam, there is a small district called Kamathpur. They also want a country. Kamathpur Liberation Organization. 
Kamadpur Liberation Front. Liberation Front. See these many bodies. For example, in Nagaland, no? In Nagaland, there are two important bodies. One is National. This is very important. National Socialist Council of Nagaland. One is led by Kaplang. Leader is Kaplang. Kaplang means it's like Kaplang. Another is National Socialist Council of Nagaland. Isak Mowaya. Isak Mowaya. Another leader. Isak Mowaya. Isak Mowaya. In these two, this this is there no Isak Mowaya. National Socialist Council of Nagaland IM. They sign agreement with India. Indian government sign agreement that they will not do anything. India government also gave some independence to them, some to some extent, so that they won't attack on India. Truce was there, but Kaplang is a worst fellow. NSC and Kaplang attacks India regularly. Do you know where they stay? Myanmar, because Myanmar military have truce with them. Myanmar military, they stay in Myanmar every day, come to attack India, and after attacking they go back to Myanmar every day. Okay, NSC and Kaplang, very dangerous organization, dangerous. Do you know what they want? These people. They want Greater Nagalim. Greater Nagalim means Nagaland, Arunachal Pradesh, Manipur, Mizoram, Myanmar also they want some part. They want to form their own big country. We call them as what you know, protos in international relations, in political state, in political option study about that. Proto state. Proto state means they take some part from one country, another country, they form their own country. Example, Kurdistan. You know Kurds? You know Kurds? You heard about Kurds? Kurdistan. Kurds are a section of Muslims. They want their own country. Actually, if you take West Asia, this West Asia, no, from Syria, see, Syria, Turkey, Iraq, Iran, from all these countries, they want to come. Actually, the all four countries that have border, all Kurds with the Kurds, they want to separate from all the four countries from single country called Kurdistan, Kurdistan, proto state. Like that, Greater Nagalim they want a separate country. Okay, it's called proto state. Friends, not only here, friends, even Arunachal Pradesh also has called Arunachal dragons. They want their own country. Arunachal dragons, they are all dragons. Arunachal dragons. What is that? Dragon is China. Chinese thing, dragon. Some people here know they are very close to China. For example, in Meghalaya, some people want to support Meghalaya. They call themselves as People Liberation Army. They want to liberate people from India, make another country. People Liberation Army of Meghalaya. This also, I am telling you different insurgency bodies. These are all organizations of insurgency. They want to separate countries. Manipur also. Manipur Liberation Front, Mizoram Liberation uh, Tigers or uh, Animals, whatever. So there are many organizations like this. Okay, many organizations. So friend, now all these organizations, how do they get money? They cannot do agriculture, no. Agriculture, how much they get? It? I want more money. So they will help. Now Myanmar is a part of Golden Triangle. They send drugs. Now these uh, insurgency bodies, they will take the drugs and send it to Europe, whatever. For that, they take money. But some drugs they'll take, some they'll eat and then some they'll take it. Understand? That's why they all are drug addicts. You see all these Northeast people, our nations, they're drug addicts. While transiting drugs, see every day if you transit drugs, you won't taste it now. Once you taste it, you'll eat, eat it to it continuously. So that's how uh, India, if there is no insurgency here, no, uh, drug smuggling will not happen. Because it, if there is no insurgency, completely controlled by state government, no. India, no. Then how can drugs come? Because insurgency is there, because these bodies are fighting against India, they, they are not under control of India, that's where drugs are coming. Once you are able to control all these bodies completely, all the, not this complete control of state government or India, then drugs cannot come. <coughs> there is a demand for drugs. Demand is there, okay. See here also, <coughs> here also, terrorists, terrorists who come into India, they also want money, no. That's why, here, Golden Crescent, Pakistan, Afghanistan. So, they also have drugs, you know. Those drugs, they send to here, they'll sell the drugs here, they'll take the Sri Lanka also. So, here, drugs are coming because there is a demand for terrorist demand. But here, what happens, you know, Kashmir borders are very strictly regulated. So, uh, army will be there, army. But whereas, Punjab, Rajasthan, Gujarat borders are no, not uh, 
so tightly uh, managed that's why they come from punjab most of the terrorists through punjab only they come for selling drugs that's why punjab people are addicted to the drugs punjab people are addicted to drugs because transit transit point some they will sell some they will consume that's why they made a movie you know what is the movie Urta Punjab, have you seen the movie? Actually, friend, Urta Punjab means Punjab is flying. When you have drugs, you feel like flying. You feel like that, flying. That's why Urta Punjab. In Punjab, politicians also run these organizations, drug organizations. Punjab has become completely drug addict because of that golden crescent. Okay? Friends, don't think only Northeast Punjab, even coast areas also. Sri Lanka is there in LTT, Tamilians, LTT. They also have money, you know. Only these terrorists and their money, everybody wants money, you know. So what they will do, they will also help in drug smuggling. So they will take drugs from Africa. And from there, drugs will come to Mumbai port, Cochin port, Chennai port, Thirichur port, drugs will go everywhere. They also do drugs smuggling. So drug problem is there, not only on land border, but also coastal border also, coastal border also it is there. Don't forget that point. Coastals of India also are centers for drug smuggling. You know Varnasi? Their drugs are very common. Marzuana. Legal almost. Means everybody takes marzuana, agoras and agoras. They'll take marzuana only. They'll go like this. Nobody can actually stop them. You put in the prison also, there also you'll do something. You cannot control them. So it became very common, marzuana. It became culture of Varnasi. Everybody takes mar mar marzuana, their ganja. But here if you take ganja, they'll slap you and throw you into prison. There it became a kind of culture. Culture, mar marzuana, okay? <coughs> Anyhow. Now friends, <coughs> Africa, many Africans come to India to sell drugs, you know. That's why sometimes in Bangalore, Delhi, uh, local people beat Africans. They have fight with Africans. But that is wrong. Just because some Africans are selling drugs does not mean you have to doubt every African. Delhi, no, they doubt Africans. Bangalore also recently issue happened, no. Uh, so they sold drugs to somebody, some issue happened, no. So Africans also sell drugs in India, Africa. They come from Africa because they also want money, no. Everybody wants to survive, right? No. <coughs> That's about drugs. Now coming to other countries. Friends, if you take if you take Pakistan, along Pakistan what is the problem? Terrorism. Terrorism is a problem. Then weapon smuggling is a major problem. Now come to Bangladesh. Along Bangladesh, what is the problem? Cattle smuggling, cattle and human trafficking, human trafficking and illegal migration. Means the same things will come here. Water wrote here, no, some of them will come. Around Myanmar, what is problem? I told Myanmar, what is problem? Insurgency. The NSC and Kaplang was there, no. They stay in Myanmar only. They attack India, go back to Myanmar. Myanmar is a safe haven for terrorists, insurgents. Like Pakistan is a safe haven for terrorists, no. Myanmar heaven for NSC and Kaplang and insurgent groups. Not only that, even Mizoram, Manipur insurgency also stay in Myanmar only. They all, they cannot stay in India. India, they will be caught, no. The problem. Nepal, what is the problem? Nepal? Actually, friend, Nepal and Bhutan, for Nepal and Bhutan, we have got Treaty of Friendship and Peace. Treaty of Friendship, Peace and Friendship is there with Nepal and Bhutan also. We are good friends. That's why Nepal border, Bhutan border are almost open. People can move. They can do trade. They can take a bike, come to India, do work in India and go back. So free, India and Nepal. Bhutan is more free, Nepal nowadays is shopping. So, that's why Nepal, Pakistan uses Nepal for sending counterfeit currency. We have agreement in almost 950 only. The borders are very porous. That's why through Nepal, Bhutan also we have uh, drug smuggling, counterfeit currency, contraband is there, human trafficking is happening. Terrorists are rare, terrorists are less in that area, Nepal, Bhutan. Okay. Now friends, <coughs> what is it? Now, what are the various organizations? Or before that, what are the various security forces? 
security forces that work on the Indian borders. See, for example, if you take India. See, along the coastal area, one is Navy. Navy is defense, very powerful. Navy will be there. Along with Navy, see, Navy is the defense, military. Navy is the military thing. Along with that, we have Coast Guard, National Coast Guard, National Coast Guard. National Coast Guard is called as paramilitary, not military. Navy is military. Coast Guard is paramilitary. Along with that, state police will be the state police. In Andhra Pradesh, in Tamil Nadu, the state police are there now. Some police will be kept for uh, guarding, the, guarding the coast also. Called as, uh, <coughs> in different states they call differently. Coastal police. Or for example, if you become IPS officer, you will work as some, some few years in traffic, you will work. Few years law and order. Few years in uh, C CID, you will work CID. Like there, few years you work in coastal also. Coastal. That is police. So police is co coastal police, military is navy, paramilitary is coast guard. All three have to work together. You understood? Navy is military. This is paramilitary. State police is state police only. State police. Okay. Navy will come under which ministry? Defense, Defense ministry. ministry. NC will come under home ministry. Paramilitary comes under home ministry. State police will come under state government, not central government. These three are different. Okay. Then friend, along the Tibet, where is Tibet? Along the Tibet, IT, Indo-Tibetan border police. What is it? Paramilitary. Comes under? Home Ministry. Paramilitary. Along the Kashmir here, Army. This comes under the Defense Ministry. Army. Along Punjab, Gujarat, um, Rajasthan, Punjab, Rajasthan. Along this border, who will work? BSF. Which is a paramilitary, comes under home ministry. But only Kashmir army, Kashmir is very uh, requires uh, more terrorist uh, control. So, army is there. Remaining Punjab and uh, Gujarat, there is no that much terrorist problem. That's why BSF, paramilitary. Now tell me, Nepal and Bhutan, both, uh, both Nepal and Bhutan, both are by Sahasra Seema Bal. Sahasra Seema SSB comes under Home Ministry. Paramilitary, no? It's a paramilitary SSB. <coughs> paramilitary. Then entire Myanmar, entire Myanmar, Arunachal Pradesh, Nagaland, uh, who will? Assam. Yes, Assam Rifles. Who are the Assam Rifles? They are? Very good. Paramilitary. Come under Home Ministry. <coughs> entire Bangladesh comes under BSF. BSF, Bangladesh BSF. Then near near this, you know, actually near Uttarakhand, Uttarakhand, okay, Uttarakhand and Himachal Pradesh, some parts of Himachal Pradesh. There is special force called Vikas, Vikas battalions around Himachal Pradesh, Himachal Pradesh, most Himachal Pradesh, Vikas battalions. The commander is separate body actually. They are called special frontier force. Special frontier. They don't come under home ministry, ministry. They come under cabinet secretary. They come under the cabinet secretary. Separate. Special frontier force. Vikas battalions. Come under the cabinet secretary. Separate. <coughs> Friends, like that, India is bordered by different. Uh, uh, military paramilitary and police bodies police bodies that's the biggest problem because they don't come under single ministry you no know? there is no single point of control no this has to be changed most they have to come under single point of control that's why after the kargil war anyone tell me when the kargil war when is it after the kargil war 1999 india understood that this kind of different force is difficult. That's why they kept a committee called, what is the committee? You wrote no the committee. What is the committee? Huh? Madhav God Bole Committee. Madhav God Bole Committee. He said that 
the committee was made to recommend recommendations what next time what should you do cargill war okay we won but we face the problems next time how should we solve tackle this he said that one thing said that all the forces either being under single control or just make two all terrorist areas army all remaining areas bsf that's all why assam rifles itbp vikas battalion sasimabal why all these things bsf all non terrorist all terrorist army simple keep it simple he actually said that in ssb i mean in bsf also paramilitary also paramilitary should not be separate in home affairs paramilitary also bring some army people into paramilitary so that they will have more uh, trained training because you now what is happening you know army will look at paramilitary very low army feels that they are more powerful than paramilitary then they cannot work together no bsf people will feel very bad army is given more important than bsf when two people have, when two people have to work together no they should have same powers one people high one people low they cannot work that's why mother god bole company said that okay similarly again in 2016 what happened patan court attack patan court at that time again they formed new committee what is the committee name madhukar gupta committee madhukar gupta i think you combine both these things no i think you wrote madhukar god bole committee actually but very good she has just now shown me an answer she wrote a main main answer in that she wrote madhukar god bole committee actually madhukar gupta is sir you know correct only yeah? okay very good then okay the uh, friends this committee this committee also said the same thing there should be single point of control and this committee what we said you know this committee said that along the border you have to construct for example this is a border no i heard ah uh, for example along punjab gujarat some kind of fencing along kashmir along kashmir laser laser wall laser wall understand and in some places integrated check post so not same everywhere based on the terrain based on the complexity based on the the type of problem you have to construct something along the border not same thing with laser wall you cannot build everywhere friends along the border we require border infrastructure what is it what infrastructure like what tell me some what infrastructure to stop this kind of problems one is fence fence fencing another thing is laser wall other thing is radar surveillance radar surveillance surveillance system radar radar surveillance then hand held lasers hand held thermal imagery you know thermal imagery this is a movie i have seen the movie rajnikanth is a police officer in mumbai he has a daughter she dies Ah, uh, Darbar. In Darbar, have seen how Sunil Chetty comes to the fencing from the water. Somebody told me I did not see it, but see thermal imagery can be used. Actually, thermal imagery, handheld sensors, handheld, even drones, drone, drone will go from top, observe what is there. Drones. What what happened? Somebody is calling me. Okay, friends, drones. then integrated check post do you know what is integrated check post friends friends it's a very important concept integrated check post means what you know just like on the coastal area you have a port all ships have to come there from there only you take everything like that along the border for example manipur for example manipur is a state manipur myanmar is a country now this is manipur from myanmar to manipur anybody wants to bring any goods or trade do you allow them to trade everywhere throughout the border if you allow them throughout the border difficult to monitor they can bring all the smuggled goods also drugs also they will show something and they will go so you have to construct a integrated check post everybody has to come through there only coast area also you cannot allow people to come from wherever they want entire coast some port should be there through there only they have to come like that integrated check post very important 
actually integrated check posts are constructed by land port authority of india land port is separate authority is independent body actually for example national highways are maintained constructed by whom national highway authority of india airports are by airport authority of india like that integrated check posts are constructed maintained by land port authority of india land port separate body actually do you know the commander they come under the department of border management department of which comes under anybody which ministry ministry of home affairs department of border management next i will explain the next next point actually department of border management no is a very important body it formed recently only i think uh, i th i am if i am not wrong 2004 i'm not very sure somewhere near that under home ministry they do lot of works friend one of the work is border area development program i'll come to that i'll come to that border area development program is one of their very important works okay before that before that let's finish in the check post do you know integrated check post will do lot of works do you know what they will do one thing is they will have they will have these uh, security forces they will have security forces to con control terrorism drug smuggling human trafficking all these forces will be forces second thing they will have customs department customs if you go to if you go to integrated check post no if you go there and check post one it's like a big complex in one complex all security force will be there they taking care of security in one one uh, some complex they'll have customs customs people customs duty what they will do any export import large cargoes will come no they'll check the cargoes give permission allow for the trade they'll bring onions tomatoes or take some other um, uh, export import goods they'll take care customs customs will be there cargo handlers will be there cargo handling large cargo handling we call it as logistics a large cargo comes no from there it will be taken by small lorries whatever logistics department will be there there will be logistics department and there will be quarantine also quarantine Qu quarantine means if somebody comes to no, cattle or a human beings they'll do medical checkup and then they allow if somebody has some diseases some contagious diseases they won't allow them they'll keep them in the quarantine for 10 days not only now because covid before covid also during the, somebody comes other country you know you have to hold them for some time because the people have many diseases that to that side aids is very common but aids you cannot shop them generally okay quarantine logistic customs department and then you know uh, i mean they have everything they have bank banking currency exchange for, for example i'm coming from myanmar i had exchange the myanmar currency and indian currency exchange should be there no bank should be there to deposit the money trade transactions 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 will be taken care there will be a dispute settlement body also there if any disputes occur no they settle there only instead of going to the court or whatever simple dispute settlement dispute settlement body will be there you understood integrated check post means integrated means a check post which will integrate many duties many work see many works are done now that's why it's very important check post you have to build more and more check post in in mani between manipur and uh, myanmar there is a famous check post called as more more is a place in uh, manipur more check post but the problem is drugs are coming from there also <laughs> we are unable to stop drugs there some of bring i have seen the movie ali comes on bike ali is a movie be there be there be there what is the movie name idiot idiot actually every time on the on the bike he brings some packets so police police will think that what is smuggling will think but finally understand that he is smuggling bikes actually he every day on bike but he will divert the focus of the person into the some bags or whatever like that intelligent people 
Through check posts also they can take guns, weapons, everything they can take. You should be intelligent, that's all. You should know how to, you should have the guts. Okay? So, Moray is a famous Indian check post. Now friends, coming to Department of Border Management under Minister of Home Affairs is a very interesting uh, department. They do a lot of works. They actually take care of integrated check posts. They take care of infrastructure. Border infrastructure means what? Tell me. Laser wall, fencing, thermal scanners, thermal imagery, surveillance, satellite surveillance, everything. All the border infrastructure they take care. Check posts also they take care. And border forces. Most importantly, border forces. Where BSF, where ITBP, where uh, the Assam rifles, how they are working. They are working also, they will take care. So, border forces they will take care. Infrastructure they will take care. ICPs they will take care. And also, more interestingly, they will work on the development of those districts. If, for example, India, friend, India, how many coastal districts are there? Coastal states. Nine only. Coastal states are nine only. But land, land border, how many? 17 states are there. India, land border, 17 states. Ocean border, nine states. Okay, so in these 17 states, no, they have selected, I think around some 98 districts are selected. 98 border districts. These 98 border districts, they want to develop the districts. Friends, if districts are developed, no, if border districts are very developed and advanced, no, then terrorists and this uh, drug smuggling, nothing will happen. If their villages will happen, same Naxalism also, Naxalism. Naxalism also, nine states, one or six districts. They try to develop them by integrated action plan. I told you, no, IAP. All the villages, districts affected by Naxalism, they want to develop the district. If, if this develop no industrial, agriculturally, then they do not give importance to Naxalites. They will not bother. Same program here also. In Naxalism, we call it as integrated action plan. Develop the no, one or six districts. Here, border area program. We develop the 90 districts which are border of land border of India. So how will develop same IAP only? Convergence of government schemes, drinking water program, construct of roads, construct helipads. I forgot to tell you actually friends here. Where is the border infrastructure? Here. Helipads is important. Helipads. If suddenly there is a war, you should be able to bring the helipads into the border area. Even roads, friend, I forgot to tell you roads. I am always thinking about how to stop two countries by fencing, laser wall. Roads are important. Only with roads, in case of war, you can mobilize the people. I mean, soldiers. Soldiers should go there immediately. You know. Right now, India is constructing to Tibet. I mean, to Ladakh, Ladakh area, we are constructing very good roads. So, in case future war is there, we can mobilize the tanks, everything there. Mobilization. Friends, do you know? If there is a war with Pakistan, how do you mobilize the army? Army, all army will not be there on the Pakistan border, no. They will be there in different parts, no. How do you mobilize? There is a plan. Previously used to follow Sundarji plan. Previously used to follow Sundarji plan. Now we are following Cold Start Doctrine. You will study about this too very well in the political science optional. Now we are following cold start doctrine. Previously used to follow Sundarji plan. Sundarji plan, the problem is if there is a war, first there will be few soldiers on the border who will work as defense. They will stop. They will keep stopping. It will take three weeks time for all of all soldiers to come and attack. In those three weeks, Pakistan can come into India also. That's why Sundarji plan was stopped after the it was stopped after the Patan court only. After, no, no, parliament attack. Actually, 2001 parliament attack, you know that? By Jaishi Mohammed, JEM. Jaishi Mohammed was a terrorist body in Pakistan. They tried to attack parliament. Afzal Guru, some people say, has helped them. That's why he was, he was hung, you know. He was hung, Afzal Guru. Which is a very big issue. Let's later about that. So, after the parliament attack, when they attacked the parliament of India, India immediately wanted to go for war. Almost war started. But finally, negotiation happened by USA, everybody they stopped the war. Because if somebody is trying to attack Parliament of India, see, okay, we are able to stop the attack. Otherwise, Parliament is gone, no? 
Have you seen the movie V? V Vendetta. English movie Vendetta. There he will blast the entire... V means not Telugu V. Telugu also V is there, no? Not that V. V means the, the uh, English Hollywood movie. V for Vendetta, the movie. You have to see the movie. The excellent movie. Among the movies I have seen. One of the top four movies, Vendetta. V for Vendetta. They, he blasts the UK parliament completely. Why? Because he does not believe in the parliamentary system of UK. <laughs> That's why he blasts the parliament. Okay? So like that. But it's a very good movie. You should see it. What is it? Ah, cold start doctrine. Very good. You gave me the lead. Now, after parliament attack, we realize at the time, India took three weeks to move. Sundarji plan. In those three weeks, USA talked to them, Pakistan talked to everybody talked to stop the war. But if you start immediately, no? Immediately, nobody can talk to us. For example, I am angry on you. Now, I will attack you after three weeks. In three weeks, somebody will talk to me, cool me. I will attack immediately. First attack, show the power. Then somebody talks, okay, I will stop it. At least I have shown the power now. Now the chance is also not there, no chance. That's why after 2001 parliament attack, we stopped Sundarji plan. Now you're following? According to Coach Doctrine, once you want to start the war, immediately commanders will come attacking only first. Defense later will take care of. But anyhow, we have to read more about it. It's a different uh, plan altogether. Any of friends, roads are important to mobilize soldiers, weapons, the artillery, the tankers, the all these things. Okay. Uh, now, we are discussing about check post is over, depart border management. So, what is border development program? How do, so that means central government will give special fund to the those states. Which states? Border. States having border. I told you, you know, Nexus also, states having Nexus, central give special fund. Security related expenditure, sorry. Special infrastructure developmental fund. I told you no. Know, Backward regions grant fund. I told these funds no. Like that, border states also require a lot of funding to stop terrorists, to stop drugs. Money is required. Who will give? Central government to construct roads, to construct fencing, all these things. Okay. And if border area people are highly developed, no, then they will not support the terrorists. Do you know Kashmir, Nagaland? Why they support Nagaland? Why people supporting the NSC and Kaplang? Why are they supporting? Separate Nagaland, why, separate, why is supporting separate Nagaland? Because right now Nagaland is not developed. Nagaland people are thinking that we are a part of India, but we are not developed. India is not taking care of us, India is taking care of only Tamil Nadu, Karnataka, Andhra, Delhi, those places. Nagaland they left out. Telangana also separated from Andhra Pradesh because they felt that they were not they were neglected, not taken care. Same with Naxalism also, villages, rural villages, they are feeling government is neglecting them. Same with Nagaland, same with Manipur, they are feeling that they are neglected. That's why if you are able to develop, develop means drinking water, health, education, schools, hospitals, uh, roads, uh, electricity, uh, I told many things, no? employment, skill development, if you do everything along the border districts, if they are developed, no, then they will not support any insurgency. They will feel they want to be with India only. Because even if they go to other places, no, they cannot develop. With India only, they can develop. They do not know that. That's the problem. Okay. So these are the works of <coughs> Department of Water Management. We will do this kind of works, okay? Friends, along the coastal area, along the coastal area, How are we ensuring security? Coast also border only no. How are we ensure what time? Yeah. Only, no. How are we ensuring security? Security is ensured by you know one thing is do you know how 2008 Mumbai attack happened? How Ajmal Kasab came? Through the sea. Through the sea they came. Ajmal Kasab 2008. There is a movie on this. Have you seen the movie? 2008 Mumbai attack. Have you seen anybody? There are many movies. Oh, among them, one is a good movie. I forgot the name. To the Mumbai attack, Ajmal Kasab. If I tell this name, you will remember generally. He is one person who is caught, remained and died. That's all. Okay. They came through the sea. That's when India understood that only land management is not enough. Sea management is important. That means boat management. Boat. Every boat that is coming should have a permission. Should have a GPS tracker. Otherwise, any boat can come anywhere. Means 
anybody can come to India now. Similarly, 2016 Pathan court attack. They came through what? They came through river. Friend, Pakistan Punjab land border no completely fenced. Full fencing, nobody can come. They came to the river, that's why. So now government understood that the river sea also shall be taken care. Every boat, every boat should have a transponder. Transponder signal. You should know which boat is coming. And there should be a electronic surveillance. Electronic surveillance. Anybody who is coming, electronic any gun comes means some sound. You go to some shops, no? metal objects, king, 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 but they will, they, they will not work generally. Like that, there should be electronic surveillance from long, not this much level. There should be a large scale electronic surveillance to identify when any guns are coming. Then, radar surveillance, yes, GPS also, very good point. Radar surveillance, radar. Then, even satellite surveillance also, satellites also have to monitor give the images continuously which board is coming who is coming clear image shall be given otherwise uh, one more thought attack will happen ajmal kasab gang happily they came in the ship they got to the coast took the guns took a jeep put the start shooting very easily nobody could stop them understand that has shown the weakness of the india's security infrastructure okay satellite surveillance or drones drone surveillance and somebody said gps GPS, yes, GPS tracking is important, GPS tracking and friends we require very fast interceptor boats, interceptor, what are interceptor boats friend? Some, something is coming, no? if we are doubtful, suspicious, immediately our boat has start, interceptor has to go and stop that boat immediately, interceptor boats, very fast moving, national coast guard or navy should use those boats, okay? Then you have to give identity cards. You have to give ID cards for all the coastal fishermen. Fishermen, otherwise, Pakistan person will come and say, I am also Indian only. How can I identify? They are on the face Pakistan and India, both are same only. No? So, Indian fishermen should have identity cards, ID cards. That too, electronic ID cards. Otherwise, they will also, Pakistan can print currency itself. What about ID card? Easily they can print, okay? So, electronic ID cards, if all boatsmen, whoever comes with the boat, no, they will show electronic ID card and then come into India. But it's very expensive, okay? Similarly, RFID, every boat should have RFID. Every boat which is coming to Indian coast, no, should have RFID. If the ID matches only, boat should come in. Otherwise, we have to stop the boat in the sea only. Should not allow them. We have to take care of all these things. RFID for boats, ID cards for fishermen. Not only fishermen, any coastal population who are using sea for trade, whatever, trade. And if any boat is more than 20 meters, special tracking should be there. Special tracking. 20 meters means they can bring a lot of guns, enter into the coast, directly they can open the gunfire. Nobody can stop them. So 20 meters means you have to intercept before only 20 meters, okay? What is that? Very good. See, in the land also, on the land border also, lighting is floodlights. Friend, first is, forget about thermal imagery, handheld sensors, how the first floodlights should be there. Border should have lights. The army who are guarding can clearly see whether animals is coming, cat is coming, whatever. Okay? Similarly, in the port area also, lights are important. I'm Friends, I'm talking about coastal security. I think you understood, no? Some people do not even know what is land security, coastal also, right? Completely mix it up, no? You understood? I'm talking about coastal security. Previous talked about yeah. land security. They are different. First, you remember that. I'm talking about border management. Border means land border and both. I'm talking both. You should have the clarity. Then, friends, separate force is required called Sagar Seema Bal. Sagar. Is already there, SSB. Not Sasimabal. Sasimabal is uh, Nepal Bhutan. Sasimabal. This is Sagar Simabal. Special train force. And friends, most important, you know what you require? You require support from the coastal population. Because many coastal population know drugs. Many coastal population, they will go with the boat, they will bring drugs. 
the Pakistan person will come till here in the sea, they will go till the sea, take drugs and come back. So coastal population support, Naxalites also, support of local population, support. Land border also, Kashmiri, Naga land support, support of do you know friend why local population is important? Intelligence. Police also will have intelligence. Local people have intelligence. Uh, every day night, one o'clock or shift will come there. These people will go and get the drugs. They know that, but they will not tell. Okay? Local population for intelligence. We think that a police officer with just have all intelligence. No. Local fisherman has more intelligence, actually. That's why you have to cut intelligence from local fisherman. In the family man, they'll show no. How they collect the uh, intelligence? That uh, what is, who is the hero? Family man. Not in Bajpay. How does he collect the information from the local people of Kashmir? You see that. So local intelligence gathering is important. Support of local is important. And most importantly, friends, I four P cat square. Okay, <laughs> that is very important. Same thing. Technology. Technology. I told no. The radars, uh, GPS, uh, transponders, uh, uh, interceptor boats. Technology. But more, more technology. Then training of personnel. Specially trained. They should not go only on the river. They should go under the river also. Training should be that way. Okay. <laughs> then, I have seen the movie, old Suman movie. Suman. There is a big bridge. River will be there. He will jump from the river, get into the, gets under the flavor. Such kind of skills should be trained. All the... Similarly, <laughs> okay? really, friends, see, Coordination between various agencies, BSF, SSB, SSB, uh, SSB also again, Sasimabal, Sagar Simabal. Uh, and then a lot of departments are there now. So it's confusing for even cabinet secretary, home ministers do not know. Sometimes they forget which force is there where. So coordination is very important. Okay. Then what is this? Personal. Trained personnel are very important in any department. And institutions, implementation, infrastructure, intelligence, of course. You have right when you don't know anything, write these things. But they are good points. Awareness also. The coastal population should be aware that they have to take ID cards. Otherwise, so ID card, I do not know, so they will say like this. So ID cards require awareness. Friends, we have discussed about the coastal security. See, as uh, we have covered the border security, both coastal border as well as land border. And you may be knowing that in the coastal border along Gujarat, Mumbai, these places along the coast, very important research centers are there. For example, nuclear power plants are there. Kodankulam is along the sea only. Kodankulam, Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Not Chennai, Tamil Nadu. Kodankulam, along the sea only. Jaitapur, along the sea only. And Bark, Baba, Atami Center, along the sea only. And even some of the top industries, companies along the sea. So if you do not have coastal security, what will happen to all these things? Because if any enemy country wants to attack India, they will attack on this kind of critical infrastructure only, key places only. They won't go attack in a village. They will attack a big industry, big center, this kind of things. That's why coastal security is very important. Okay. Now, let's moving on. Next is social networking. Is this color good? is called violet color purple purple color social networking sites friends this topic this year february current affairs government has started new rules have you heard that social media intermediate rules you might have heard that no anyhow before coming to the current affairs let us come to, let us discuss the basics of what are social networking sites Means social media mostly. Social networking means we, we all network on the social media, no? Like Facebook, then Twitter, then what is that? Quora. What is it? Is it okay? Quora, then LinkedIn, LinkedIn, LinkedIn. Then anything else? What is it? Opera. Opera is a browser, I think. So, Snap, ah, Snapchat, WhatsApp. WhatsApp also. Snapchat, I never use it. But, yeah, Telegram also. But some people said Snapchat is better than WhatsApp. <laughs> really? 
But I never used it actually. I never used it. It's advanced, no more advanced Snapchat. Okay. Telegram. So friends, there are more and more, you know, TikTok is there, but nowadays it's uh, banned in India. Friends, there are many social networking sites. When I was in college, Orkut used to be there. Orkut was the only thing. You know Orkut? Or, no, Facebook came later. Orkut, very old, Orkut. Okay, anyhow, <laughs> when Facebook came, Orkut almost uh, ended. Similarly, friends, so as social networking sites are increasing, definitely internal security effects will be there. Because see, social networking will have all the data of the people, no? For example, you may be knowing recently, not recently, few years ago, uh, Cambridge Analytica, have you heard that? A professor of Cambridge <coughs> went to Facebook, asked Facebook that, we want to do a research. We want to take some details of the people and do social engineering. Means how people are thinking, different behavioral habits, all these things. And Facebook gave permission. Do you know what he has done? He has taken all the electoral behavior. Electoral means who will vote, which party, that kind of thing is taken and gave it to the political party of USA based on that they can actually means which people will vote based on what kind of uh, aspects people mostly vote for a party looking for what if that is known to political parties you can think elections no so later on people come many people complained and Facebook was fined they have to pay a fine because Facebook has to protect the data privacy of people no you cannot give data of uh, people to everybody whoever you want political parties also people so Cambridge Analytica actually took permission from Facebook and have done data mining, took all data, gave to US political parties, okay. So such kind of problems, even some people do stalking, I told you, you know, stalking women, following a girl, sending her messages continuously from different accounts, harassing the woman, that is possible. Friends, actually, uh, do you know some uh, ISIS, they actually recruit to Facebook, recruitment or they spread the wrong information, wrong, complete wrong information. Spread wrong. Anyhow, first we will do one thing. What are the security challenges? What are the security challenges from social networking sites? Tell me, one security challenge is data privacy can be gone. Data can be stolen. And using that, social engineering can be done. Using that one, social engineering can be done, like Cambridge Analytica. Second thing is, terrorist organizations can contact, terrorist organizations can contact potential new employees. Based on the Facebook, they can understand who is more aggressive, who is more against the government, who is highly communal, they can understand, no? Based on the post. For example, I'm keeping one kind of post, friend. I'm keeping, I'm always against one religion, I'm always uh, uh, against the government. Based on my post, they'll understand that I am a possible employee. They'll try to recruit me. Like that, recruitments are happening. Recruitments. And most importantly, friend, wrong propaganda, wrong propaganda. Wrong, wrong propaganda is happening. For example, fake messages, fake news. Somebody has done that, this government has done that, or you know, Christians are killing Muslims somewhere, Muslims are killing Hindus somewhere. Wrong propaganda, wrong videos. Even the biggest problem is in the wards of pornography. You know, actually, do you know why recently government has actually taken that uh, social media intermediate rules? Recently, government has put some rules, now. we'll come to that. Do you know why they kept? Supreme Court observed child pornography. Children participating in pornography is sent to many people as the words of forwards. As words of for example, well, let us say one girl is there. She got a message from a boy, which is pornography. Nude sex is shown. Now, whom can she complain? Previously, if she complains, who will what kind of imprisonment will be given to him? Can anybody complain previously? Is there a law like this? But now you can complain actually. Not only boy to girl, girls sending boys, whatever. So if they complain, they will first of all find out, that, that is a forward actually, he did not create the video, forward. Who actually created the video, he will be imprisoned for 5 years, as per new, new rules and law. Previously it was not there, understand? So anyhow, we will come to that new rules later, 
first what are the security challenges okay and then violence facebook they form as facebook groups and together their plan attacks attacks can be planned i already told you this you know somewhere today's class attacks can be planned organized using the facebook groups you can organize attacks also okay and also stalking of women women harassment stalking men also can be stalked these days nothing like women and men one 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 female can keep on stalking the male harass the male he will leave the city he will go out <laughs> yes this is happening see you know don't look at only at uh, vijayawada look at mumbai delhi you know both both but mostly male stalk women mostly okay so men stalking like that there are a lot of security challenges uh the fake identity very good fake identity and identity theft for example i will post like i am the mahesh babu i'll start posting some like official account but most it can be found out by most people but some people cannot find it so by uh, for mahesh babu i'll chat with the girl i will lure the girl and i will call her somewhere it's happening with a wrong image i'll put a wrong image not my face other face i'll put i'll chat with a girl i'll somehow what uh, tra uh, trap her and i'll take her you know fake identity you know identity theft identity theft means i, I will take identity of somebody else and theft friends do you know is do you know isis isis actually is luring women it happening recently in france some young girls 16 17 girls went to syria because isis lured them they said that if young girls come and participate in the uh, isis activities they'll go to heaven something like that so they have shown them something so young women are lured by isis is, uh, recently so by using social media only and also friends the biggest problem the soldiers <coughs> or police or any government uh, officials in the facebook they will tell all details for example one soldier is going to kargil war he'll type today off to war from today uh, going to war from tomorrow you know sometimes he'll tell the place also i am posted in so and so battalion just to as a facebook message but the pakistan people may be tracking those messages based on that on the way only they will track him understand so soldiers even police should know how to use social media the biggest problem in india is the police the soldiers government officials are not trained not trained in using social media they don't know what to post that's why what should government do what should government do to make make social networking sites secure right to make them secure what should government do one of the things government should do is train train the government officials and soldiers government officials or soldiers you first of all train them on how to use the they cannot reveal since data since data cannot be given okay so okay anyhow coming back there's another topic what government should do now i'm discussing the security challenges only soldiers and since you data can be taken since you data can be stolen i have discussed only few but even more will be there friend from social networking sites lot of security challenges are there anybody can contribute some more i told some few anybody can contribute more somebody said no just now very good point somebody said actually about this one identity theft which is a very good point image. yes image morphing image morphing friend image morphing and rumor mongering rumor a wrong news fake news rumor i told you already they'll morph the images for dead bodies will be there face will be african face they remove the face they'll put a northeast face and the person who's killing they'll put a karnataka face and they'll put the image image morphing they'll spread the rumor and if all northeastern people living in karnataka they'll run away but because they'll think that okay somewhere they start killing the northeast people rumor mongering rumor mongering it will lead to mass exodus what is mass exodus friend large scale running away all northeast people will come to railway station bus stops they want to leave karnataka immediately like that so image morphing rumor mongering are very common in the in the social network sites then very good point like tell me more points you should you have to think yourself see this is maths or what general things only you know, you tell me ha huh? 
but why will they modify passport okay but why will they use facebook for modifying passport they will modify for example actually i am telling you sarachandra right i have another name but our passport sarachandra is everywhere but another person but why will i post it on the facebook i am not sarachandra but like that you will not use it understood then anybody Any other points how social networking sites is security challenge that's that's the point how it is set to secure country only that is heading what is the point how huh? hatred huh? correct hatred can be spread very good friends <laughs> friends hatred can be spread normally i don't hate the tamilians let us say but slowly by seeing the post the tamils are discriminating telugu people they are beating telugu people they are charging more for auto and slowly uh, hatred will develop i start hating tamil people also you can develop hatred in me on tamil people hatred like that hatred can be spread then you said something else right actually they taking the money yes they take money for example i will be uh, i will on facebook i'll chat with you every day i'll chat with you i'll tell about different products i'll tell you, i'll show you become friend of you then i'll tell hey, i immediately request 50000 rupees urgent means you will immediately give me because you want to help me next day account won't be there i open new account next day you understand so that uh, 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 crime online crimes also most important friend online again first point only online crimes money money can be stolen i will send a link also i will send account number also so okay then friends do you know fishing do you know fishing spear fishing spear fishing you know what they will do they will send some link in the facebook to all of you bulk i have all my friends you know i'll send my link to all of you click the link immediately get all all data from you understand spear fishing so like this a lot of i wrote only few more can be discussed actually so don't underestimate social networking sites see lot of security challenges are there from the social networking sites also i i have i could remember only few but if you remember more you can contribute but friends before going to this let us discuss social networking sites this is what got to do the little letter before that first of all friends the social networking sites you know why do people come there what people want what are sns used for tell me sns is used for or why people come why people actually come one is what yes uh, why they want to communicate very good share ideas some people want to share ideas with others some people for example i hate a political party i want to share my idea to everybody okay yes share ideas share information for example i have some very good information about health health tips you have to drink hot water in the morning point number 2 uh, if what's the forward is that not water for every day uh, after getting up you have to put right hand in the ground before getting up so that kind of information sharing information sharing okay what is it yes very good friends some people use it for marketing advertisement marketing for example new car is released for company new car they market in the facebook i did my facebook that means they want everybody to know about their product so for that also sns is used very good then political ideologies for example i have a political party i want to tell my ideology to everybody so that i'll get more vote more votes attract political so for example modi sonia gandhi what they do in the facebook they tell their opinions what india should do Oh, where shall we go what is our next policy they'll tell no so friends not only that friends social drone sites are used by government also government have you heard the name twitter seva twitter seva means government these days what our government is doing no modi is doing he'll tell twitter tomorrow this policy such a bar all of you should do like this means government schemes will be will be informed through twitter modi is using twitter like anything Modi is Twitter star actually. He uses, I mean, see, through the Twitter, he is explaining. He tells about what government is doing. Okay, publicity. huh? Yeah, publicity, very good. That is this one only. Publicity, okay. It's a very good point. Yes, famous or not? All child famous or not? Some people in the TikTok, I used to see. 
I had not seen somebody may have seen. Okay, TikTok. I have seen some. Some TikTok star has recently went to jail also. He'll do, for example, he'll roll on the mud. He will catch a catch something. He'll do to become famous. Publicity, publicity. Okay, what is it? Actually, TikTok, frankly, and and also TikTok. But in the in my home, somebody children will be seeing TikTok now. So I observe. Okay, what? What is it? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, online courses also. They'll put online courses, videos, education, healthcare, telemedicine, uh, everything. <laughs> really, friends, social media can be used for many aspects. Many aspects. Okay. For, mm, yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, it is entertainment. Entertainment videos. Don't know what to do. That's why they'll. Uh, Yes, some people want to. For example, I want to school days. I know one friend. Now I, I know I want to connect back with the friend. Okay, so they are called connectors. They want to establish connection. For example, re, um, uh, some time back I want to see in my in my school. I know some friends, but now I want to see them. I want to connect with them again. So connectors. Some people entertainment also, time pass also. You can write it. No problem. Huh? That's what sharing of ideas, information, technology, everything. Huh? College. 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 Knowledge. Yes, yes. Actually, some people, some people uh, want to want to gain knowledge. They want to gain knowledge in various things. That's why they face. Yes. Yes. Sometimes for grievance redressal, they want to complain. This is what is happening in India. What, where are we? What are we doing? See, the government is doing grievances. See, look at the look at the, the drainage problem in our village. I put drainage picture. Tag KTR. KTR. What are we doing? So KTR has to come and solve drainage problem. Like they understand. So hashtag. So like that also. Friends, do you know government can use use SNS for inward sharing and outward sharing. Even government uses WhatsApp, Twitter, all these things for Facebook for inward sharing. Inward sharing means the department. Outward sharing means from one department to another agency, other agencies. Inward sharing or inbound sharing, outbound sharing. That means, see, inbound sharing and outbound, outbound. Inbound sharing means government collects things from people. For example, government start new policy. Draft, dra national women policy, draft, draft policy. They will release draft policy. Ask public to comment on that. Everybody will comment. Second point is very bad. Third point says women are more. Four, they comment on the policy. That's called inward sharing. Government takes all grievances of public through the Facebook or three whatever public poll. Public poll. They'll take like that. Outbound sharing means government informs to people. Twitter seva. Actually, inbound means takes from public. Outbound means government tells public about their their policy schemes. Inward or this is different. This is inside government, inside government departments. Within a department, one department of the department. There, there also they use the uh, Facebook or Twitter, whatever. Not Twitter, Facebook, WhatsApp, whatever. So these are the various functions of government on the social networking sites. Friends, SNS are actually SNS has both advantages and disadvantages. Social networking sites has both advantages and and disadvantages. Both will be there, friends. Advantage: somebody said no knowledge, education, marketing, marketing, marketing. I, I told no. Politicians will actually politicians will actually explain about their policies. And uh, political, and government is using it. Advantages are there. Advantages are there. Disadvantage, I told you, no, already. Disad big disadvantage is time waste. Most of the youth waste their time. Most of the youth waste their time. Do you know? In USA, there is a rule. In USA, what happened? You know, many people in the office they are using Facebook every day in the Facebook. So they are becoming unproductive. If they come to office for eight hours, they will be unproductive. In the office, they will open WhatsApp, share chat, Snapchat, or whatever, and they waste all the time. So, because of social media, the productivity is falling down of people. That's why there's a rule in USA 
that Facebook should not be opened. There will be monitoring. Nobody should open any social media for 9 to 12, 12 to 1. Okay, again, 1 to 5, they should not open. Rules are being kept. So it's un unproductive. What, what is that? Yes, psychologically, they will be imbalanced. Like drug addiction. Drug addiction, do you know, do you know Blue Whale Challenge? Have you played it? Even if you play, you have to say no only. Okay. But see, Blue Whale Challenge is a social media game. They send challenge to people. Somebody said depression, no? That's correct. Some students who played Blue Whale Challenge, they went on depression, they started jumping from top. Blue Whale Challenge, first they'll give small challenge. Today you have to lift 10 chairs, keep it down. They'll keep. Next they'll give bigger challenge. Today you have to swim for uh, 20 minutes, they'll swim. Slowly. Slowly after some slowly they'll take all challenges now. The final challenge is you have to jump from top of the building. And they'll jump. Psychologically. Understand? They come suicide also. Huh? Gaming also. You go in depression. Because you know what? You play 1000 points, 1000 points. You want to go to 2000 points, but you can never go. To go to 2000 points, you'll keep on playing the entire day. Any person, the entire day, do the same work without eating food, without socializing, slowly your brain gets in depression. You'll become mad. You have to sometimes spend with family, sometimes you have to play, sometimes you have to read, sometimes you have to sleep, sometimes eat. For example, I don't want to tell the name, uh, one of our students also, he became psychologically mad because of playing uh, PUBG. Throughout the night, 10 o 9 o'clock, he will open the, close the door, he will tell his dad that, uh, I am studying, I have exams, don't disturb me. Because if you disturb PUBG, you disturb now. So, he will play till morning 8 a.m. Till morning 8 a.m. used to play. 8 a.m. the father knocks the door means then he comes out, I studied the entire night. Uh, and then he used to come to college. Recently his father called me and said that, recently he is going on the bike, one vehicle is coming, in this direction. He felt vehicle is going and then he went and hit the vehicle. Recently. And then uh, recently they have taken him to hospital, but uh, it's early stages, it can be cured. PUBG. So what is that is correct? So, but that is not SNS, that is gaming. SNS, Blue Whale Challenge, okay? So, waste of depression and disadvantage, I told you many disadvantages here, no, see? See, see disadvantages, this we can tell all the disadvantages only, okay? Friend, what should government do to make SNS? Uh, see, we cannot stop SNS, we cannot block Facebook and all these things. We have to regulate them, we have to regulate them. First of all, you have to train the government officials how to use it. Recently, what government has done recently? Social media. Very good. Social media. Intermediary. Rules. Intermediary means, I will tell you what is it. Intermediary means, they will not, gen for example, media is different. Media, they will only write the content and send it to people. That is media. Social media, they won't write content. I am WhatsApp. I am WhatsApp company. Will I write content? You will write content, you will send to this boy. Or you will write content, you will send to that boy. Understand? Or you will send it to that girl. So I am just a platform. I am an intermediary. Intermediary means intermediary only. Whereas media is different. Media means they will only generate content. That's why social media have got a safe harbor clause. In the Information Technology Act 2000, there is in uh, section 79, I think, safe harbor. Safe harbor means if on WhatsApp child pornography is there, child pornography is there, WhatsApp, they cannot, uh, uh, I cannot complain that WhatsApp is sending child pornography, you close WhatsApp. WhatsApp will not generate that, no, intermediary, no. So they are not responsible. Somebody is sending their content to somebody. That is called safe harbor. But the social media intermediary rules, the new rules, 2021 rules actually. 2011 rules are there, but leave those rules. 21 rules are discussed. New rules. They say that WhatsApp, Telegram, all this, Facebook, all these uh, intermediaries, you know, they are called some intermediaries. They have to follow new rules. You know what are the rules? Each, each company should have a grievance officer. They should have a? For example, if you found some bad things on the WhatsApp, you can directly send it to the WhatsApp grievance officer. He has to, within 24 hours, he has to acknowledge it. 24 hours, acknowledge. Within 15 days, he has to finish the case. 
finish the case. How? For example, you have, you have sent a forward to him, forward, very bad forward. But you will not punish him. Do you know the primary originator or the originator of the content? The who is the originator? She is the originator. She actually created a very bad message. She created. She sent it to somebody, went, went, and finally it went to you, you send it to him. When you complain, who will punish you? You, 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 who? This girl, originator. And if it is really bad content, imprisonment for five years will be there, not less than five years. If it is child pornography, no, not less than five years, imprisonment. So, like that, grievance literature is there. And then, compliance officer, compliance. Compliance officer means, do you know what he has to do? Every month he has to send a compliance report that this month these many cases came to us, these many complaints came to us, we could solve these many complaints. Still, like that, compliance has to be sent. Then, nodal, nodal officer. Do you know who is nodal officer? What's up? Tele let's telegram. Telegram should appoint one nodal officer, one compliance officer, one police officer. Nodal officer has to see that all the rules are followed whether telegram company is following all rules or not these rules no nobody accepted what's a telegram no they said that no how can you keep all these rules how can we track all the messages and find out who is the person then government said that okay if you do not track like that we will remove this class if safe our class is removed no who will punish it company is punished for example whatsapp is there right now if you are following all these rules who is punished Originator punish originator. But if you're not following the rules, you know, then WhatsApp will be punished. WhatsApp. WhatsApp will be punished. And they will be banned from India. Then they said, okay, we'll follow the rules. It's okay, well, it's not a big problem. And they started following the rules slowly. Okay. Hmm? What? They're following the rules now. Now they're following the rules, everybody. They appointed the grievance officer, commit now if anybody has a problem in Telegram, Facebook, or WhatsApp, you can send a message to them. They had acknowledged 24 hours. Solve it in 15 days. Okay, it's the new rules. Now, friends, social, do you know what, friends? Social media, social networking sites, you know. Actually, I, I, I am covering only social networking sites now, but actually these rules, you know, these rules are not only social media, OTT also. OTT, you know OTT? Nowadays, Aha, Chaha, uh, uh, Amazon Prime, Sunflix, or Netflix, Hotstar, Hey, very good Z5 so all these things nowadays this is OTTs they are also showing very bad content so the new rules say that whatever content is coming in AHA I mean anything um, uh, OTT shall be divided into five parts you universe anybody can see you um, three plus not three seven plus one is you anybody can see then seven plus means above seven can see seven plus thirteen plus above thirteen then no, 16, 18 is not there in India, 16 is adult only, 16 plus, 18 is not there, U, 7 plus, 13 plus, 16 plus, A, adults, we all can watch, also, okay, so friends, along with these things, they have kept parental lock, parents can lock, every OTT platform has to provide parental lock, if they don't provide parental lock, they will be banned, new rule, that means parents should have some locking system, so the children cannot see that, okay. OTT, not only those things, even digital media, CNN, you read, you read news from online news, those news are sometimes fake news will come, they will take money from somebody give fake news. So that uh, digital news also are controlled by various measures, one is, see, one is digital news controlled by press council of India, second is information and broadcasting ministry, do you know OTT was kept under whom you know? They kept it, so they'll control it. Information and even self-regulation. Do you know self-regulation? Actually, digital that um, online news. No, they have self-regulation. What they said is, we don't want any government control. We will do it ourselves. If we do a mistake, you can uh, inform us. Self-control, self-regulation. Okay. Similarly, you know, ASCII, Advertisement Standard Council of India. Advertisement these days, some wrong, bad item will come, showing women in a bad way or men also in bad way, whatever, or children in bad way. So, advertisement stands Council of India. They will regulate, they will regulate advertisement also. Wrong ads, for example, poisonous food. Somebody eats ah, excellent food. And if you eat that, you will be slowly, you will get some disease. Such kind of ads have been stopped. Understand, ASCII. Like that, 
other online platforms are also regulated okay then friends huh? Huh? press council of india press council of india hmm? self regulation self regulation means they will regulate by themselves only just government will monitor are you regulating very well are you following ethics they'll monitor but they will they'll put their own rules the news media channels they'll put their own rules we should not re read uh, write this kind of news we should not give this kind of ads they like that they'll put okay. huh? advertisement standards council of india they will they will see advertisements wrong advertisements will stop immediately any time have you seen newspaper alcohol ad mcdowell kingfisher ads have you seen why have you seen cigarette ad huh have you seen any newspaper have you seen newspaper or tv cigarette ads hey tv cigarette ads they should not be shown there are some standards they should not show for example if you want to show kingfisher ad no kingfisher is uh, let us say alcohol kingfisher glasses they will show kingfisher glasses very fine glasses like that they'll tell instead of alcohol like that they'll show okay anyhow what is that mansion in indiana mansion house uh. mansion house is also a good water bottle they make water bottles they they give ads of the water bottle they they show like that instead of alcohol okay why how do you know <laughs> i generally am asking you uh, oh bo nbk show oh that show aha unstoppable okay unstoppable also should be banned you are saying that no no you should not ban it unstoppable is good one i think very funny you can enjoy you can laugh okay any of friends unstoppable i think is a good show friends because uh, I did not see, but somebody said me that uh, somebody told me that they are showing there is a real interview. Is it real interview really? Do they ask real facts? I don't know. Huh? I don't know. Is, is it all telecasted? I saw the promo, three minutes promo, but I did not see the actual thing. Okay, friends. Social network sites. What are they? What are the problems in them? why are they used and what is government doing regarding them all these things we have discussed no then see before we finish the social networking sites let us specifically focus on how military can use social networking sites and what are the possible security problems because of that for example example friends for example you take military you take military military and social networking sites for example what are the disadvantages and what are the possible advantages disadvantages as i told you military people working in the army you know people working in the navy working in air force or even paramilitary forces sometimes unknowingly they may reveal some sensitive information i mean they may not feel that the information would actually you know uh, allow our enemy countries to know something about us unknowingly they'll reveal hence a special training is required not only for the military people but also police persons government officials about what kind of information can be revealed through facebook instagram twitter whatever so you know how to use it how to use there is a way there is a way uh, in which the enemy country intelligence agencies can do data mining they can take all the information given by different soldiers of india different police of india they can combine all these things and from that they can actually take some decisions against the nation also also for second thing is in military you know in army in army hierarchy is very important once the hierarchy breaks down then the functioning of army will completely change for example the soldiers or the cadre working under the officer if they themselves form some facebook groups whatsapp groups you know or some groups in some other social media 
platforms in those groups if they start discussing again as their officer or if all the six combine in one thing all nagaland people combining in one thing or all manipur people or all telugu people combining together and if they uh, start hating somebody their officer who is from other, other state if they start hating him it may actually lead to breaking of the hierarchical chain it is observed recently that some soldiers using social media platform are you know they are kind of going against the hierarchy so that shall be control the next thing hierarchy but the advantages friends the advantages are for example whatever i said no that enemy countries can find out find out what india is up to based on the facebook twitter posts of our soldiers similarly our army can do data mining of other countries and they can gather some intelligence in fact in the information technology act 2000 amended in 2008 m2008 we have section 69 in section as per section 69 of it act at it act it is allowed for the defense people to use social media to do data mining for gathering intelligence that is the positive thing friends you may be knowing uh, for example usa uses the social media sometimes to advocate democracy in china and china also uses social media to advocate communism communist party uh, benefits of the communist party to indians so you know this kind of strategic influence you know social media can be used for strategic influence so we should be careful about that now friends after you know discussing about sns social networking sites let us go for the media how media affects the internal security in india media media so friends here see before going into internal security challenges let us understand let us understand how you know what kind of news generally media wants to showcase or come into the national security is media of india really uh, able to show the national security policy in its right uh, direction to people of india see it is actually required it is required for media to keep the people aware aware of our national security policy people of india should be aware of the national security policy and it is responsibility of media to let people uh, have awareness and uh, so that they can take decisions accordingly about our national security policy however friends the journalists the journalists who are really working on the national security issues of india who want to know the government stand government policy who who want to tell the public wider public about the national security policy of india they are facing problem from all corners for example you take public do you think most public are uh, interested in knowing the national security policy of india or entertainment obvious entertainment hence the media cannot spend much space or much time for these things so though there are some journalists who are really working in this area they do not really have any acceptance among acceptance in the sense the media houses the head of the media they do not encourage journalists to provide much space for national security issues the so public there is less response for such kind of news and even the media houses do not really encourage this as much as the entertainment even coming to the government also government of india to to that matter most of the governments do not really want to reveal their security policies or what they are thinking about national security and even if you go to judiciary also when the tag national security is added judiciary also will not involve in that friends even if you want to use the right to information even judiciary will not even if you want to use the right to information act right to information act there is section 8 section 8 of right to information clearly mentions that if it is, if it is real effect in national security it won't be allowed so whether the journalist may be considering the information as a information that should be transparently available but the government may say that it is if we reveal the information it may affect national security there is a thin line there balancing is difficult but friends from the media point of view also from the media side also definitely there are some grave mistakes done by indian media when it comes to national security for example when 26 by 11 attack 
when that attack happened when our our commandos are fighting with you know the team of ajmal kasab there at the time a television channel is directly showcasing what is happening there so the operator of these uh, terrorists pakistan terrorists the for example as in butkal who is in pakistan operating this who is in direct connection with the terrorists who are attacking the taj hotel he is able to direct them see police is coming from that side so you go this side come from the left he is able to direct them so it is a blunder done by the indian media just for trp ratings they are keeping the national security you know you know in peril similarly friends even the pathan court do you know the pathan court the air base punjab pathan court air base the plan is shown by ndtv hindi they have shown the plan such kind of things actually help the terrorists to attack because once they know the plan they can easily access the place they, they know which direction they have to move there's an another blunder one more blunder friends do you know recently a few years ago set a newspaper or tv channel has mentioned clearly that uh, uh, china for example the ladakh border between china and india and arunachal pradesh border between china and india they clearly mention these many guns are there these many weapons are there this much artillery is there this much ammunition is there which is not sufficient so such kind of news generally should not be encouraged because whether people know about it or not leave it it will go to other countries they will know what kind of weapons are there with india oh it is not really sufficient so they will get the confidence to fight against india that should not be given here do you know why government of india sometimes denies to give uh, certain uh, uh, national security policy matter to the media not because media will showcase it but because there is a chance that media may twist it exaggerate it because media mostly will not tell the news as it is they will you know twist the news so that they want to serve it to the people in such a way that they get most more trp ratings due to that government also generally avoids giving certain security policy information to the media so all these things shall be kept in the mind when we discuss about the media and the national security policy of india national internal security of india and you can write that the press council of india actually controls the print media similarly there is self regulation among the electronic media so so such kind of regulation in fact should try to find a balance that govern we have to in fact get some kind of national security policy issues or decisions taken by central government some of those things can be given to public no problem in that that should be given same time media also should know what to show what not to show so both government and media should work together in direction so that they maintain the balance at the end internal security should not be affected and public of india should know about the security policy of india that's about media friends now friends moving on even see not only so for example we discussed about the cyber security right we discussed about the cyber security right friends cyber security is not only phones or computers even the defense equipments for example if you take information and communication technology tools of india or information communication technology in india may it be mobile phones may it be you know may it be the computers laptops whatever and even friends there is a chance that the ict or even electronic equipment electronic equipment used by our defense companies or electronic equipment used by the defense the defense of india the military navy air force the army navy air force the military of india whatever defense equipment they are using most of the equipment will have electronic items you know embedded systems will be there some chips will be there and sometimes most of them are imported most of them are import other countries and we do not know how they perform in critical times because they may be controlling the equipment through the electronic items it's very easy that they can still control though the equipment machine is with us still it can be controlled by them without our knowledge that's possible hence we require sovereignty we require sovereignty sovereignty of ict and other electronic equipment sovereignty means we should control that we should produce that it should be complete under our control so that is important friends these days you know the communication is going through ict communication the businesses are going to ict even as told you the defense defense also use electronic equipment so every aspect electronics is there 
Hence, India should be very strong and we should be able to make our own electronic items instead of importing them. So, for that, Government of India has a national policy. We have got a national policy on electronics. National policy on electronics. In 2012 also it is there. So, friends, as per this policy, Government of India is encouraging production of hardware, electronic items hardware the, the problem is India is very good at providing software software services but hardware they are very weak hardware manufacturing for example take China China is number one in making hardware whereas India is importing hardware and exporting software services so this shall be changed particularly if you come to defense sector friends India imports for see India is spending 1.6 percent of GDP on the defense Though in the real terms it is almost like um, 60 billion dollars, 60 billion dollars is uh, some fourth or fifth highest in the world, but percentage wise still we have to increase it, particularly because though we are spending that much, mostly we are importing from other countries Israel, Russia, USA, France. We are importing, so India should and friends, those countries which, which export to India, no, for example, we purchase something from Russia or Israel, no, generally they will not do technology transfer transfer because for technology particularly high-end technology no high-end technology intellectual property rights are there they do not like to share so we have to go go to them for repairs for replacement everything and we do not really know how it is working as I told you we do not know they may be controlling it for example friend it is said that Xiaomi phones it is said I'm not very sure about that Xiaomi phones have got back snooping Back snooping is what you know, you are using the phone, messages, WhatsApp, phone, whatever, everything from the back of the phone it reaches China. I mean, China can actually easily control all the Xiaomi phone users, China can control information. So that's why they say that military should not use Xiaomi or police should not use Xiaomi phone or any other Chinese phone. Friends, do you know, some, but some, sometimes they can keep embedded malware. You know, embedded malware. Actually, malware is any kind of software which can uh, affect the system, it can choke the networks also. Embedded malware means it will be there in the system computer, it will be there in the phone and when required uh, at that time China or some other country can easily control them. For example, in 2013 it is said that during the Zaveri Bazaar attack, during the Zaveri Bazaar attack, Mumbai. Uh, 2013 during the attack day the the phones of police commissioner or some important police people did not work they were choked on that day so it, it is felt that they are able to actually control the network during that time friends similarly if you observe uh, do you know gps right global positioning system india is dependent on the gps because we do not have our own till recently of course now we have developed irnss Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System for navigation, but the accuracy is more for GPS than IRNSS. But still, it is good that we develop IRNSS. Now, our defense is slowly using IRNSS. But previously, we used to use GPS. For example, during the Kargil War, when the war is happening, most of our soldiers are using GPS to reach the right places. But during that time, USA, which controls GPS, blocked the access of GPS in the Kargil area. So that's the problem with dependence to technology. We should be technology, we should be independent. When it comes to technology, we should have our own technology. See what happened in Kargil War, see what happened in Javeri Bazaar attack. And India should actually increase the infrastructure in all electronics. For example, in 2012, in 2012, in August, I think, in August, there was a national blackout. The complete electric grids, all electric grids of India suddenly because of overload stopped. There was no power everywhere in India, almost one day. So such kind of thing actually show the problem in the electronic infrastructure of India. So that should be taken care of. Now friends here, what should government do? What should government do to address this problem of ICT sovereignty? For example, one thing as I told you, national electronics policy. It has to be... Uh, implemented properly and then uh, we have to encourage R&D R&D has to be encouraged even in defense also defense also R&D shall be encouraged right now in defense only DRO, DRDO is doing all the R&D 
private sector shall be encouraged to do R&D. Funding has to be given. R&D funding has to increase, particularly in the electronics, electronics manufacturing. And friends, of course, see, actually, uh, DRDO defense, not only DRDO, the defense ministry also trying to encourage the manufacturers. For example, recently we started encouraging the MSMEs, the micro and small and medium enterprises to manufacture small defense parts. Within the larger equipment, small parts they can manufacture. We are encouraging them. For example, even the DIF Expo, Defense Expo has been conducted few years ago in Chennai, Defense Expo, where they showcased most of defense equipment and they called in many manufacturers. Many manufacturers participated and they came to know what kind of equipment is the requirement of the uh, defense of India, like that. And friends, not only that, not only that, you know, this uh, IDEX. Innovation in Defense Excellence, Innovation in Defense Excellence Scheme, where government is encouraging innovation, it is encouraging MSMEs, small manufacturers to innovate new ideas, make better equipment, defense equipment required for India. And even innovation hubs, the defense ministry, innovation hubs in UP and Tamil Nadu, innovation hubs were kept where they are encouraging the innovation for the defense. So in this way government is doing but still we have to encourage friends, we have to encourage the public private partnership when it comes to making the defense equipment and even defense procurement policy has to be updated. Defense procurement policy, for example friends, not only make India. I mean making in India, we have to make defense equipment in India but also buy India. Though Indian manufacturers make it, the defense ministry has to purchase it, no? I mean the defense of India have to buy it, no? So we have to make it compulsory like buy from India, most as much as possible. Make in India and buy in India. And also friends, when it comes to tenders, when it comes to tenders also, mostly tenders we follow L1 tender. Means low price, commercial, it's called commercial viability, low price. But we have to see not only the price but also technology. T1. For example, there is a company 1 and there is a company 2. Company 2 is quoting a price of 2 lakhs. Company 1 is quoting price of 1.5 lakh. Then we should not immediately give to company 1. Look at the technological uh, brilliance. For example, technologically if they have 3 ticks, if they have only 2 ticks, go for this one. I mean, look at both commercial viability and technological viability. Both. So L1, T1 tendering has to be encouraged. L1, T1 tendering has to be encouraged and friends as I told you friends uh, also defense procurement, defense procurement policy government is upgrading regularly but we have to ensure the technology transfer also happens whichever country whichever company is uh, transferring the technology the technology transferring company we have to mostly try to purchase most of the goods from so that we can manufacture similar thing sometime later because we cannot continuously depend on some other country for the for the defense equipment. So friends, these things are required. These things are required for ensuring internal security. When it comes to ICT, we should have ICT uh, sovereignty. Friends, that's how it is. And we will discuss the internal security questions in next class. I will take all the questions under security of last eight years. We will quickly discuss the answers for most of the questions. See you friends. Take care. Bye.